just become a there it is well I wonder if that I wonder if my did it just is gonna be in there okay it took a second it became a black screen and then it took a minute for that to play so there might be this oh. the screen might open with a very awkward did it just wait <laughs> did you interrupt yourself yeah. <laughs> ah! Also, wow. penis. <laughs> On session 77, the oh. luckiest of all sessions? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, we got another 700. That'll be the luckiest of all sessions. That's true, that would be the luckiest Dear of the all sessions. The intro interrupted. Alright, everyone at home, you heard it here. The goal is to end Vestige in 700 sessions. I'm okay with that. With that kind right, of guys. length, maybe this should oh become a pirate God. campaign. Mansion game. <laughs> <laughs> Mansion game. <laughs> Alright, everybody! Welcome back to Nat 19, Vestige of a Fucus, Campaign 1, ah. Session 77. Ah. And not only are we back, but we're back with everybody. Ah. Oh, shit! Penis! 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 All right. So I'm pretty sure I've never seen some of these players before. So um, going down the list, Vogan... Uh, Lexi and Quintus, could you guys introduce kind of like what you're about character-wise? Like, wh I'm what a do you- bard. You're um, okay. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm really into the lore of the world. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yo, Spencer, uh, you wanna tiefling. play that game? I've heard his, oh, I've so heard his character Stop. really likes puzzles. <laughs> I like where this is going, though. Continue. Yeah, I'm blue, though, so, uh, that's, that's cool. Oh, you um, son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a broken horn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, that's, that's Bogan, mechanically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Who's All right. We don't need to take so, this joke uh, all the way. We don't, we don't, we don't need I'm to take this joke. We don't need to take this joke <laughs> all the way I'm through. I'm and I'm a problem. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, there you go. That one's true. <laughs> like, you know. Oh. Hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. The moment we get going, Fantasy Crowns a second. But yeah, we're back with everybody. Um... We are coming back in after the month on either side of independent games where the party split off to go deal with their various things to remind everybody who's been following along or might be joining into the stream for the first time in a while. Uh, Vogue and Lexi and Quintus, along with Sunder and Lyra, uh, headed off to complete the mission at uh, the Almanda gravesite and return Elmira back to um, where she needed to go, as well as retrieve an artifact there, which... Uh, they may or may not have done. I think we all know as players what Who happened. knows? Um, <laughs> the other side went to pursue the drow. The Alice Fane children. Who had stolen the primal gemstone of Vestius. And they... Got into some misadventures of their own whilst they were out. And I'm sure they'll catch everybody up on that in-game. To bring everybody up on exactly what time it is and where we're coming into this. Uh, based off things that we had discussed previously in game, it is currently the 16th of August, the year 758 of the Second Era. It is a Saturday in game, just like it is now. Oh, oh. Art imitates real life. It is, we are going to be coming back in, depending on when you guys want to do stuff, um, we will be joining back into the game at around... 10 a.m., 11 a.m. in the day, when I presume, and you can correct me if I'm wrong or if you want to handle this differently, when Quintus returns back to the, uh, the home that has been presented to the highest standard. Uh, this is several days before Vogan and Lexi return, because you guys are lagging behind Quintus. The drow party actually returned about six hours before Quintus arrived back, but they would Aha. have be resting. So coming into game, I suppose the main thing that I need to ask is um those of you that are currently at the highest standard show what, what, what should we call it should we call it their home should we call it their guild hall what what would you guys like to use to refer to it how about the villa <laughs> wow <laughs> that was neither of the options is he <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> i thought we were highest villa there was no other 
I mean, that's the fanciest way to fucking say it. So good sure. luck getting Avi to say that. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait. No, I want to throw my I want to throw my hat in the ring. The mm -hmm. Hollis standard. Oh, I mean, oh my God. I mean, you know what? The villa sounds no. good. <laughs> <laughs> How about just a home? Yeah, I like that. See, thumbs up. I got you. So we okay, return. But, um, you have three of them, so, <laughs> um, like. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and roll a d100 to determine what action the we DM is going to, to take in this moment. Home. That's hey Logan, a... before you're before you're really really mean, thank you for welcoming us 69ers back with such warmth. <laughs> We're really happy to be here. Hello, oh yeah, very happy, oh my God. Very, very happy to be here. Very happy yeah. to be here. Bravery. Yeah. Yeah. So Quintus, Bravery. after yeah, having all problems. So Quintus, after uh, after returning back to the town, briefly encountering Argo, having a uh, minor couple of hours where you hastily tried to restore Winchester back to health as well as yourself and succeeded in doing so, uh, you return back to the Platinum District. You request access and entry, which you are granted. Um, knowing that the others will be several days behind you, you return back to the party in hopes of finding them there or waiting for their return, not knowing how long it will take the drow side to actually return. Uh, and when you return to the Hollis Standard, Yay! Yes! No! Yay! Yes! <laughs> you find uh, what effectively amounts to um, certainly nothing that you would call a small fortress or anything, but it is definitely more than a home. When you return, and the others will have returned to it already, when you come back to it, uh, this building is a very large stone building. Uh, it is uh, three stories tall. On the inside, you can tell there is enough room that clearly this place was used for some kind of military purpose at some point. Because whenever you familiarize yourself with it, you find this place has a, a small um, barracks area. It has a section that is outlined simply for just beds. Clearly soldiers at some point had stayed here. Perhaps this building used to be used by the Platinum Watch. You would be uncertain of its exact origin, but it is meant to house adventurers or combatants. It is a place as much of training as it is of living. There is a uh, a fairly large uh, hall that runs through the middle of it, a, a grand hall that has uh, has been outfitted with a fairly long table that kind of gives you, Quintus, the impression of being back home. It is not quite as grand as some of the ones that you are used to, but um, it is definitely something that is worth being called a guild hall. The second floor effectively is mostly living quarters. It is separated for the most part from the um, the more militaristic first floor where you imagine most of the business would be done. Um, it has the amenities you'd require. You would find for the reference for other people, there is enough room for Flux to have a workshop which would be located in a uh, sealed off basement area where the area would be insulated and contained. It used to be used for storage, but you would know that there is definitely a place where you could set up shop. The area upstairs, there is many bed. There are many bedrooms, many more than there are of members of the highest standard currently. Whenever you return, who do you think, after six hours of rest of the Drow party, who do you think would still be awake, or who do you think would have woken up? Fenris. <laughs> yeah. Fair I wasn't I'm gonna say awake. it. I only need four hours of sleep. Yeah. All right. In that case, I'll leave it up to you guys how you want to go about it. But you would all be finishing a long rest, at least by the time you came back in here. Uh, you enter in at about, we'll say, 11 a.m. You, those of you that are inside, you would hear the opening of the grand double doors that lead to the uh, entry air entryway area to this place. As Quintus, you enter into the highest standards guild hall for the first time. Those of you inside, you would either hear the opening of the doors, or you'd be close enough to see it. I leave it up to you how you proceed. I will walk Winchester inside. <laughs> there are also stables outside, just so you know. I want him to be with me. I'm you can take him inside <laughs> if you want. Yeah. I just wanted you to know that, that there is a sheltered section for your horse. Okay. Uh, I will I will have left him there, but I would have came in to, to find things to take to him. I basically would have taken him to the stables and allowed him to rest out there. 
before mm-hmm. walking in and, and grabbing some things. But you know, at first I'm walking in. Oh, Quintus, <laughs> you're back. Looks up, sees Fenris. Uh, Fenris. Water? Or to set the stage. Water. To set the stage, Quintus would look haggard at this point. His hair would be disheveled. Parts of his armor wouldn't be oh. on. Uh, he would look probably the worst exhaustion-wise you've ever seen him. Oh, is my... Cody uh, quiet for anybody else? Yes, he is. A bit. Here we go. And now I can turn you, you down. Right. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> it's, it's better though to be able to turn you up or down. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Uh, yes, we... is. I need water for Winchester. Yes, I absolutely. You look good. Um, <laughs> uh, how did how did everything go? Uh, are the others coming? Uh, water, please. Right, uh, Fenris. I, I don't know where anything is. Otherwise, mm. I'd do it myself. Uh, I'm still getting used to the place to myself. Uh, Fen will retrieve water from wherever. Yeah, the water you've only be. been there for a few hours as well. We just got back a couple hours. Um... Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, and Fen will fill a couple water skins that she has. Uh, shall I accompany you? He like looks for a second. It's it's there. You can tell there's like a bit of apprehension, but he's like, oh, of course. Oh, all right. Uh, drow taken care of. We got the stone back. I imagine this is never, walking and talking. I never doubted that you wouldn't for a moment. How goes was outside, the... sits in stables. Ah. <laughs> oh, what a boy. Just trailing behind him. I take it the uh, grave was more than expected? Yeah. Hmm. The others should be here uh, in a few days. I, I see. Oh. When they... You were... When Sorry. they get here... Uh, I don't know if this will be useful. Argo uh, used it on me, but he's going to hand her the three sacks of diamond dust he just freaking bought. <laughs> Those are nice. the material oh, wow. components for greater restoration. Mm. Ah. Me and Winchester and Sunder of the Veering Grove and Vogan were cursed ah. when we were there. Seems they that are, curses are something we're running into more often. They are still in danger. The oh. curse almost claimed Winchester. Oh, poor guy. Uh, I should be able to take care of them as long as they get back here in time. I'm sure they will. Thank you. Uh, we completed our task. Oh, wonderful. Um, so, what what happened? Was, what did, uh, did Vogan <laughs> get the thing? I don't remember what the thing was, but there was a thing at the grave for Vogan. There is a, a slight, there's a slight look of annoyance over his face, but then it fades. He... Yes. I don't mean to pry, but that was a really interesting reaction to that. Uh, ben will, like, scoot closer. Was it something, like, crazy? You'll have to ask it when it shows. <laughs> I don't think I would do it justice. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Um... Wow. I can't wait to hear about your travels and such. Um, The others are still resting, but they should be up soon. I assume you'll want to rest. There's a lot of sleeping spaces 
upstairs? I'll sleep here. Okay. Uh, I'll be back. And Fen will go and then come back with like three to four pillows and two comforters in hand. I assumed Winchester would want one too. Thank you. Are you hungry? You don't look like you've- I mean, you look fine, but you look like a meal would do you good. Perhaps after I've rested. Mm, mm -hmm, if that's mm. fine. Yeah, absolutely. No, I- uh, uh, sl Sleep tight. Good night, Winchester. Fenris. <laughs> if Argo returns, tell him I have not forgotten. Okay. Um, mm. Do I need to know specifics on that? <laughs> I no, mean, it's but... been two hours. I hope not. Fucking oh. no. <laughs> whenever, whenever they do return, I should know. I should know sometime today whether or not that those diamonds are needed or not. Well, needed or not, they're great for in case. Uh, we only went through one of the diamonds on our side, so... This is a great addition to the stocks that we'll be acquiring for curses, because that seems to be becoming a, run, a running trend. Uh, I'll, I'll let you rest. Oh. Uh, glad, glad you're back home. One Sorry. more thing. Mm. I thought yes. that out of anyone, you might find this funny. He reaches into his bag and he hands her the, the filter that he had gotten. <laughs> the what? <laughs> it is apparently a... Uh, some some sort of a love potion of sorts. I thought that oh, if anyone man. would find use of it, it would be you and... It would be you two. <laughs> he hands it drugs? over to her. <laughs> Quintus, are these drugs? Might be fun. <laughs> That does not answer my. <sighs> Good night, Fenris. <laughs> you did not come back any less strange. Good night, Quintus. <laughs> As you say that, I know that find... I don't get good. I know I don't get good rest in armor, but I just fall back in my armor. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> As you, I'm going to move the filter of love over to your sheet. Uh, as oh, thank you, you um, Quintus. As you, as you say that, you find that he has drifted off. His eyes have. It's the sort of sleep where his eyes are still, like, the slightest bit open, and you see them slowly closing, but he has clearly already lost consciousness. <sighs> Quintus. She'll, like, pause for a moment, and then give in to ruffling his hair, and then fucking speeding off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just making sure it's not in his face or anything. Does the party... Up. Okay, so, Quintus, assuming time goes by, I would say, <laughs> waiting for you guys to recover, you would find that your bodies would recover from the damage you took. Um, having Hooray. cured the actual curse, your hit points would return. Does the party, for the sake of getting everything moved back along to where it should be, does the party want to say they take the next few days and we go to when everybody returns back together? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't really tell them everything that happened there anyway, so I'll wait for them to. Okay. Wait for the others to. In that case... Uh, two more days pass, during which time I assume you guys uh, live your lives, you do small things you need to recover, you spend time with Tantia, you catch oh. up, and you spend time with, uh, with Rory explaining the situation, which, to delineate that a little bit, um, though talking about dying is dramatic, it's happened before, almost, <laughs> so yeah. just to... To not to not lean too heavily into that conversation, he would be disappointed. You'd there'd be a biting his tongue feeling to the conversation, but he understands the risks, and he's at least glad you're with people that could bring you back. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and beyond that, you flux would spend time researching. You would find many of the books you needed have been moved. Like basically anything that Mary Mist has found that might relate to the cauldron and to um, at the part of the sky wall you're going to. Uh, Mary Mist has curated a large section and had it moved to the library section of uh, the Hollis Standard so that you could continue your research from there. As well, the High Lord appears to have outfitted the area with quite a bit uh, in terms of forging equipment and basically anything that you would need to replicate what you were doing before. 
Uh, uh, your cow is there. Your cow, though, <gasps> is, almond is outside, grazing the small bit of land that you would have. There's not a lot of grass here, but almond is making use of what they can. It's a strange place for a cow, but it's where your cow is. Yes, good. The cow is frequently going and sleeping in the horse stables at this point. <gasps> Our Winchester and Almond friends. <laughs> I will take yes or no, but yes only. I will take yes or yes. I will take yes or no, <laughs> the only two possible answers to the question. <laughs> well, you could be like, maybe. I will take yes or Almond has declared their hatred for the yes! horse. Oh, shit. <laughs> looks yes! like Almond has to go. Flux, there's... No! Something I wanted to give you, um, mm. the delineated, the, the the boiled down research you've had, what you can gather that is useful for you. Um, I'm going to okay. I'm going to put a story entry into your journal, uh, and uh, as usual, please forgive any spelling errors or whatnot while I write this, because you know it's yeah totally. Um, I'm going to put uh, Flux's uh, Flux Cauldron findings, which. Uh, discusses what you have found, what information you can pull up regarding the cauldron, as well as uh, three other useful sources of information about the Old World Towers, which you have previously discovered were a set of eight towers that surround the cauldron. Um, an area called the Astral um, Perceptiatory, which is a location that Flux may be interested in uh, pointing the party at. As well as a village, a small village near the Skywall called Stepdunder, which you have found in relation to a people that normally go into the Skywall find that place to be of interest. I have added that to your story links. Um, it's about four paragraphs. You can read that as you would. If you need clarification, let me know, but I'll leave that with you for now. Hell yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I shall go through this. And now, as for the rest of you, we move forward a couple of days. We move to the 18th. Midday, around 3 p.m. on the 18th, Vogan, Sunder, Lyra, and Lexi make their way back to the town. As you guys approach and you come to the gates, you will find that you have uh, recovered. I believe that those of you that had the curse while you were there, um, as you get back, I believe you're still cursed. Are you not? Yeah. yeah. Oh, would, I mean, you took away our... No. Like, I, I, I took away the stuff, but you did have the effects of the curse. We ran through what it would be. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were we already ran through what it was. Yeah. Ve Sunder was very close to dying. Uh, <laughs> but I think that was... He was the closest uh, to dying. I still mm -hmm. have like 44 hit points left. Yeah. So. I don't know if I'm I would have... I would have let everyone know you ready <laughs> to get rid of a curse from them because they need it immediately. Yeah, of Fenris would probably spend those days, like, waiting for them to come back, just waiting, literally on, like, the porch of this assumed place, of the hall. Waiting at the, the start hall of the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having you removed joke, curse right. prepared. That's exactly right. what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Having removed curse prepared, right, right, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Greater risk, I'm going to kick your ass. Maybe I will prepare it. She's built one of those, like, widow lookout things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> As you, but yeah, you the do greater so. restoration isn't needed, so you can keep the diamonds. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. As diamond you, dust. the diamond dust is worth noting. Um, yeah, the diamond yes, dust. Wrong. Well, I'll mark that on your sheet here when I get a moment that you have uh, three castings of greater restoration. You have the necessary materials. As they oh, return, they me. eventually again looking haggard. Some of them looking very sick. Uh, the others return, Lyra included. Um, <gasps> and you see them coming up on yeah. it. Yeah. Sunder in particular needs somebody mm -hmm. to help him walk as of this point. I would have helped him walk. Oh, uh, Sunder! Who's gonna help you walk? Right. I would have <laughs> tried I'm to right. help him walk. Mostly okay. Uh. <laughs> Fucking Lexi's holding up Vogan. Vogan's holding up Sunder. Lexi is struggling. <laughs> My thoughts upon immediately seeing you guys coming is running back to get Fenris okay. if she's not already with me. <laughs> yeah. Lyra will have, um,. Probably seen you guys as far as making sure that you're with somebody, uh, mm. and then they would have taken off to take care of a few things that are happening in the city. But as soon as you're in the hands of the party, then they they would let you know that they'll they'll be around. So if you want to reconnect with them, then you can. Mm -hmm. 
that they'll probably be leaving within the next week or so. So by the time you guys leave for the cauldron, uh, Lyra will let yeah, you know gotcha. that they will probably be how's, gone. How's Lyra feeling? Is she okay? Yeah, Lyra's fine. Lyra wasn't, wasn't cursed or anything. Okay, I just wanted to double check. Yeah. I didn't want her to go off on her own. She feels all fucking awful. But yeah, she leaves, <laughs> uh, she leaves you guys with your other fellow party members and takes off. Sunder tries to get off of Vogan as you guys get close, steps over towards Fenris and kind of falls coming to the entrance of the, uh, of your guild hall. <laughs> I, I brace for impact. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. I guess. Hi, Fenris. Oh, hi, Lexi. I hope your mission went well. You don't <laughs> really. Well, let's, let's, let's just do this here, you know? It's a beautiful day for Remove Curse. Is it? What's the weather like, Logan? <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, today. <laughs> um, uh, today it would be a bit overcast, but overall, fine. Mm. Okay, cool. Relatively normal day. Bruh. Oh. Mm. You all look wonderful. All right. Uh, if Fen will start casting Remove Curse on everyone. Mm. You right. get a Remove Curse. You get a Remove Curse. If you look Just under your two. seat, oh, I'm mean. fine. Oh. Oh, I'm fine. Right, oh, thank goodness. Sorry uh, if, if you have to put yourself out to help me. No! I... This is what I'm here for. Thanks. It's my pleasure. I'm just glad the two of you made it. <sighs> yeah. I'm glad you made it. How are you doing, Quinn? I'm fine. We're we're both fine. <laughs> okay, good. We made it just in time for Argo to save us. Good. Oh, Argo helped you. Okay. Yeah, Argo saved you. Yeah, I didn't know the others had been here, but. They arrived shortly before I did. I uh, see. Oh, okay. Would you, would, what did he make you promise in order to help? Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> we don't know yet. I don't know yet unless he told me in the two days that I've been here off screen. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, I see. No, uh, I has, he hasn't told me yet, but. Hmm. See it that you all rest up. I, mm. I'm sorry that I had to leave no i'm just glad that you and winchester are okay yeah you did what you had to do he barely he barely had made it oh no i'm so oh. sorry well at least i've been treating now. him like a king the past couple of days it should be fine oh yes you, you should can. see what goes into winchester's stable only uh. the finest oh and me uh. <laughs> also, whose house are we in front of? This guy must be rich as hell. Uh huh, it's, it's very ours. fancy. What? Welcome to the know? Hall of Stand! <laughs> Is that you know how many rooms are in it? there? There's more than eight. What? I know! <laughs> really? what? We own all of them! We could stand in any of them for any amount of time and no one tells us to go. Unless you're staying that's, in someone else's that's room. That's too many rooms. We don't need that many rooms. Now that's the <laughs> highest standard. <laughs> <laughs> and I made sure that I made sure one of the rooms at the balconies was 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 for you, Lexi. As we have it, we have the pots ready. We're gonna plant things. <laughs> really? Hopefully, I don't know. The DM hasn't told me about the last two. I'm kidding. That's <laughs> <laughs> the balcony. There, there'd be room to put a garden in and stuff. Yeah. There's like a modest, like this isn't like an estate that you'd find out in the the countryside because it is within the city borders, but like it's fairly wide. You can make quite a bit of noise here, and the next people wouldn't see you. Like the houses here are spread apart enough that you can do quite a bit with your land. Um, you couldn't farm here necessarily. Like if you start planting crops, we're gonna have an issue, but. A small but garden. There might be like a small garden. Yeah. yeah, gardens can absolutely yeah. be worked. Um, like, there's enough that you could probably like build a barn on the property <gasps> in the spare oh space. God. Like, there's there's enough oh. space for that effectively. Heck you yeah. know why yeah. I want this? Am I able to do the thing I want? You to can do? you can put strawberries <laughs> in if that's what you're Yay! asking. Of you Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what else would you possibly plant? <laughs> there's no other use for a garden. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. <laughs> There's a couple we... trees on the property, but not enough that it really obscures anything. Okay. We should we should get you all inside. Mm -hmm. Get you mm -hmm. situated. You have to be yeah. I'm pretty tired. I've been carrying Vogan like most of this way, so. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Where's my dog? Up inside. 
<laughs> the dog's <laughs> here, right? <laughs> <laughs> you hear yipping from like the second Oof. floor window of the area. You and then you just hear a <laughs> from inside, and then you just see it appear, just kind of a couple feet above the ground in front of the door. Fall just plop down onto the ground and rush over towards you, yipping yeah! happily as it does so. <laughs> oh, hooray! <laughs> I pet Minnie Myra. Uh. No, I collapse I onto the floor girl. and let her lick my face. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you all look like shit. I feel like it shit. Uh. <laughs> Start singing Bo Burnham. <laughs> Don't take it like personally. Shit. She's been saying that to me for two days. Oh. Jeez. It's oh. true. <laughs> I'm glad all of you are okay. I was really worried. Yeah. You as well. Oh, I had things mostly handled for the most part. I figured that you would be okay because you guys had fanris and flux with you. Like they can, they can take care of people. I was worried, but now that everything's settled, I realize I probably could have asked Kitty to look into if you were fine. But hmm. <laughs> you, you were just panicked and, and worried. That's fine. I'm also very dumb. <laughs> That's not You're true. Oh, at least <laughs> self awareness is good. I'm wow. Speaking, it's fairly true. Wow, I'm standing out here alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We have strengths and weaknesses, we all do. Uh, I will not be acting in any shows anytime soon. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't want to talk about it. Such a promising career for you, Fenris. I got what? you killed! What? Wait, what? Is that, no, wait, I, Aviana's that, dead? That was, is Aviana was, a ghost? What's no, happening, you guys? Aviana's fine. No. That was not your fault, Fenris. Yes. We all you. have I plenty of stories to share between Aviana. us. How about we... I just feel if I had studied okay. the Duragard dialect a little better, I would have been more prepared for the situation. You're not the one... <laughs> Hi, Lexi. You're not the one who went into that room by yourself. Hmm. <laughs> I've like slowly snuck over and I'm <laughs> slowly hugging Avi while she's like talking to Ben. We all have <laughs> making sure she's corporeal. <laughs> I'm oh real. my god. <sighs> How about we okay? step inside so that we're not, uh, mm. we can have everyone together? Sure. I'll put some food on the stove and get some meals for our weary travelers. I'm gonna nap, and then fit. okay, okay. All that right. Sounds... Yeah, go so sleep. So nice. Mm-hmm. We should go nap. <sighs> I'll have Game it for when you guys check. wake up. <gasps> Thank you, Fanny. Cool. Ah, anytime. Right. We convene in eight hours. <laughs> yes. You're right. <laughs> we napped for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Seven p.m. rolls around. <laughs> 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 I return time? with my gemstone! <laughs> <sighs> I walk out. So I, I want to address this Same. right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. You wanna... Two people in particular have so much weight on them from coins <laughs> <laughs> that they are over encumbered. I want to know where that money is going. I okay. was going to talk to Miriam and ask him Shit. to put a chunk of it in the haversack. <laughs> we're we're no. adventurers. What we, what we need we to do, because I'm so yeah. rich. What Can we, we need put to it do. in the bank? Or we could just put it on the floorboards or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my thing. god. Actually, I'm like, I. we could leave some in the haversack. I don't trust the banks. Um, With less than 135 pounds, I could carry it. I'm not trusting you with my shit. Don't touch it. It's over 135 Ooh. pounds. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Could we add the floorboards are possible. Hmm? Yeah. I mean, it's not like we're going to have many intrusions. I'm going to gesture towards our vaguely fortress-like house. Mm -hmm. hmm. So unless you're worried about other people in the group, Bill, for again, it's not an issue. So yeah, the haversack sack in total can hold up to 80 pounds of material uh, in its <laughs> central pouch. And each of the side pouches on it, which there are two of, can hold an additional 20 pounds of material. 
Yeah, it can hold a total of 120 pounds, but if you do that, that is the all of the bag yeah. space. It, I'm actually going to empty a lot of the stuff out of it while we're here. Okay. Uh, if you're like... emptying stuff out of it, I will go ahead and throw anything you want to. I will put it into the party sheet, and we'll treat the party sheet as, like, the communal. The mansion, so yeah. yeah. Cool. Just for now. Uh, what would you like to, to empty out of it? I'll take a look at my haversack. You just do it like Halloween. Like, just tip the bag upside down and tip everything out. We can all just go through it. <laughs> you imply that's not how Mariam is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Looks like we're still getting the same freezing issues regardless of using land. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I think it has uh, more to do with streaming. I think that there's mm. just the CPU load stuff going on. I might Crazy. look into actually doing the streaming off this new laptop of mine, and then seeing uh -huh. how that goes. And then, like, try to route my audio from my PC over into it, but that'll take some doing. Um, that sounds like a lot of doing. Yep. That's true. So. Um, you know, I have a ton in there right now. Um, I'll, uh, I'll take out the magic items, just in case we need to see if anyone wants to use them. Um... And uh, outside of that, I'll keep the the rare stuff in it because I am actually planning on going to the gym store at some point. I'll see what I can sell there and also to uh, hopefully get some agate. Okay, so basically anything magic you want to throw onto the table? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I would return Drift Globe to Quintus. I'll put it in the party sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, I will yes. give Lexi back her... Her dagger. Aw, thank you. I mean, you don't have to, because, like, I have this now. Show sun sword. Are you including like, oh, the oh, maybe bottle I give this of blood in the magic items? Um, I will keep a hold of that. Okay. Although maybe maybe I should give this back to Quinn. Quinn, do you, do you want your, your sun sword back? Oh, uh, I, I, I mean, I have okay, this. So um, let's, hmm. let's, let's. So Mariam said he was doing this. We're still addressing the question of where all the right. money's going. We are not jumping into everybody passing around magic no, items, to be clear. No, fine, I want to deal with one thing at a time here. Um, cool. wait, wait, wait. um I guess I have to use the bank. Uh, who's the other person who's over here? Aviana, who's money? never gone to a bank in her 26 <laughs> years of life. Don't worry. They're run by the together. dragons. It'll be a first for us both, Aviana. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, can we uh, get some of our coins converted <laughs> so that we have fewer of them? Yep. Back to the bank. I'm just waiting for the game to catch up with itself right now. I still have so much platinum. <laughs> oh my god. You no fucking who? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't fly if I'm holding that much money. Maybe you can, like, uh, you go to the magic item D &D store stocks. and hopefully they have a bag of holding for sale. Hmm, maybe. I do want to go to the magic item store. Just what a problem, in some D &D though. Stocks. I can't fly because I'm weighed down by my vast, vast riches. <laughs> so rich Man, you've changed, Javi. <laughs> <laughs> Still hate the Platinum District, though. <laughs> there. Shit. One thing in it I like. That's done. So those are in there. So, yeah, you guys want to convert money? Then you can do that. We will I'll get out of your way regarding that, regarding how much you need. Um... Uh, we'll start with... Oh, come on, you. Uh, Avi. You, would you like to uh, convert currency? Yeah. I'm trying to... I'm like, alright, there's so much. I'm so overwhelmed by... <laughs> it's gonna sound terrible, but I'm overwhelmed by how much money I have. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was gonna sound terrible! <laughs> <laughs> um... Because we swapped, why do I not have the thing down in my bottom? I saved it. Because we I switched to Unity. Did. Yeah, that's why. I was like, where's my coin code? Although I did give it back to you guys, and I did. I can. You did. I can... Hold on. Mm -hmm. There it is. Let me put that in my heckin' thing. Yeah, there we go. I saved it. I have it. Did it. Yes. Uh, yeah, oh. I can convert. I'm just gonna convert all of my silver over. <laughs> Who needs that much silver? Do you remember how to do it? Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Yep, I do. I do. I do. So I do. that much can become. Uh, you can get twenty silver or two gold out of the amount of copper you have. 
Um, okay, well, let's make this simple. What do you want to convert things to? Let's let's choose um, a currency type and convert down into it. Okay, I'm gonna convert to platinum because then I can put a chunk of it away and then have like some gold on me. Okay. Then I'm hacking just for the sake of boopadoo. Let's do your gold first. Convert one thousand gold to platinum. Kaboom. Um. And then, boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, and then let's do your Electrum. Uh, your Electrum, you have 2,000 of it. Uh, to Platinum, it takes, kaboom, oops. Oh, you didn't have Electrum, did you? I had like 70 Electrum. I just did the wrong thing. Get out of here. Which means you would have... I need a minus 100 Platinum from you. Spend. That gave it to you. Hmm. But my money. Oh no, I see what it did. I did that. It converted everything down into Platinum for you. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, you end up with about, looks like, 2,900 uh, platinum by the end of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and yeah. trace amounts of everything else. I'm doing the same thing. Okay. Do you want to do that one? Now, out of that, you can carry that much, I believe. Uh, you're currently carrying, Aviana, 64 pounds of coins. You are 20 pounds away from being over-encumbered still. Okay. Um, because what I'll do is I'll put a chunk of it in the bank. So as soon as Miriam finishes converting his stuff, I'll probably want, like, a couple hundred gold on me, and then I'll take the rest of the banks, probably. How much do you want to keep on you? I'm going to keep, uh, 600 gold on me like on top of like what's there and then I'll throw the rest of the platinum in the in the bank. Okay, as soon as I can move stuff. Doop a doo. Convert to uh, convert to platinum to gold. So you want to keep six hundred gold. Everybody at home, I hope you're enjoying banking. Um banking. convert the, the exciting D and D adventures of bank. We'll convert one hundred platinum into one hundred gold. We'll turn that back. Boom. And then I'm going to go to the bank, and I'm going to go... It's empty currently, so this makes it easy math. 2806. Nobody else touch my money, I'll kill you. Hmm. Okay. That is that is for the electory district, I'll put you. Okay. There you go. As soon as the game catches up with itself, I'm going to move 2806 platinum into there, I'm going to move 400 gold into there, and I'll leave you with the rest. Thanks. Soon, as it catches up, that's all. Mm -hmm. Come on. Welcome to Barkers and Balrogs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> Bankers, sure now. Since we've eliminated Barkers. everything else and given this, I think it's. I don't even think it's a connection issue. I think it's a. Um, just a the amount general. of clients connected. Yeah, I don't think it's that. I think it's a processing right. issue. It only does this whenever Streamlabs is uh, is streaming. Uh huh. So, I think that moving the streaming off of this PC onto the laptop would do a lot of good for this. All right, boom, and I'm gonna minus this for me. Prepare to see a lot of money disappear off your sheet, Avi. Oh, jeez. There it goes. What's your item weight? <laughs> Back You're to right. poor, y'all. Bam. Good. Huh. You are now down to 18 pounds of coins. Cool. I still don't check the banks. All right, Avi, that's you. Does anybody else, would anyone else like to move coins? Uh, Flux, you are over encumbered still, I think. I don't know if you're, if you converted down. Uh, that. Not anymore. Yeah, I converted a shit ton of stuff to platinum and that took away like 50 pounds. Okay. 
Well, apparently you did something wrong. The police are coming for you. Oh, yeah, shit. Shit, Lord. Shit, Lord. Disintegrate. Disintegrate. Oh, shit. The IRS is coming to get you. Just covered Flux is listening. All right. As long as you're comfortable with the amount of money that you're carrying, Flux, then we'll be fine with that. Uh, everybody else, I recommend you look at how much carry weight you have versus um, your current capacity. Your cap eh. What your current weight is versus your carry capacity, and then decide if you want to convert down. Okay. I would like to put some. Oh, so much carry capacity. How, all right. How, how much would you like to put away, Flux? Uh, let's throw. Let's throw my 104. Uh, 100 platinum in okay. to the bank for safety. Yeah, I don't plan to have much money left by the end of the week, so I'm fine. <laughs> Go on, nothing spree. I off, I'm buying like four Minus things. Minus it from your own cheap flux. <laughs> oh, okay. That was platinum, right? Yeah, I'm okay. gonna put 104, 104 platinum. Okay. Cool. Then minus 104 from your own cheat. Alrighty. And unless anybody else wants to do anything in that regard, then bam. Okay. You all meet. You all arrange what you're doing, and you all meet to, uh, meet up with each other. Um, what would you like to do? You guys have the stage. It is currently the, the evening. Uh, the sun is kind of just beginning to come close to setting. The sky is slowly changing color, but it's still, uh, on this particular day, the weather's cleared up a bit. Clear skies, relatively uh, warm but comfortable weather. You guys gather together in the grand hall of your new home. You may, when you get there, you find Mariam has poured a series of magic items. There's a, a box, a uh, effectively a monocle on a stick that has this wonderful crystal lens attached to it, uh, a scroll that is oh. inside of a scroll case, and um, there is a set of bracers uh, sitting on the table when you guys return. Uh, I Kitty, will what bring gives? out the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, the glaive. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Any, anything you guys want to put uh, on the table, then go ahead and please drag it to the party sheet and set it there. Hmm. Time we have a really serious conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, Mariam. We're on a boat? Mariam. Who's the captain? Mariam, real quick. <gasps> Is it oh, just God. those items you're putting there, or are you also putting the other magic items you had, such as the great sword and whatnot? Are you also throwing there? Yeah, I'll put those there as well. I don't want to carry that around all day. I will put a shield on the table. Alright. I, uh, I have so many heckin' scrolls, I and I don't know which ones I can use and which ones I can't, so let's fucking figure this out together, y'all. <laughs> Yay, it's time for the identify sleepover party. You're fucking right. <laughs> but no, gotcha. if, Lexi, if Lexi wants to keep the uh, the uh, the sword, then hey, I'd be all up for you keeping the sword. Oh, heck. Because I... I got this other thing now. <laughs> all right. I got the mace. Now you guys put whatever you want to put into there, and then I will go over the list of what is there for you. Mm -hmm. So that everybody kind of knows. Uh, Quintus, I will note that when you come in, you do find one item that's been set there. It's a very uh, long uh, blade that has a... There's a sword there, a great sword, that has this angel wing design that folds in over the guard of it and has a relatively pristine-looking platinum blade. You don't know if it's made of platinum, but it has the coloration of platinum. Almost like an almost pure white blade. And when you see it you kind of feel drawn to it. Like, there's something about it that pulls you in. Kitty, the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. won't tell me. <laughs> no, is really, the... it won't tell me. <laughs> it's true, we've all held it. And we don't know what it is. It's some sort of adventure, but it's, uh, it doesn't like me very much. This is the thing Logan said you're gonna kill me with, isn't it? <laughs> yeah! No, go, don't be shy! Take it! Probably fucking curse, but Do it. go ahead. <laughs> it can't be worse than the other sword we found. No, it sure can't. Wait, uh, Quinn? Find a bad sword. What? Uh, are you evil? Uh, I. Mm. <laughs> <Quintus>? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> hey, no, you moron! No, no, no. <laughs> okay, then you're fine. 
Uh. Why was there hesitation? Nothing. Quinn, you're not evil. evil. Recently. At least Dumb, your sword's not, not racist. Uh. <laughs> Unlike you. What? No, Unlike what he has. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, Do you want to? It's a really like tear his eyes away from the sword for a bit. You want to show them that, Vogan? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show up. I'll stand uh, over. I'll stand over here so he doesn't start cursing. Oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, a warning, you guys. He's not very nice. Oh, yeah. Geez. I just walk Show to the up. other side you of the go. room. I stare at the sword for a second, but then I just look over at Vogan. <laughs> Show off, Chikugoku Saga. Goodness. Hey, you wake. <laughs> you just as soon as you okay. take it. How are you transporting it? Uh, I had, like, a cloth wrapped around, like, the, the blade part, um, and, uh, and then I would have just taken off the cloth. All right. My audio... Other than that, I was just using my hands to ca carry it around. My audio is freaking out a bit right now. Um, oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Falling Break is not brought to you by Dr. Pepper, a company that That's could... True. Sponsor the Devil May <laughs> Devil's Might Surrender games. <laughs> if they knew what was good okay. for them. <laughs> All right. Shit. I hate to do this. Um, heck, in people at home, uh, we are going to really briefly. Uh, we're gonna cut the stream real quick, and we're gonna come back. So we'll be back Split in a second, guys. The VOD. Yep. I'm gonna have to. I'm going edit to edit it together. Yep. It is. It's the mixer. Please exploding. hold, everyone. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, back. we'll be back in a minute, guys. Damn. Evil. Okay, so now I've hit record, and now that I've hit hey. record, I need to restate those of you at home who are watching from YouTube and might notice there was a sudden cut in the stream. It's because I had to had to grab it and I had to ch uh, quickly piece this together because we had to split the stream due to some audio errors. So if stuff cuts suddenly, it's because we were having some tech issues and we had to come back. Sorry about that. Hi. Ha haven't had Hello. one that's required a full restart in a while, um, but here we are. Jumping in the new program. Thank you at home for being patient. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, my guys. So yeah, the I don't know exactly where I'm gonna end up cutting this thing, but we were talking about what magic items are on the table, uh, and you guys mm -hmm. were talking about taking out Jikoku Saga. Uh, I will note that if you were just wrapping cloth around the blade, um, it is a weapon that's based on fire, and I can guarantee you, out of spite. It would have repeatedly oh, okay. burned the blade, uh, the the cloth away. Then I would not have wow. done that. <laughs> I feel like I would have done that once and then never again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Uh, so I just kind of bring the blade out then. All right. Um. Yeah. So, this is Jigoku Saiga. Say hi, Jigoku Saiga. Hi, Jigoku Saiga. I like Very it. Oh. <laughs> I'm nearly as many humans here as I was worried there would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of a human. I was at one point. Get over here. Hi. You just see this this glaive. I'm gonna actually grab its image for you guys real quick. Uh, if FG lets me. Um, FG's not letting me. What a what a what a shock. Um, oh, no. Uh, you guys, this is a relatively long red glaive that has a circular section in it where you see this little eye of fire sputter to life. Uh, this little eye made of flame that, like, looks around between the lot of you. So this is the merry band that you associate with. Is it Hobgoblin? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> to my friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is that so surprising? <laughs> I just like hearing it. It's nice. Mm. Indeed. That's a very pretty glaive. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Unfortunately, Go. it doesn't. Right. It's very nice. You see the look eye out. locks onto Quintus and then squints a fiery squint. Squints back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see it's already made friends oh. in the group. Yeah. Um <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Why? I'll work with it. Mm. Is that a gift from I don't really use Almira? I don't really use glaives. Well, I don't know. It's very not it's very useful. 
It seems to like Quinn. It, it <laughs> sure likes to hit him. Yeah. Oh. Well, if he's on the other side of it, it can't hit him. What? I mean, we could try it. <laughs> I mean, Quinn. Quinn, come oh, over I'm here sure and he hold Morgan's glaive for a minute. That. I just let's just see what happens. Come over here and hold the glaive for a minute. No, hey, there's no, no just, way you can handle me. Happens. No, <laughs> that is absolutely that no like way to very badly. disgusting human would even be able to handle me. You're wasting That's your time. Lot. That's a lot of adjectives for Quintus. All right, yeah. all accurate. He has a chance of taking <laughs> over whoever he's, you know, whoever is possessing him. I'll happily take anyone's body if they're willing to offer it. Ugh. I only uh, offer my body in very specific scenarios. Mm. All right. Mm. Is this yeah. one of them? Are you, are you mm. flirting with the glaive? <laughs> no, I'm telling the glaive that I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I sh <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay, interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I might need a moment. What, Miriam? <laughs> what, I can't have the glaive thinking I don't. <laughs> Miriam, you might tell somebody. That would be so <laughs> bad for your reputation. Oh, I got a reputation to uphold. Man. Is there a whale you could throw me in? Is there Probably. A whale. No, don't do that. Probably. A whale. A whale. Uh, a whale. 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 See, she's saying it. A whale. A whale. What can you say? A whale. I don't know if there are any whales nearby. A whale. Yeah, and why would you want to be long enough? Come on now. You're being a bit of a. He's basically asking if you get rid of him. He doesn't want to be around us anymore. Hmm. Well. Uh. Fortunately, that's not part of his test, right? Mm -hmm. As opposed to, is, what, is, is keeping it the yeah. test? <laughs> no, the test was getting it. Uh, hmm. but and there were no further test. instructions as to what to do afterwards. Pretty much, right? Well, he's kind of like she didn't tell yeah. me to keep it, right? She told like, you to. Uh, she told you to uh, try to try to change him and stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't Good hear that luck. part. I don't, yeah. I don't oh, remember that. Yeah. Yeah. If you graduated like from, from like listening to Almira, so it's your call. She thinks that you have good judgment. So, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not very good at convincing people of anything. But, hey. Ah, you changed the whole town's opinion. Mm -hmm. That's true. Always go and get him a masterwork box made. Oh. Quintus. True. Good I don't know. On the ground. <laughs> Quintus, but yes. <laughs> no, yeah. no. I mean, it's a good speaking idea. Speaking from personal experience, uh, being around people that you have a certain opinion of can change it. Maybe. He's already very deep into that human hatred, though. Hundreds of years into it. People can change. It's into true. corpses. <laughs> and people can Quiet change you. as people. He's not a people, though. He's a glaze. Sure, but I don't see why we can't give them the opportunity. Maybe you used to be a people. Glaive, did you used to be a people? Nay. <gasps> what kind of people were you? Were, I, were you a human? No, nay. I did not. Oh, sorry. I thought you said hi. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless, he seems to possess equal sentience to a, a quote-unquote people. So he should be capable of the emotional chain. Oh, I almost knocked off my glass. I think it would be. Oh, sorry, he should be capable of the the emotional chain. Whatever you would mind, what <laughs> okay. Like a quote-unquote people, my heart stopped for a second. <laughs> I was he, just going to my glass. Flux kind of stumbles in his chair, and the glyph's like, Nyeh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Burgundy was going around, we could sell him. Hey, I'm not selling him. Point at him. <laughs> what? I have goblin point at him. Point to who? Flux. 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 Oh. I want you to point and laugh at him. The one you call Flux. Oh. Yep. 
I point to. Morgan, <laughs> <laughs> stop pointing now. Stop it! Morgan, point at yourself. As soon as he starts laughing, I go. <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not oh. very nice. <laughs> yeah. I, I, do, I do not mind. Mm. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay. What a. Point it at yourself for a second. No. Oh. <laughs> Egg live, laugh at him. <laughs> You're red and stupid. <gasps> wow. I like Which... this glaive. You what is your be problem, Aviana? <laughs> hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fenris well, no. just picks up a teacup. Okay. Holy uh, shit, Brian. Either way, there shouldn't be any problem. <laughs> the tea is with piping this. today. There shouldn't be any problem with us traveling around with it. Honestly, it's... Uh, Ability may come in handy. Mm. Okay, well, what cool things can it do to make up for it being so horrible? Uh, Apparently, it's really good at killing me. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that's gonna come in handy. It's got really good. It's uh, really good against other humans. Um, uh, if we run up uh, against any bandits or the like, I believe that this would be a fantastic weapon in taking them down. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Can cast burning hands. It's got very. It's very fiery. Um. Hey, Flux, say, maybe you should take it. <laughs> Honestly, like, it would be the best in Quinn's hands. I That's feel. really fun. Uh, mm. And you'll always have someone to talk to, Quintus. Don't, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything with you. Maybe well, I mean, we can just hopefully not really be at each other's hands. throats the entire time. And I mean, what? if the point... Oh, sorry. I said, maybe we can just not be at each other's throats the entire time. You think he can handle that? Shikoku Saiga? Hmm? You think Throw he can... me in a whale. <laughs> <laughs> there are no whales nearby! I don't recognize any of you <laughs> as being my master. <laughs> We're and given that, city. And given that, I don't plan to comply with anything you ask of me. None of you can handle me, clearly. Well, except oh, you technically. You eventually. took hold of me and you didn't technically exactly. fall under my sway. <laughs> However, if you had no yeah. intention of wielding me, then you're not my master. Hmm. I would have known my way around a shaft. <laughs> <laughs> I missed this. <laughs> mm -hmm, I missed you guys. <laughs> you missed that? <laughs> All right, human. You're funny. I'm flattered. <laughs> Gee, I didn't expect that. You're all dead set on this idea, trying to show me that I'm wrong about humans. Mm -hmm. But my experience I with guess. your kind is that you chased my master into hiding. And they died there. I spent a very long time considering who exactly I should blame. And the humans that chased them there and killed them. I can't think of anyone else to blame. But since I'm stuck with you, I'll make you a deal. Mm. Human. Mm. You and I. One quick competition. If you win, I'll do whatever you want me to, and I'll allow you to try to show me that humans have changed since I was sealed away. And if you fail, I get your body. Oh. Unless, Unless you Bogan. feel like you're not up for it. Oh, I look to Vogan. I look at you. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, risks are high, but he's... You're the I'm best confident. person to handle him. I'm confident, but whatever you tell me, I'll do. If there's anyone who can get him to change his mind... Probably you. Hmm. That's true. You've certainly changed a lot of ours. Hmm. So. I have I no mean, fear that you'll take my body. I accept. Uh, uh, Alright. So the rest of you as well. If he fails, you'll let me walk out of here with that body and do as I wish to. Yeah? Ah. <sighs> 
Yeah. Can we just kill his body. Yeah, you can kill him if you want to. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> You'd allow me to do that, Quinn? It's so nice of you. There's a. I don't know what he's going to do with me, so if you think you can. <laughs> I'm pretty hardy. I've killed, I've killed you before. There's a Let's see, what you'll do. Let's see what you'll do with my eyes on you this time. Huh. <laughs> Such a challenge. But no. Out of anyone, I do trust that you can. There's a shuddering from it in your hand, Vogan, um, mm -hmm. as you feel it trying to manipulate itself in the air and pull itself away from you towards Quintus. I'll let it go. As you do, oh. it flies across the table and strikes into it near you, Quintus. The blade cuts oh. into it, uh, causing the handle of a blade to erupt and point upwards in the air. This is simple! Take a hold of me. And we'll see which one of us ends up wielding the other. Go, Quintus! I want to go over to Miriam. Hey, hey, you know that spiring thing you do? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Do you th do I think he's got it. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He really doesn't. I stand. <laughs> I glare at this Quinn and I'll give him a broken inspiration. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna give him Flash a genius. <laughs> Cody, do you have any favor? Nope, I grab it! <laughs> Can I give him one? Wait, no, I have Let's one. I have one favor. <laughs> oh, you see, you bitch! One. I don't know I, if I need as to. As soon as you go about instructing him on it, the eye of flame looks towards you, uh, you Flux. I no. Deal's off, then. <gasps> oh. I can do this myself. Hmm. It's Quintus. I appreciate it, though. Exactly. Thank Thank you. I'm worried. <laughs> oh, no. I'll draw I just, I just for you. I'm ready. I have faith in him. I have faith in him, too. He can do it. Mm. Those are the terms, and I will respect them. Good luck, Lord, Lord Master Quintus. All there right. you go, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he looks to the glaive. He looks to his hand. He reaches out to it. If anything happens to me, Vogan's the leader. And he grabs. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> I need you. I, like I need you to, I don't know. to pick. Uh, you're only attuned to two items right now, so this isn't a major complication. Yep. I need you. You do have one favor. I do. I'm going to definitely use it. <laughs> I'd, li I'd like you two uh oh, roll me oh, a oh. wisdom saving throw and it's i'd like to roll it into the tower oh. Oh. he does have an inspiration from Miriam. can you roll that as well mm. if he does if he He's if he, not would, if he flux. would say no i'd say this has to be let's, like, okay let's no. let's let's okay let's be fair about the difference between how Flash of Genius would work and the idea of, like, instructing somebody, um, verse how music works. Mariam, if you mm. want to try to give him an inspiration, roll me a deception check to make it seem oh. like you are just playing music as opposed to having some playing kind of other effect. battle music. Yeah. I mm. thought it was just, like, giving him words of encouragement. Yeah, I thought that, too. <laughs> she was like, get him, Quinn. Yeah. It's roll, fine, 69ers. Just start stomping your feet to roll, the song roll, that we roll all deception know. Regardless. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because that, one, that <laughs> one could be hidden as just encouragement or helping out. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Oh, hey. I'm going to use an, hey. <laughs> an inspiration so I can give him some inspiration. Yeah. Hell yeah. Some inspiration. <laughs> Whoa, nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, it's nice. In that case, uh, I'm gonna say we'll use since you're rolling into the tower, we'll use it beforehand. Uh, roll me okay. the one d8, add it to the modifier, a two. Two. Oh. Add it, put it in your modifier window, and then roll the wisdom save into the tower. Okay. Is the is the favor still on it already? Uh, it's on you, so it should be. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Whoop! It's gonna be great. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> 
You take hold of it as you do, you feel the feeling of fire surge up your arm as your veins feel like they almost light up. You guys see a visual effect of it looks like the veins under his skin rolling up to his face, down his chest. You see them light up as if flames course through them and the flaming eye builds up and it becomes brighter. You hear this just faint, <laughs> All right, show me what you've got, knight. As it does, you pull it out of the table, there's a sharp cracking sound as this large chunk of the table is ripped out as you do. The whole thing begins glowing. And Quintus is a white-hot pain as your vision seems to subside and you find yourself, uh, everything becoming white. You dig in, and you guys all see like his other hand coming to the glaive without him even seeming to real, uh, to mean to. The other hand wraps around it, spins it around and strikes the bladed side into the ground. As Quintus, you assert oh control. My God. Holy shit! <gasps> Having rolled a net 19. Damn! You assert control over the glaive. You didn't need any of the modifiers that were added. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking right. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I told you you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a deal's a deal. I'm not happy about it, but if you want to use me, show me exactly what it is modern humans are made of. Uh. Hmm. Uh. No. However, to be working with you, I suppose. You are. So, I'm going to add it onto your sheet. I'm going to take it out of his and throw it onto yours. You will be attuned to it. I will also Hooray. note, even though it is subservient to you, it is a cursed weapon. Mm -hmm. Its attunement is not something you can break without outside assistance. Okay. Yep. Uh, it, as a weapon... Jigoku Saga, just to, you've already kind of heard it before, but it has advantage on attacks against humans. Um, however, it also does impose a penalty to you that you would become aware of. Uh, it does give you a negative two to charisma checks and saves. Ooh. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> it's a meanie. Mm hmm. Putting it on you. Interesting. It is, however, a heavy reach uh, weapon that does uh, 1d10 piercing damage, as well as, uh, if it used with two hands, does 1d12 um, piercing damage. You can also choose to deal its damage as fire damage, if you wish to. Ooh. Uh, let's see. A creature that is attuned to this weapon may call its name as a bonus action to ignite it, causing all of its weapon damage to become fire instead of... Uh, it says... It says slashing, it's meant to be piercing. Um, actually, no, sorry, it is meant to be slashing, my bad. I'm gonna change oh, yay. this. It's a glaive, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a glaive. Nice. I mm. finally have a slashing weapon! It's also like, just, <laughs> if you just, you know, you just look at it, the fan blade doesn't really lend itself to piercing. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is a, it is a, a plus one weapon. You can cast the spell Burning Hands as an action, and you can do this any number of times. Uh, its DC is always 14. When a creature attuned to it scores a critical hit, or reduces a hostile creature to zero hit points, that creature must make a DC 15 con save. If they fail, uh, Jigo Kusaga gains a burst of strength, you gain five temporary hit points, and it gains a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls until the next time you take a short or long rest. That effect Ooh. can stack up to three times. Ooh. Oh my god. <sighs> Well, that's interesting. It seems like I'm still here. That's good. Okay. Yeah, just, just a little hot. <laughs> Don't get too full of yourself. I knew you'd win. Hmm. Good job, Quintus. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's Jiko Gusaga taken care of. My job is done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually not entirely happy about this arrangement. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Well, you I'm not I'm not entirely happy about this arrangement. I was rather I hoping the deal. 
I was hoping your mind would be a tad weaker. Hey, can we go back on this? I don't think that was fair. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mind Wanting like a get... steel trap. <laughs> Wanting to get out of the highest standard, I get that. I must be getting rusty. <laughs> I don't know, you seem pretty shiny to me. <laughs> oh no, my god. <laughs> Ten intelligence, baby. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Anyway, um, yeah. Other items. We found a bunch of other kill cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um. There's this. Certainly did. There's a oh, camera. Oh yes. That... Sorry. Sorry. One last thing about Jigoku Saga. Just uh, oh, okay. to oh, cover okay. it, just so that you know what it does. Um. It also, if it is within 100 feet of you, and it is you have dropped it. Um, you can recall it to yourself as a bonus action. It will just fly back to you. Oh, That's you cool. have the Avi's oh. move. That's Avi's move. Hell yeah. It's That's Avianna's move. It has to have a clear path, though. If there's something obstructing it, then it will collide with it and not be able to Can I throw it? <laughs> it is not a thrown mm. weapon. Damn. Whoa, <laughs> you, can't, you can't just javelin that shit. <laughs> With a fan blade? Say if there was... It's incredibly yeah, okay. anti-aerodynamic. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, Logan. What if I throw it like a frisbee? Hi <laughs> okay, Logan, hear me, hear me out on this. Mm -hmm. Hear me out on this. What if his, his glaive was away from him, and in the path, there's a human? <laughs> no. Oh. Then we might say that it doesn't attack. Uh, when it returns, we might say that the bonus action causes it to make its own attack against whoever's in the way, but it would stop when hitting them. Okay, cool. By the way, as a magic item, just <laughs> so you know, Quintus, uh, it made its own category at the bottom of your sheet. So if you want to like do the okay. stuff for it, it's it's got its own uh, header called Jigoku Saga. Okay. Jigoku Saga. Jigoku. Nice. Yeah. All right. God. Nice. <sighs> Very nice. <laughs> All right. One last thing to put on the table. Uh, I have this hammer that... Combined with the belt that you possess, uh, Vogan, and gauntlets of ogre strength, uh, apparently this gets rather mean. And Fenris uh -huh. will pull out and put on the table the hammer of thunderbolts. Oh. What does it do? A lot of stuff. Hammer of thunderbolts. <laughs> So many. Oh, look so at that angry, angry boy. I love it's, it. <laughs> okay, I know this thing. <laughs> look at that angry boy. It is on its own. It is there. a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. But if you are wearing the aforementioned items, not attuned to, just wearing them, um, mm -hmm. you uh, it increases your strength score by four, which can go up to thirty. Uh, if you roll a twenty on an attack made with it against a giant, the giant must make a DC seventeen con save or die. It has five charges. While attuned to it, you can use one charge to make a ranged weapon attack with it, hurling it uh, up to sixty feet. But its normal range is twenty. Uh, if it hits, it makes a uh, thunderclap audible at to three hundred feet. The target and every creature within thirty feet must make a DC seventeen con save or be stunned until the end of your next turn. The hammer oh. and it gets one d four plus one charges back. I will note it does not return to you when you do so, uh, mm. you have to go and retrieve it when you throw it this way. Oh. That's neat. You look mad. Can... Mm. Yeah. Is yeah, that one gonna yell at me too? <laughs> no. No, no. It doesn't talk, actually. Are you sure? Um, Excuse me, Mr. Hammer? Oh, yeah. is that a human? on his little nose. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Jigoku Saga! Is that oh, you, I heard? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's this cell. guy. Yeah, it is me! <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! How have you been? I've been fine. It's a sentient weapon. This guy's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, none of that. Reality research. Damn it, no! <laughs> Uh, I okay. have no interest. I am, in... I am booping him on the nose, waiting to see if he speaks, though. I'm it does not angry. react. <laughs> yeah, figure. I'm sorry. Mm. Although, oh, Lexi, there were no <laughs> sticks in the Underdark, but I did find something that I think is really up your alley. And... There wasn't a single stick in the Underdark? So I sad. know! I looked. I really <sighs> did. I, I okay. may have looked less sometimes than others, but I looked nonetheless. Mm, that's fair. You guys had stuff to do. But, and Fenris, I'm putting it in the party inventory, but the, the gloves of, uh, the, the, the gloves of thievery. 
<gasps> I know these. I like these. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I oh. thought that they were rather fitting. Uh, apparently, they you can't see them on, but it'll be like we're both wearing gloves. Oh, that's so good. Oh, thank you so much, Benrish. Yeah, Give her a big ol' hug. Yeah. I've missed my Lexi hugs. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> like a slip them on and be like, but about the angry hammer though, what are we gonna do? I mean, I don't you have, have gauntlets build. of ogre strength. You could get gauntlets of ogre strength, I'm sure. Well, maybe. Depending on if the uh, magic item store has it. Hmm. Hmm. Or, you know, Tanti has the gun. We could just give it to her. I mean... I don't think she uses hammers. No, <laughs> me neither. Her fists we can hold on to it for now trouble. and see if there's mm. anything we can do. Hmm? And hold Might on to well. it for now and see if there's anything we can do. Yeah, True. yeah. see if she'll trade. If she has them. Yeah. She does. True. I may have given her those. <laughs> wow. Well. All right. Cool. What's this about box? this sword? Oh, that, that's a boat. That's what I was what? asking. If we were on a boat, <laughs> who's the captain? Mm, what? So, I'm rather boat. fond of Captain Lucius. But you found a boat we're in open the under suggestions. <laughs> yes, well, yes, I did. mean, whose boat is it? Like, who found it? Because then whoever found it and whoever's boat it is, then wouldn't they be the captain? You oh, did the was the one carrying it to me. It's true. Am I Captain Can anyone Cola? sail a boat? Captain oh. Kalesh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Uh. Mm. Can anyone sail a boat? Does anyone know how? I'm a bard. I kind of can. I have no idea. Not well, a clue. I can kind of do anything. I just can't do it great. <laughs> That's fair. Except for the things I do do great. Those oh. I do <laughs> great. <laughs> well, would we have to like hire a crew or? Yeah. Mm. Well, do we need a boat we for the things that we have to do? Like, if we where, where are we on planning water. on going next? But it's, it's a boat just to have. If we want no, to go No, it's really, really cool. I just wanted to know if, like, we would need a boat in, like, the immediate future. Probably not the immediate future. It's still mm -hmm. cool to have, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, what kind of boat <laughs> Unless there's, like, a big got... lake in the sky wall or yeah, something. How, how big of a boat is it? Uh, it can be two sizes of boat. It can be a long mm. boat with a couple oars, and it, it could hold probably most of us. It couldn't hold us in jerky, though, or us jerky in Winchester, actually, like that. Or it can be like a small galleon. Oh. Oh. That, mm -hmm. That's big, big. That would probably need at least some crew. Pro yeah, probably. That is cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it fits into this handy dandy box in the meantime. Mm. That was really cool. You're really cool. Huh. <laughs> My god. <laughs> You're really cool. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm very cool too. Mm. Lexi can accept mm. compliments on like hair. <laughs> <laughs> mm. There's this sword, which is I don't know, some palette and obsessed thing. And uh Oh. We had another one, but we gave that to a friend, which was a very good idea. Yes. I retract yeah. what I said to you beforehand. Oh. He was what? very interesting. He's a problem. Not our problem. Who is the friend? Mm hmm. Who is the friend? Uh. We met a man called the Middleman. Uh, he's a notorious adventurer, and he's. Uh, a lot. Uh, but mm. he. He definitely came in. Uh, when we needed him most, so I'm yes. quite happy to have assisted him. Okay, man. he sounds nice. He was the cool. middle man. Oh. Oh. Well, me, it's a cool name. As the middle mm. man, what he seen. You just hear oh. Rajiko Usagi just starts humming. <laughs> yeah, Wait. he knows it. Aye, that's <laughs> a fairy tale. Well, and uh, now a person. Huh. I'm sure that if I he mean... helped you, then there's no th no nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. For now. <laughs> what do you sure. mean for now? Um, 
He can ask him when we see him again. I feel yeah. like we'll probably run into him from time to time. Mm. You guys are being weird and kind of cagey about this. No, oh, he's just yeah. some weird guy who appears where adventures to be had. Yep. Um, not a human. Hmm. Nope. Give you that much. Oh, yeah, right? Certainly not. Okay. Oh, you got okay. Goku Saga's attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fairy tale just got better. <laughs> anyway, you wanted me to touch the sword? <laughs> if you want, uh, it might tell you what it is. Gosh, Quinn, I just so looks over things. towards Yikoku Saiga, just like, I guess I'm touching all kinds of weapons today. Well, we had a good run together. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks that you're replacing me already, but I understand. All right, just break your connection <laughs> to me, and you go oh, ahead don't and take you worry. that sword. I have plenty of places for weapons. I'm a bit of a collector. Oh. Hey, watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, touch it. I go and touch it. I've already touched one cursed thing already. Well, Let's touch here another we go. Thing. <laughs> as you take it, yeah. as you take it in your hand and you you raise it, you put Jigoku Saga beside you in such a way. Jigoku be... Saga, protect me! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm looking out for you. Here I am. Oh, don't <laughs> don't do it. I oh it, 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 it hurts y'all. I'll be right there to stop it. You see the eye rolling back, looking up <laughs> as it says this. This is my favorite weapon we've ever found. As you <laughs> take it and you lift it, you feel it trying to reach out and make a connection to you. You feel this warmth coming from the blade. It almost feels lighter than it should as you take it. And as you, like, turn it, you see your own face reflected in the blade, in the, the platinum... Uh, blade of this weapon and when you do you see a version of yourself that almost you prefer though you're still recovering from the travel you took you see a heroic um, well-kept version of yourself reflected in the blade of this weapon and you feel it trying to reach out and attune to you basically immediately hmm. unfortunately I think I have a, a full attunement slot mm -hmm. you'd have to choose something to unattune from uh, what are you attuned to? I guess. The, I guess for sorry. now, let's let's unattuned to the ring to the ring of ash and scarring for now. All right. Or I could or I could do the mace of disruption. Because I mean, I don't want all three of my attunement slots to be weapons. Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's unattune to the mace for now. All right. As you take hold of it, um, and you attune to it, you allow its energy to enter into you. You begin learning about it. You see the efforts of a valiant paladin enter your mind as if memories of a former wielder were flooding into it. Um, this heroic figure wearing this pristine white armor, long flowing golden hair behind them, cutting down what? demon after demon. Um, you see them being thanked by people of a bygone age. Uh, you see them being greeted and rewarded by celestial beings in this uh, dreamlike like vision that you see and then at the end you see a slow turn in these visions you see the this figure slowly becoming politically involved in various places and you see their intentions turning as they try to make the world as a whole a better place and you see their methods slowly changing and becoming slightly more uh, gray morally gray as in their pursuit of good you see this person cutting down innocence. You see this person slowly diving into um, overtaking areas. You see them conquering in an attempt to enforce what their ideal of good is. And as you do, you all see the blade starts to become blackened. As it attunes to you, I'd like you to make a charisma saving throw, which is great, because oh, your charisma yes! saves just got lowered! You're Yay! wonderful! <laughs> Please okay, I, I, I'll give him Flash of Genius for the save. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. I have a negative <laughs> one right now. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> Go ahead and make Let's it. Let's that out a bit. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Fifteen! You feel, you have, you try 
to let go of it. Flux, you see this, and you briefly call out to him to let go of the blade, but as he tries to, your hands grip onto it. One of your hands grips the blade so much that you feel it cut slightly into your fingers as you hold onto it, and it attunes to you despite your best efforts. As it does... <sighs> All right. We're gonna do a couple of things here. So first of <laughs> all, fucking kill me like you said. <laughs> yep. Well, I, I listen. Oh. You I did definitely warn warned everybody yeah, about you, this. Yeah, I, you, you said did don't warn give it me. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. It's not my fault that y'all don't know what to believe what I say. Um, <laughs> you do that intentionally. I think it's absolutely <laughs> your fault, actually. He's right. He's very correct. As what? Oh, no. that's ridiculous. This isn't exactly. <laughs> Dude, this is fine. I'm having fun. Let's fucking this go. This is yeah, could have been this a holy weapon. Avenger. This we had to weapon. Take the chance. This weapon was once a holy avenger. Uh, oh. It retains the property of it gives a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls made with it. Uh, however, it does not do this extra damage against fiends. In uh, whenever you use it against a fiend, it has no enhancement bonus to speak of. Additionally, this weapon, uh, you have this brief image in your mind of after the Paladin that held it becomes something of a conqueror. A once allied angel to them descends in this dream that you have and tries to stand against them. And they use this Holy Avenger to slay that Celestial that stands oh, against them. No. That act is what corrupted this blade. And because of that act, whenever it strikes a Celestial, it deals an extra 2d10 necrotic damage to them. Oh, no. Wow. As you attune to this, <laughs> those of you that are sitting near him at the table, those of you that are good aligned, you find yourself weakened. <laughs> those of you that are good aligned yeah. creatures within 10 feet of him, you find that you would have disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws well within this area. Oh man. Wow. I feel sick. You are now attuned to Duskal's Tainted Avenger. Uh, oh no! What is this? this what, are you is, okay? Uh, oh, what, what's happening? I, oh, I don't feel good. Hey, uh... Hey, Fenris. Gone wrong. I was hey, joking Fenris. before Jigo Christophe, can you save me? Oh! Hey, Fenris, remove curse. <laughs> <laughs> you should remove curse, yeah. Please remove the curse, Fenris. Mm -hmm. I don't... Okay. Once. Um, hold on. I used it twice already, because <laughs> I healed... Okay. One minute one day. Was it? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, that was... That was, was eight hours ago, was the though. same day. It's only been like eight... Yeah. It's been like eight hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Fenris you guys had rested before Fenris that? Didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just wanted to check, sorry. Yeah, so I, I guess I'll try to remove Curse on the blade. Alrighty. One second while I go up to it on here. While I'm... <laughs> well, I'm being attuned to it when I see if that's back... a bad idea or not. <laughs> also, I'll be Swallowing right back. back waves of nausea. Be yep. careful, Fenris. <laughs> <laughs> yep, as you go up to it and you try to use Remove Curse on it, you do use the magic to try to separate him from it. Yo. But as you do, I just dragged that onto the wrong thing. Uh, as you do, as you try to use the magic, you find it doesn't work. It seems oh, to, no. it, though it does, though what? it pumps into it, it being a weapon that was used to slay a great many creatures, break a great many curses, the weapon seems to have a resistance to the normal means to remove uh, curses from creatures. You find the magic just is rebuffed. It blasts back, the magical energy scattering before it can take hold. Okay. You are attuned uh, to it, so you would learn its properties. Uh, yeah, Quintus. I'm reading it. I don't. <laughs> then you. No, I'll leave that on you then. I oh, also oh, oh, need to do one more thing real quick before we do you anything. Don't need to do one more thing. Roll me one <laughs> d100, please. Logan, you don't need to do. Roll it. me one d100, what Quintus. We're doing this. Oh, Come on. No. Quintus. <laughs> Quintus. This I is, need to see what this says. I'm going to add this to your identity tab. Oh. Under ideals. Uh -oh. No! No! <laughs> oh no. 
Welcome As you back, find Dom. yourself enamored by the reflection <laughs> that you had seen in the blade, and while you hold it, that version of yourself, though, though this weapon is something that weakens those around you, you become aware that, tainted though it may be, this is still a weapon that could do great good. And in your hands, perhaps, it is a weapon that could be used to help many people. And you are just such a person who could wield it for that. Uh oh. No! That's, that's Fenris, it's fine! Bad news. That's... Oh no. It's fine, Fenris. This... I guess I have to get used to it, is all. Well, what do you mean? It's, it's um, making you sick and it's making all of us sick. I don't like it. It's... It's not its fault. That's what? looks okay. at Fenris like that. That's interesting not. phrasing, mm. Quintus. But that has blood of many an innocent person on it. I can only imagine with how it rejected my magic. I didn't do that. It's far worse than you might think. But given what it is, it's it's not its fault. It was the previous wielder. They weren't strong enough. That is a blade that I... thirsts for blood, Quintus. I would not wish that upon you. Strong. Man, I wish I wish I could say that that's true. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Technically not. <laughs> Technically doesn't Only compel, doesn't compel you. Yeah, go ahead. That's true. Oh, you know, I, mu I, I might. Let me double check. It is a weapon that has done a extremely heinous deed i do not and many have fallen before it but it's because the one who wielded it changed became dark lost the way i can handle it okay but like you're wielding mm. it right now and we all still feel awful so i don't mm. it's fine i can i can step it's... away what do you mean it's fine? We all feel blah. I can step away I, from you. It's fine. I can see it. Your influence on it is already starting to purify it to a degree. If y'all leave it in his hands, he may master it and become better for it. Take it from see? him now. You see the eye become very serious. It slits into a cat-like pupil from Anjigoku Saga. Take it from him now. And I can see right through it. It may kill him to remove it from him. Inside on the glaive. Uh, roll, go ahead, roll inside. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I Please to... roll well. <laughs> I do what I better. I got fucking right. no modifier. Choose not yeah. to believe the glaive, period. Yeah. <laughs> I believe uh, the glaive. <laughs> <laughs> Hail the glaive! Once the game catches up with itself, I'll uh, I'll tell you the results of of what that was. <laughs> I I will not say anything because I I read things and I don't want to say anything. <laughs> mm, okay. oh. So we just kill Quintus now. No. No. Yes. There should you be methods that I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. Shit. Oh, boop. Vogan. Hmm. That's amazing, but <laughs> you detect Jigoku Saga. Like you, f you hear the most suppressed giggle under what he's like, saying. Fucking when he god! Does. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Take it from him now, and it may kill him on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so much Vogan. <laughs> hey, Fenris. Mm. Try it again. Um, I was going to attempt uh, a different spell tomorrow that is of a greater. Um, it's of a greater restoration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was going to say of greater restorative properties. <clears throat> Still. Um, <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not try? Re All does right. it cost you and anything to remove curse? No, I don't think so. Sometimes my dignity, but that's neither here nor there. I wish I All could right. tell you. I guess I wish go. I could tell you guys more about the curse, but I'm not sure how much I actually know because a lot of it's game mechanics. <laughs> I'll yeah. burn. I'll burn a fourth sure. level spell slot to cast remove curse once more. Once more. I imagine it 
has the same reaction. You're doing it at fourth level? Yes. Uh, when you do so, once again, the magic scatters, having no yep. effect. I'm going to have to try something with a little bit more kick to it. All right. Fair enough. Pepper. So in the meantime, we just let Quen hold this horrible black sword? It should only be for a day. I can prepare the spell for tomorrow. Okay. And what if think, that also do doesn't work? Then we try not to use it. You have a glaive that you are friends with now. Why not use that until we can rectify the issue with the Avenger? This is interesting. I don't like it. Indeed. Hmm. Oh, here we go again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? Is it freezing on you? Yeah, we got some mega audio issues again. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh. Oh. It may have just cleared. Well, there he goes. Now. Huh? You roboted for a second, but no, you sounded maybe okay. fixed it. Yeah. Yep. I think. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know why that happened. Yeah, you're all good. Don't worry. We seem to be good now. Well, I know that. I would um, say, if I hmm. feel, if I'm too much for all of you to stand next to. Uh, then I can I can stay back here. Or you could just put it down. Would putting it down do anything, Logan? Who knows? I mean, with, he'll, with he'll items it, with regular with items with regular attunement, if you uh, if you put them down and you leave their presence for long enough, they will on attune. But uh, rarely is yeah, a first item so easy. That, yeah, I don't think that putting it down is going to make you guys feel any better if you're near me. <laughs> <sighs> That's not good. Is it within your range, like Quinn, or is it within the sword's range that we feel awful? A good question. Is, I believe it is my range. It's probably him while he's attuned to it, given yeah. that the sword mm. didn't do this before. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, Quinn, yeah, go sit in that well. corner. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that sounds good to me. I wanted to speak with one of you anyway. Yeah. So, oh. whenever... To be Whenever clear, we're done with all of this. To be clear, for your sake, Cody, it is while you hold the drawn sword, it creates an aura and a ten foot ah, radius around you. Oh, so, so you can, can stow it. Oh, I can okay. stow it. Just keep, yeah, just oh. use your glaive. Doesn't <laughs> yeah, have a stow it away. Doesn't have a scabbard. Oh, you can get, get one. one made. I go get one made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. I think that I'll go and see Legum. Oh, maybe, right. maybe some, maybe someone as skilled as he who is rival even to me in those regards, can handle something like this. <laughs> okay, but wait until we figure out what we're doing with all this stuff. Like, you shouldn't go mm -hmm. by yourself, even if you do have a black sword. No, no, he can, he can go by himself. No, he can't. No one can go anywhere by themselves. Bad things happen when people go places by themselves. We're in I'm actually Brad. perfectly fine going by myself. I'm strong. <laughs> Stop! <Yeah. laughs> I'll kill <laughs> both of you. <laughs> <laughs> It does seem like a bad idea for him to go anywhere in I'm this going kind of condition. Out. Thank you, Flux. I'm going out anyway, so I'll take him. Okay. Mm. Or I, I could try to make a scabbard for you, then you wouldn't need to leave. Aw. That would be nicer for the populace of Summergrass. <laughs> Who cares about Anyways. the populace of Summergrass? I'm evil mm. Quinn now. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm evil, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about all those humans out there? Right, Jigoku Saiga? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Says any of this in front of Aviana. Yeah. Like throat cut. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wanna run uh, that high again? Reality reasserts itself. <laughs> yeah, reality yeah, reasserts itself. Yeah. Anyway, we got some other items to look at now. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'll that stand one over, over there. Here and look at my two new weapons. We'll give you true sight, if I remember. Mm -hmm. Which oh. one? The gem there on the stick. <gasps> you have to attune to it, but looking through it, we'll let you see no. through any illusions. Any stakes, well, that one, but I got, I, you, it's got a gem. We can't play fetch with that. Eddie, Maybe continue while we're talking about the items. Uh -huh. 
If there's anything uh, else you guys think is cursed, allow me to use my expertise with it. I'm I'm very good at it now. <laughs> Fuck uh, Quintus. I have to say things like this. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. Oh no. I'm very confident for some reason. I'm not gonna say much else. <laughs> you fucking dare. I refuse to put Quintus touches a third cursed item in the highlights <laughs> notes. <laughs> fucking refuse. <laughs> I do believe that's the last item of that nature in here. Mm. It seems mm. like we have quite a few scrolls. Those bracers mm -hmm. will make you better bunch. at archery. If you don't know how to shoot a bow, they'll teach you how. Might be oh. good for Lexi. I'm already pretty good at shooting a bow. Mm. Could be even better. The braces of archery oh. uh, give you proficiency with longbows and short bows. Oh, longbows are... Okay, yeah. No, uh, but... But also, uh, they give you a plus two bonus to damage rolls on range on those weapons. <gasps> Could be yeah. even better. Okay, <laughs> but I already have a bracer that's a super special magical bracer. Would also would I be able to wear those and this? Yeah, probably. probably didn't want to double up. Okay. I mean, if you guys think I should take them, they are. Uh, they will. How many? They would take a oh, tune, however. Okay, yeah. let me have a look at how many things of a tune too. You are two. attuned to only two items, yeah. <gasps> I can do it! You want Wait, to do that? Wait, would the Gloves of Thievery require two? They no, do not. Those are not attuned. <gasps> Hooray! Then I'm taking these! Oh, thank you, much. Your arms just end up as balls of fabric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My arms are so fucking thick. Oh my I'll, I'll say with these ones, I will, given that the Gloves of Thievery can go against your skin and become, like, so thin that they literally don't seem to be there, I'll say you can use those on the bottom, bracers over them, and then your rock is basically the three rings that go around it, so I, can, I see no problem with those being bound over another set of bracers. So oh, that's cool. fine. By the, by the time. Yeah. By the time Lexi is all decked out, she looks like Luther from Umbrella Academy. <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, fucking beefy is all hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put Jesus. on a giant coat to hide my weird monkey body. Races of archery, <laughs> attuned and equipped. Uh, oh. uh, uh, Logan, I'm gonna send you a message on Discord. Gotcha. Well, thank you, guys. This is so cool. Mm. Hmm. Looking at the scrolls, um, are any of these scrolls uh, on my spell list slash are problematic? You've, uh, we've already ID'd all these scrolls, so we know which are which. Uh, mm. Just all you gotta do is click on them and then check the uh, the spell that's linked to them. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you can't yeah. use the scroll of blur. Lexi and I can use magic mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, same. Oh, that's right. It doesn't say if it's ours. Yeah, you'd have Ooh, that. I think you have a lot of these. Fenris can't use the chain lightning one. Yeah. I can use force cage. Hell yeah. Nice. I can use blur. Nice. I think Fenris can't use a lot of uh, these. The blurred. <laughs> <laughs> the blurred flux could use blur. <laughs> of course. All right, I'm already wearing their display. To be fair, you could cast it on someone else. I yeah. No range of self. Oh, shit. <laughs> you you could not. <laughs> Just impossible to perceive at that point. Okay. Scroll of protection from aberrations isn't a spell per se. I could take the scroll of clairvoyance. <laughs> Don't uh, I? Oh, mm -hmm. I certainly. That's a potion. Would. Oh, potion of clairvoyance, even better. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Drink this, you're gonna see some stuff. Heal. Oh, shit. Thanks. Yeah, I put all the, I put all my potions, all the fancy potions that we got into the party sheet there. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I put all my scrolls and stuff in there too. Do I have anything else in here? I don't think I do. I pretty much just kept healing potions, and it's literally like one of each. That's the only things that I kept from like our mission. I think. <laughs> yeah. The air catching shield. Does that have a bonus to it? Hmm. Uh, it's kind of uh, situational. AC. It's a regular Against shield, range, but it gives a plus, okay. bonus, a plus two bonus mm -hmm. whenever a ranged attack hits you. Okay. Mm. And you can use a yeah. reaction to make something hit you if you're within five, five feet of a target who's getting it with a ranged attack. Okay. Which seemed like a very Quintus mm. thing until about five minutes ago. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things changed. Oh, no, don't <laughs> yeah. worry. Just get behind me. You don't have to worry about anything. I'm, I'm, I got this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, now that, uh... If you guys take potions and stuff, uh, make sure you also hit equip on them in your inventory so they show up on your magic tab. Hmm. Yes. I think the arrow catching also, shield sure is something for the, uh, the shop. <laughs> um, gem of seeing would be good if any of us had attunement slots open. Uh, Heck. <laughs> so. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't ask me. Do not ask oh. me. Yeah, no, I don't have any either. Shit. <laughs> Just built the last one. Understood. Give this to me, and I'll pick up a stone, um, and flip it up. I can't really use it, but this does give you a little bit of extra good luck. Aww. Shaped like a cat. <gasps> oh, then Kay should have it. That makes sense. <clears throat> That's that was my thought also. <laughs> also, wait, who's taking the the stone of good luck? I have it. Yeah. Finners gave it to me. But you uh, point out that he can't use it right now. Nice. What's it do? Uh, it gives you plus one to saving throws. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> might be good for quit. Only had attunement slots. Yeah. I'd, ha I'd have to get rid of my my ring, but I could attune to it. You failed the most saves, so it would be pretty good for you. Yeah, <laughs> oh. There it is again. It's happening again. Oh no! Higgity heck! Boop, boop, boop. Higgity heck! Higgity heck! Higgity heck! Oh, I have a question. <laughs> um, Flux. Yes. Or, I guess yes. just I guess just, I guess just you, Izzy. Whenever you do fire damage, like from anything, <laughs> is that what your stuff does, or? Please. Um, mostly, yeah. Whenever okay, I like cast guys, a spell, um, or, hold up. do fire guys, damage. Yeah. What's happening mm -hmm. again was a small request to wait. Um, oh, sorry. you are what all. Was it? Sorry. I can. I want the thing to catch it because you are all heavily roboting right now. Um, oh no. I'm going to try to restart the focus right because I believe that's what's going on right now. So give me one sec. Okay. 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 Yo yo. Hey, hello. 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 Hi. All right, that hello. seems to have fixed it. Okay. So, like, does okay. it have to be a spell uh, flux, or can it be any fire damage? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure the exact specifics. You can maybe fill it in, Logan, but it's it's most fire damage that comes from Flux, not like a like a what's it? We got that uh, brazier of commanding fire elementals. I can't make the fire elemental. Are we talking uh, about what uh, yeah. what things take on your effect? Um, I'm wondering yeah. if the Ring of Ash and Scarring would work for him. Any magical effect you use that generates flames or deals fire damage benefits from this effect and is turned silver. Creatures that take fire damage from your spells and spell effects cannot reduce the damage through damage resistances. Mm. It is from your fair. spells and spell effects. Okay. So the Ring of Ash and Scarring would not work for him. Other than regular. Yeah, the Ring of Ash and Scarring is not a spell yeah. and it is not his spell effect. In the same sense gotcha, gotcha. that though summoning a fire elemental is a spell effect, the damage it deals is not the spell effect. That's why it doesn't work mm. for that. If no one else is if no one else is wanting to attune to that, I could I could I could definitely use it for the time being at least. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna probably have to make some uh, pretty important charisma saves at some point. <laughs> probably. Yeah, go for it. Uh, that's uh, that's, up to, that it's up, to, that's up to you guys though. I don't mind. Uh, I think we're all cool with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Kitty? Because it's yours. Yeah, if it's important to Quinn. If it's important <clears throat> to you, then you're doing it. <laughs> Aww. Mm -hmm. You forget who I am. Nah. <laughs> Just take it. Throw <laughs> <laughs> yes, it. Just take it. I will. I will hold on to it for now, if possible, and attune to it as soon as I can because I'm gonna need this for a minute. <laughs> Yeah. My only negative save right now is charisma. 
And that's the one thing I need for certain things with this fucking sword. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Real quick, guys. Uh, just for the mm -hmm. sake of giving people time to like parse through things, uh, I'm gonna say, let's let's call a break real quick. Uh, All right. Let's, let's take like, a ten minute break. Anyone who wants to read through stuff in the inventory, go ahead and do so. Uh, but we're gonna come back in a minute. I need to go grab a thing. Um, but yeah, we will be we will be right back. Everybody at home, we will return shortly. I hope that restored in the focus right has dealt with the roboting issue because that's definitely where that came from. Um, I, people in chat say they weren't even hearing it, but I was. It was on my end, and you know, everyone sounding yeah. robot is a bit of an issue for the DM. The dungeon master. Yeah. yeah. So. Very fair. We'll be heckin' right back, going to thumbnail. Yep. Alrighty. Ten minute break. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out because like something I'm that just sorry, went on to something that went onto my sheet totally goes against a big thing I was wanting to talk to someone about. Oh so, no! Oh no! Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I think oh, I can no. still do it. It's just gonna come off as a lot more pretentious than I was wanting it. To. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Hell yeah! Who you get? Who you need to talk to? Don't I worry hope it's Avi. It's Avi. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be so good. Don't worry about it. No, I can't wait for Aviana to commit homicide. Fucking right. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Aiden, so already ready to fight. Aiden already knows who I want to talk to. I do. <laughs> <gasps> That's definitely Avi. Shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fear me. Fear me. Fear now, me. I'm going to tell you right now. Right now, Quinn fears nobody. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Quinn fear no man. I fear no man. <laughs> Especially no human. Especially oh, yeah, no man. human. No man. <laughs> if a human were to get in front of me, freaking go get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'll get him. So we don't invite the human partners over for dinner is what I'm hearing. Yeah. No, no, you should is what I'm hearing. No, 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 just no. Like little, just put like little cat ears on them, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> That'll cool. Perfect. <laughs> little cat ears on Rory and Tatia, though. Oh my god, this is really cute. I think you mean. Neontia. Ah! I need it. I need it. Meowry. Meowry. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> so cute. Hi. I need to talk to Fenris real bad. Die. You know what the worst oh. part about the you know what the worst part about the about the disadvantage thing? No. It affects me too. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh -huh. that fucking oh. sucks. I'm not oh. using this weapon. <laughs> yeah, don't ever use that thing. <laughs> that fucking sucks. I'm so glad I have Jikoku Saika. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so funny. I'll be right back. Which is something mm. I'd never hear. I'd never thought I'd hear. <laughs> Dude, ever since I learned what it could do, I'm like, it 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 does extra things on crits. It does extra things on crits. Literally, <laughs> all this time I've been okay. like. I wonder where the glaive is gonna go. Give it to Quintus. I wonder where the <laughs> The big thing is, like, I'm not sure which one of us else could use it. Who else? Who else can can even use glaives? Uh, I don't know. Thunder. Uh, it's a it's a it's a one-handed weapon, but I think the only people who could possibly use it are me and Thunder. I think. Thunder, Vogan, uh, Quinn, and Vogan, Fenris, uh, and Fenris. Well. Is she proficient in martial weapons? Oh uh, no, it might have been the Constantinian winner might okay. give Fenris proficiency in it. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. Let me check. This is something we touched on a long time ago. How we noted yeah. that no, Fenris does not have proficiency in it, and I nope. thought they did, and we they'd been using it for so long. I was like, well, Weapon I guess oh, yeah. the hammer <laughs> decided that they do. <laughs> it's a <laughs> <It's against laughs> <Delaware. laughs> You have proficiency with simple weapons and war hammers, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Simple weapons and the hammer of Constantine. Yeah. Yup. <laughs> yeah. We can go ahead and say that, uh... Yeah. A lot that of makes you... that, that's a hand-wavy thing. We're just gonna say that the Pale Lady, when giving it to you, perhaps imparted the knowledge of how to wield it properly. Your, your hand is guided by their will. 
<laughs> Fenris, do you remember when you were at the fair? Yeah, I do! <laughs> remember when you used that hammer in whack -a Yeah, I do! There you go. I, th I thought it was gonna oh be this, like the strength testing thing of just remember. <laughs> <laughs> ding ding! I do. <laughs> It's, it's literally Don't just that. Don't lose your way. <laughs> it's like the most mundane thing to remember to be like, I know how to use it. Sound of the <laughs> strength try. machine bell. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. That just makes me think of when Fenris no, did that final No, people at home, you do not have on. to re-enter the raffle. The raffle's not tied to the stream running. Don't worry about it. Fenris hitting Murkwire for the last time. Bing! Bing! Although, when, when in doubt, people at home, if you just type exclamation mark raffle again, it's not like it takes you out of it. So, if you ever are uncertain about that, you can just type it again. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Mm. Gosh, is everybody back? <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Having a good Cody, time, Cody? I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> ended a while back. I mean, yeah, if we passed two hours, it probably ended. Um, all right, then let's jump back into game. Uh. I can't believe Jigoku Saiga wasn't the worst thing I touched today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, chat, I, I, I had not noticed earlier, so I'm just gonna... That is how you spell Dust Call. That said, all right, guys, um... Yeah, uh, well, we're back in. Continue. I figured this is what today was going to be, so have at it. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, um, if, if anyone's... If you're planning on wanting to make something for me, Flux, be sure to make it look... Make it look grand. D sir, yes, sir. Mm. Take that for a scared scroll. Okay. Make sure to put in your inventory, make sure to equip it. Yep. Okay, now I'll Oh, okay. we're we're back in. Sorry, I thought you were back, mm -hmm. Carrie. Yo, heck, I was pubs peeing. But we are back in. Hooray! Right. Right. Uh, what do we want to do with the um, potions? Yeah, I should say if people are are still looking through things, you have a do you have a growth still, uh, Logan? No, I I put both of mine in the in the the sheet just in case anybody else wanted them. I, Miriam, for no reason, believe that yeah. those should go to the dog. Uh, <gasps> yes! Sir! Sunder can. Oh, uh, how big can Sunder get? Uh, I mean, he can go with his ability. He can get one size ca size category larger, and then the potion of growth will make him even bigger. <laughs> oh, so he'd be yes. Huge. Uh, yeah, Dear sure. God. Is there anything else you're feeling drawn to, Sunder? Of the very no, good? that's all your guys' stuff. Don't worry about it. No, you're part of the high standard now, so if there's anything that you think would be useful, then let us know. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. What are you not using? Got all the stuff on the table. I pick up Drift, Gro uh, drift Globe and throw it. Which is not in the inventory, <laughs> no. incidentally. No, that's oh, I, I, had already, I had already grabbed it. Ah. Yeah, he already picked it back up. <laughs> you said that you guys didn't want that shield, yeah? Yeah, I don't, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. Would yeah, make a pretty like grand shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I don't use shields all that often. I'm normally a bit of a fist fighter, but I mean, if I got this sword in one hand and I got that shield, I could probably do my job better. So, you guys can sell it if you want to, though. I'm not asking for it. No, please take it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think you could make use of it, by all means. Okay. If that's what you guys think is best. Do you want me to also put on the table the, uh, the armor and stuff that I got? Oh, uh, no, you can keep those. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Probably sell your old armor. Is, is Sunder full up on attunement stuff? He is at this uh, this he moment. He is now. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. I'm going to hit a button on him. I'm going to hit one copper. I'm going to generate one copper into existence to make his coin thing activate. Bam, done. <laughs> hey, if I, if there's a coin on the ground. I'll throw yours. Oh, thanks. Um, oh. I, I will, for full disclosure, as I start walking towards the door. I have this dancing longsword. I'm kind of just keeping it. I'm not attuning <gasps> to it, but it's magic. 
and I like that. Does it dance? Uh, I can throw it if I attune to it, and it'll fight things for me. Kind of like <gasps> a, you know, Fenner's a spiritual weapon. Uh huh. Yeah. It's like that, but just actually a sword. Oh, that is cute. Mm-hmm. Are you guys yeah. doing anything with it. this hammer? Uh, no. Not at the Maybe. moment. Picks up the hammer Maybe. thunderbolts. <laughs> Oh, I might shit. be using it later, but hey. Oh, for now, you can hold on to it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. All right. uh, I mean, I'm already if you using you want to use sword. it for now. I was just wondering, because it would look weird. <laughs> also, I don't think it'd be very good in his hands, actually. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not at all. You just say, uh, what are you drawn to? And he's like, the big hammer that's got two big dwarf faces on it. It's kind of... Yeah. Kind of catching my eye. Well, <laughs> yeah, try man. it and see if it works. You never know until you try. It won't work. <laughs> like me, I didn't know that I would be good at hammers until I used a hammer. His strength is 12. <laughs> oh! I believe he in him. He grabs it and How? starts trying to pick it up. As he raises it, uh, he does look like he struggles with the weight of it. Um, yo, Spencer, why don't you roll me a <laughs> strength check for Sunder? Oh. Uh, he lifts it as he does. He raises it above his head. It's way heavier than it looks like it's supposed to be. And he like oh, oh, wa- he wobbles yeah, with it. Go ahead and roll me a dexterity check. He's got those. Oh boy. Uh, he like oh. leans forward and it almost starts coming down uh, over his head towards the center of the table. He <laughs> stops. You see his eyes just his eyes uh again becomes sharper for a moment. He puts a foot forward, and as it's falling, knowing that he's going to hit the ground, he pushes back with his feet and causes it to fall backwards. So his arms, just outstretched entirely, have the hammer above his head, falls flat on his back, and there's just a resounding gong as the hammer of thunderbolts strikes the ground, and a small bit of the floor crumbles inward towards where it struck. Ugh. Hammers aren't your thing. That's no, I'm sorry. I'm very oh, sorry. I hurt. Damage the floor. Fine. Don't. I can fix that. Don't you worry <laughs> about that. Uh, mm-hmm. So hammers aren't your thing. It's perfectly fine. Fenris will then pick it up perfectly fine and put it back on the table. <laughs> Damn, oh. one-handed, like fucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll go cast mending on the floor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm really sorry. He just like stays beside you all the time. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Like, That's can I... fine. <laughs> Poor boy. Trust me, the highest standard will do worse things to this place. I told you. Right. I told you it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Would you stop that? I had faith. Do you want him to have both of those throat. potions, by the way, or just one? Um, he can just have one. I can okay. probably take the other. I'm gonna take the potion of mind reading. As Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna protect. I dare you to fucking oh. try. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, I'm just making sure shenanigans don't happen. It's fine. Shenanigree. I uh, I pick up the folding belt and throw it at Avion and be like, "Here you are, Captain." Oh. <laughs> I, I, I Captain Kalesh. <laughs> when you say a boat, do you mean? On the ocean. Uh-huh. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Well, it's a matter Can thing actually go on the ocean? I don't want to go on the ocean. Why not? It's a lot of water. That is true. Can you I've swim? Never been. I can swim, I just don't like water that much. Well, it you'll does, be on the boat. It makes so you shouldn't be in the water. Kinda unpleasant. We'll be sure to keep you in the boat thing. Okay. <laughs> Wet and irritating. It gets everywhere. I mean, I can. I got this <laughs> armor, so I'm good, right? I'm not worried about yeah, drowning. You should be, mm-hmm. be safe from drowning, at least. I still like the way it feels. You could probably stay under, like, in the inside of the boat. What, in this I'll box? No. He like walks well, over and like he puts his hand in really the box pregnant. and you just see his very large hand reach in like the fingers just splayed out touch the bottom of it. I might need more room. 
I, I mean, when it, when it is boat sized, uh, I'll probably be ba down there a lot. Seeing as I'll probably continue my position to make food for everyone. Mm. Thunder. I hate getting salt water in my wings. It is a pain in the ass. It's itchy and awful. So you're not Jets alone. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> my tribe lives on the side of a volcano. I'm used to about as far from water as you could go. Oh. I don't think I've seen the ocean. Hmm. It's very pretty. The Itonian, the, the, the church, the temple you live at, is, is, is ocean and reason. Oh, then oh, I've then definitely, I've definitely I... seen the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> How about I the sea? The sea statement. is the ocean. Oh. There's the, the gulf, <laughs> no. the, the gulf that separates most of the mainland from the chunk of water uh, at the center of the continent where the heaven's jaw is. Like that's you're on the coast of that. Hold on, let me make that note. You uh, from the get here from the water land. ocean. What? How did I get here from the strike lands? You cross the ocean. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hello again. Cool. Yeah. Is there a mirror in this room? Uh, sure. Cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just looking at it. <laughs> I'm watching you, bitch. What are so, you doing? Uh, uh, he's just, you know, like, smiling in it. Like, 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 just kind of, like, Roll me a wisdom check. His, uh, like, narcissy. Roll me a wisdom <laughs> check. He's become Gaston. Doing it. Hell yeah, bitch. As soon as the game Is comes every up. Every last interview. Uh, okay. <laughs> you understand, by the way, that your aura affects you too, right? Yeah, yeah. you mentioned during the break. Well, even if, yeah. even if the sword isn't drawn. Uh, Is the sword drawn? So what right I was now? rolling for there was kind of to see if while you're doing that, you find yourself absentmindedly posing with the sword. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. A hundred percent. Uh, he's let's... like he's like smiling in it. He brings the sword out, like like starts like holding it above his head, like flexing. Oh no! <laughs> I was about to. I wanted to. Seems get... like normal Quinn to me. Twenty-two seven twenty-two. Hey Avi. What? If you're the captain, does that make Rory your first mate? <laughs> <laughs> if I could get him to leave Summergrass, so, probably. So, fun fact. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what map, the hell is this? Give it a sec, oh. Mark map. Give it a sec to load. That's an X with a question mark. X marks the spot, Lexi. Like, it should <laughs> load. Did you, just, did you just take a second? Oh, what, what does it mean? <laughs> it's Pro it's probably just going to take a sec. I think. No, it's fine. Yeah, I think so. Uh, this is the map of Mott. I was just going to point out where the Itonian capital, where the Temple of Tequin is, if this wants to load. That'd be nice. Load you. Come on. Load you. You. It's a really big image, so I'm not shocked it's taking forever. Mm -hmm. But, uh. Sorry, guys, this map scroll is just packed in there really tight. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but no. I, just, oh. okay, I was just going to point out it, it's, uh. Where you live, just as a general, yeah, you're pretty immediately close to the ocean. There it is. I've learned. It loaded for there you. There we go. Yay! Yeah. No, not, so, not quite yet, but it looks like it loaded for everyone else. So just I can uh, view. Um, where are, where are you? You. I mean, the southern area, right? Yeah. Down there. Ooh. Yeah, it's right next you're very to the ocean. Close. You're very close to yeah. a large... Um, you haven't, you maybe haven't seen the ocean, but you have seen a large body of water. Yeah. That's not the ocean off next to you. That is just like a large, yeah. like, uh, gulf, um, like a massive lake, effectively. It's the same, it comes from the ocean, but mm. off on the other side, at least to come up, you would have probably passed by the ocean. And summer yeah. grass is within, kind of like, if you're high up in the sky where to stay, you can probably see it in the distance. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, you guys have all encountered the yeah. ocean on some level. Stop right there, villainous car. Villainous car. Vill villainous. <laughs> villainous. Holy <laughs> shit. We should have never given this fix item to him. Villainous. <laughs> Villain. Guys, what's there to fix? <laughs> He's perfect now. <sighs> also, Miriam, I just got the awful joke you were making. Oh, <laughs> good. You did it immediately. Ow. <laughs> oh fuck, God, I hate you. Oh, you Burst oh, mate! Oh! Wow! 
it. Uh, that's pretty <laughs> Is good. anyone taking the gem of seeing? <laughs> no, I have no interest in it. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's pretty cool, but I can't use it. I can't use it right now. If I had the ability to, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do with something like that, but true. No. Nah. Anyways, I gotta go buy a thing for a cat. Okay. Oh, kitty, you said you wanted oh, to go. No. Oh, oh, Marion. Uh, or should I stay here? You just real... have fun in the mirror, bud. Okay. Yeah. All right. Real quick. Marion. What? Um. Uh, no, go ahead. <laughs> I'm so popular uh, today. Oh my. Goodness. Wow. You're always Please. popular, but I digress. Um, would you be willing to pick up a box like a uh, that would fit into a pack that has a lock on it? I can reinverse you. Uh, if I come across one, but how big? That would be. Hmm. How big? Uh, to fit like a couple of parts. Just a little lock box. All right. Hmm. For personal belongings. I think they might have that there. Uh, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but I will be. Uh, it seems as if I will be carrying some rather, um, problematic spell scrolls, and I figured putting them in a lockbox might be mm. proficient. Oui. Oh, Why? mine's just, mine's just in my backpack. Why? Why well, are they problematic? Why are you carrying them? What, 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 what's, what's going on? Illegal case... magic. Oh, <gasps> yes. Missed it. Oh, will you stop with that? I think that's honestly quite ridiculous, but... I just want to be careful so that if they do find it on my person, it's not as easily accessible. Which what? you should consider as well, Miriam. They have to reach in my backpack looking for exactly what it is. They ain't gonna find it. Mm, what do you guys yeah. have that's illegal? So many things. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> this scroll is uh, uh, You can make a uh, cage of force around a person for like, a f I think it's a few hours. Um, and, uh, if you're in there, you're in there. Uh, it's, Whoa. that's something that I'm sure there are I dragons that can't do that. You could get I out. Have... I could get out. <laughs> I have a, um, oh. scroll of resurrection that I'll be holding on to. Is, is that illegal? Yep. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. A lot of the higher class magic is prohibited. Why? Most of the stuff we see Lyra do is deemed inappropriate. <gasps> I think people oh. are scared of strength. Oh, that's a cultural thing for uh, like, they should what, be. hundreds Look of years this. now. Looks <laughs> <laughs> weirdly at Quinn. Like, okay. I, 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 I don't know, man, <laughs> but I'm just letting him be. <laughs> he seems to be having a good time. I'm not here to ruin that. But yes, a lockbox would be preferred. As long as you guys aren't going to get in any trouble for it, I want you to be. I want you to be safe and okay. I will be. I'm never safe. Uh, really, Nothing never bad. safe. Vogan, Nothing what did you want? going to happen to you guys oh. if you use those spells, right? As long as Rasputin isn't there scrutinizing, or big public crowds, or someone who cares, or ah. Uh, <laughs> Please get that lockbox for me. Does Mary. anyone mind if I take one of the rooms and make it into an armory slash, slash you know? Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of people in this building that would prefer if you did that. Mm. Mm. There is an armory. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, we already have one of those, Bogan. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the base building is basically set up like a military barracks. There's definitely an armory. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. Good. As long as you I guys will be joining you on the shopping trip. All right, I'm, I'm <laughs> going two places. I'm going to the gym shop and I'm going to Briars and then I'm coming back. Cool. I'm going to the oh, go to the to magic item shop. Mm. Before you guys leave, everything that is in the party sheet it needs to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm throwing uh, all I of will... it into the Hollis standard I'm parcel. Taking the dust. All right, take I'm me. gonna heckin'. Take the the hammer of thunderbolts and put it in. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the room that I'm gonna make a special yeah. armor. <laughs> nice. Okay. So. Medium. Yeah. Will you take all the gems that we found and sell those off for me? Oh, we'll see how it goes, but sure. Um, I will take back my dagger from Avi. 
I hope that it was a view. I need to get rid of that. I did. I'm going to take it. Back my prank spell. I didn't say that to Lexi. (laughs) I did. (laughs) Fuck. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I guess. I guess the. It's the thought that counts and stuff. I mean, do you, do you want to uh, keep it in case it's just for later, or no? Did you not like it very much? Oh, it, it, it's not I that I didn't like, like it. Back. We, um, I was fighting more at range mm-hmm. for a lot. I, I didn't want to throw it, you know. Oh, okay. It was great for morale, though, to know that we had honestly, a piece yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It was like you were there with me. Hmm. Um, I mean, you're welcome to mm. keep it if you want, but I'll take it back if you don't have room for it. No, go ahead. You, you go ahead and keep it. Okay. And then I took it back. Yeah. I almost put the star ruby in the, the sheet, and I'm like, no, no! Avi, <laughs> <laughs> ah, I want to touch it. All right, guys. No, Folding no. boat, gem of seeing, scroll of blur, scroll of chain lightning, scroll of invulnerability, scroll of protection. Where are they all oh. going? I'll I'm doing vulnerability. Invulnerability. If I can even cast that. You can't. Ah. Well, shit. Who can cast it? I don't think yeah, you could. I don't think you can cast any of those spells. I can cast. Hmm. Globe of invulnerability is a sorcerer or wizard spell. Yep. Back yep. on the sheet. Okay, but it's. To... it's... Can we? Uh... Can we sell them? If we're not going to use them, you can try to. Where are you going to sell them to? Globe of invulnerability. What level is it? Uh, magic Six. item shop. That, that's <laughs> touchy but doable. Ooh. Um, but maybe the magic item shop would be interested in them. I don't know. Yeah, you can try. Yeah, it's true. Here you go, Vogan. <laughs> Take ah! it. You can sell it to the magic <laughs> shop when you get there. Cool. <laughs> and who grabbed? Who grabbed the gem of seeing? Someone did, right? No, it's still. Uh, no, it's still uh, it's just there. been yeah. talked about a whole bunch. Yeah, somebody talked about it. If someone, if it, if if we want, I could just sell it. I could try and sell it. Go for it. Yeah, I mean, I or we it. can keep it in the armory. If we ever think we might need to see through illusions, we oh, can bring yeah, it. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a good thing to have on standby. Thank yep. You. Okay, cool. I will. I will just keep the. I will put it in my inventory, and well, I'll. Keep it uh, in my my trophy room. Thank you. All right. Well, the rest, scroll of blur, them. scroll of chain lightning, scroll of vulnerability. Mm-hmm. So I need to know where they're going if no one's taking them. Taking it's also them. on my oh, sheet, so yeah, that's okay. I can that's tell them. Me. All right. Cool. Chain lightning is illegal. Ah. Oh. Uh. Probably. Not if we're not using it, uh, that's another one I think we chuck in the armory. The other two, those yeah. are sellable. I'm pretty sure, like, Global Vulnerability, that's touchy, but I think sellable. Chain Lightning, that is just illegal. Damn it. <laughs> didn't didn't you say at one point, Logan, that, like, spells above a certain It's like level? six level is kind of where they cap, I think. Like, much more than that. Even then, I'm sure plenty of six level spells are probably also illegal. I couldn't remember if like sixth or fifth level was the cap. Spells of sixth yeah. level or higher are in the in the academy's eyes a level of magic that interfere with the natural order. Magic at that level can be used to distort the world, deal great damage, blah blah blah. Sixth level is where it starts being like, no, you so, shouldn't have this. Glo- so not okay, even glo- so global then. invulnerability is also illegal. Yes. So. Oh heck. Yeah. Ev- I guess. There's, there's wiggle room to everything, right. but. Uh, yeah. 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 Probably just keeping the this boy. in the armor as well, then. Yeah, just sell the blurry boy. Mm-hmm. I'll just sell blur. Eh. Wait, I gotta put this on my sheet. <laughs> I, I do, I do, I do have a parcel for if you guys want to store stuff in the house itself, but uh, I just need to know. Yeah, I just needed to know where it's going. That's why I kept saying where it's going, not who it's going to. Like, if you were taking stuff, I needed to know. Yeah, I mentioned oh, I mentioned uh, that at Parcel Open for it earlier. The scroll, uh, chain lightning and invulnerability are going in the part in the house parcel, right. then. Throw it back in there, and I'll throw it in. Throw it into the party sheet. Can I throw some things into the That's house as well? Sure. Yeah. Because I, like, I have, like, the things that are on my sheet that say home. They are yeah, the only things that were left from the, uh, from the fire. Because they were metal. Throw whatever in there and I'll move it over. So much wine. 
Oh my god. I, yeah, Hell we got a lot. Yeah. We got so much wine. <laughs> it's an armory <laughs> slash wine cellar. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Slash trophy go. room. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like we have so many rooms, why is this one serving triple duty? Yo, fucking right. <laughs> uh, this is not- this no the, the insinuation is not that this room is storing everything, it's that the house is storing these things. Yeah. I want us to put it all in the I'm not room. making a parcel for every room. What? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Coward! <laughs> there we go. Oh. What, did, what did I miss there? Morningstar. Okay. Can I sell this cool Kalein key? <laughs> like the one we got from from the from the top. Kahulin. 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 What did I say? You said cool Kalein. Oh right, yeah, that. Yeah. Cool Kalein. Uh, if you think someone's gonna buy it, it's just metal to most people. That's true. All right. Give it to Legum. <laughs> All right. That stuff is now in there. I'm also going to, here you go, I'm going to share this, ba bam, that record's Memento been shared. Your test. Hey. Elmira. The Hall huh? of Standard, yes! So you could keep it as like a memento from passing your test with Elmira. It's a trophy of sorts. value, it is. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, we're going to say, <laughs> wow. we're going to say about an hour passes over awesome. the course of you guys doing everything you just did. So, my guys, uh, it is 8 p.m. Uh, where's everybody the going? Even open? Yeah. Uh, so I would go to the gym store first to see if they're still open. And then I'm going to go to Briar's. I, I, to shorthand, I'm looking to sell the gems we have, buy an agate worth a thousand gold pieces for reasons uh, that are very obvious. <laughs> and then I want to see if Briar's got any gem infused chocks. Alrighty. Um... I'll go after him. All right, so you go in there. Like uh, in that case, let we'll uh, we'll heck in deal with this relatively quickly, assuming that you don't have anything substantially deep to say to the uh, people there at the gem shop. Please throw all the gems into the uh, heck in the party inventory. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, they don't do art items, right? No, they just do yeah, gemstone, so. jewel, and jewelry. Uh, could I have given him my, uh, gems that I have? You would have heard uh, Avi say that they were doing the same, so I assume mm, so. Yeah. Just check them in. Okay. Cool. Calling across everybody right now. If you have gemstones you want sent with Miriam to sell, do it Get now. Get them out now or hold your peace. That's what I'm checking if I've got any. I don't think I have, but I'm checking. Yeah, I don't got any. Yeah, I, I do not got any. I'm the only gem in my possession. I do have an item in my inventory that's just called a ZZZ. Oh, I'll ignore that. Yeah. Hmm. That's an effect companion thing. Oh. Yeah. That's that's just for things that aren't items. It's for stuff that's in your inventory to help with coding and whatnot. Okay. Cool. Cool. Mean Z Z Z. Come on. Oh shit! You right? I'm in pain in a bit. Yeah, bitch. We're a companion show. I can't believe Canada's wrong. I know. <laughs> We're never wrong about anything. What are you talking about, Aaron? All right. I'm good with all my gems, I believe. So. To quote a famous philosopher, Sir Laidlaw, oh man, my favorite band, ZZ Top. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my boy. So Let that's all the gems. Balls, uh, I'd I like you to roll a persuasion yeah. check, please, Marion. Favore, because why not? <laughs> oh, look at it go. It rolls Damn. So weird. Oh, oh. 27? Woo! Like watching the, the roll? Yeah, it's real yeah. weird. All right. They would offer you with that, with the bonus you already got because you guys are affiliated with these people. Uh, they would offer you. Uh, 87% the listed value of the gems, if that's fine with you. Looks right. Yeah, selling items. That ends up being 434 gold. Perfect. Hell yeah. Alrighty. And then you want to buy an agate that's worth a thousand, yeah? Yes. 
Okay, so just assuming that that, that goes down and works. Uh, go ahead and minus 566 gold from your inventory, and I will remove this, and you, you can say that you have that. 566, uh, alright, minus... will be platinum and gold. <laughs> Beam. 50 platinum and 66 gold. Yeah. Should be right? That is correct. Spend it. Bam. And then you have the agate. You can make an entry for it yourself if you want, because there's no specific entry for that kind of I agate. I will use it this evening, so I won't even mark it up. Gotcha. All right. And that's you. And then you're heading to Briars to see if he has gold, uh, gem-infused chalk, yeah? Yes. What is the listed value? Uh, I believe 50 gold pieces per casting. Okay. Whenever you go there, again, just to keep things moving along, since, again, we already have a pretty roleplay heavy day today. Um, when you go there, Briar would, you know, be up to his usual Briar things. He partially restocked. He has some more potions in stock that if you wanted to look at them, then you could. Uh, I'd say that sure, and I'm going to roll a d4 to determine how many uses of it he would have available for you. One. One? I buy that and uh, any healing potions that he's got. Any healing I'm potions? Also, I'm with him and looking for healing potions also, sorry. You're also there looking for them? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and bring up his shop real quick since it's relevant to what you guys want to do. Um, do Briar's name shop. So go ahead and just minus the cost for the chalk and then mark down that you have at least one. Uh, he has in stock. Uh, here, I'll just... Boom. That's what he currently has in stock. He has uh, five antitoxins, ten blocks of incense, a filter of love that was there last time. Yeah. Uh, a potion each of cold and fire resistance, a potion of flying, uh, three greater healing potions, five normal healing potions, a potion of invulnerability, um, a potion of uh, two potions of speed, three potions of superior healing, and two of supreme. Damn. Mary, I'm love you go first. You can mm -hmm. buy whatever you want from here. Uh, but what we need... Potions of healing. I'm going to, let's see, they're 50 each. Uh, I'm going to just clear out his basic ones. Alrighty. Bitch. <laughs> That'd be 250. Uh, so let me quickly. I think I have plenty. I might have to do some conversion real quick. Go ahead. Do whatever you got to do. And them healy doos. Us gain, need healing. Crazy. I gain two fifty and then lose twenty five platinum. And then it's I'll hit party them. without healers did hmm. fine. It's true. So it doesn't bug it's itself out. Went through some potions though and rested a whole bunch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, no, when you buy it, it yeah, yeah, can you? All right, cool. We did it. Okay, I can afford one superior healing, <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna take. Give me one sec while the game catches up with itself, although you can go ahead and put that in your inventory if you want. A superior healing is a thousand gold. Yeah. And you're comfortable with that? Do you want a greater as well? Uh-huh. Hmm? Do you want a greater as well? Uh, yeah, I should be able to afford a greater. I might have to do some version but i can get it i will i will give lexi the funds for the greater healing how dare you okay in that case um, i just have to convert things as well i'm just gonna mark off uh 25 platinum okay lexi go ahead and add 250 gold to your inventory before you make this purchase oh okay yeah was it 250 so yeah 25 platinum will give you 250 enough for one of those And then as soon as you do that, just hit buy, and heck in, and allow them to your inventory. Did it. Okay. Is there anything else you guys would like? That's me. You said, did you hit buy? Yeah. I hit buy, yeah. Oh, there, there you go. go. So, but yeah. Make, yeah. make sure it's not equipped. Make sure to find them in your inventory. Make sure you hit, um, make the mark them as equipped so they show up on your sheet. And now, if that's all that you guys want, then I'm perfectly fine with that. Well... Close this. I got you. And make sure, Mariam, mm -hmm. you mark down the uh, cost of the. Uh, if you didn't already, you mark down the cost of the 
uh, yeah, Jock as well. Okay, assuming that that's you two, uh, Vogan, where did you want to go? Uh, magic item shop. Magic item shop. So you return to the Majestic. Uh, when you come, you would find yourself entering in. You enter into the same underground bunker-like area or directed down one of the pathways towards the dingy, very dark and dimly lit section where you come into the small chamber where there's a front desk and a heavily sealed door. As you do, you find the uh, man that you had seen before there. Uh, he looks to be uh, as if he's packing up. You see he's like putting on a... Uh, He's putting on, like, a cloak as he's about to leave. And he sees you coming in. Just eyes droopily opened. Locks onto you. Oh. Yes, how may I help you? I'm so sorry. Um. <laughs> I would like to purchase some... Some things. Um. And sell something. If that's cool with you. We do not normally buy, but we have a small budget for those who wish to surrender items to us. What would you like to sell? I pull out the scroll of blur. The mm -hmm. spell scroll. He, if you're interested. He looks at it as he goes over to it. He, Takes a, he takes an eyeglass and, like, puts it over one of his eyes as he opens the scroll to read over it. Hmm. Uh, how much are you looking to sell it for, may I ask? A hundred gold. Sure. Cool. He cool. opens up a... Uh, section of the desk behind it puts it in there, takes out. Uh, do you want it in gold or platinum? I'll take it in platinum. Okay, go ahead and add 10 platinum to your stuff. Ooh. As far as things to buy goes, there is nothing else here that wasn't here before. We don't really restock. Right. Does he have a. He didn't have a bag of holding, did he? I will reshare his stuff. He has uh, an adamantine chain shirt, an alchemy jug, boots of the winterlands, mace of smiting, a bird feather token, ring of free action, a staff of the python, and a universal solvent. None of these things that I need. Pack. The items we get are things that are released from the vault, where the dangerous magic items are kept. So unless things are apprehended from criminals and the like... This is not a place where we frequently get people in. This is more of a, um, what would a term for this be? A goodwill. <laughs> this place is a goodwill <laughs> for magic items. <laughs> hmm. I understand. Hmm. Unfortunately, none of these things are the things I need, so... Thank you for the... Pity. Uh, hmm. Thanks for doing business. Have a good night. You as well. Alright. Well, darn. Heck. Alright, well, that's me. Alrighty, going down the list. Avi, do you have anything you want to do? I'd like to talk to Fenris real quick. I, in regards oh. to traveling to places and shopping. In regards to traveling to places Things and that shopping. would take you out to nope. do shopping things. Okay, you will come back to that. Flux, mm -hmm. is there anything in that category for you? Um, adjacent to it? I guess I'll make him a scabbard. Okay. Um, that would be leather working, I believe. To make him a scabbard, leather and probably leather or wood. Yeah. Leather and wood. Um, sure. And, uh, for the purposes of efficiency, why don't you go ahead and roll? Uh, what would the most appropriate thing for this be? Why don't you go ahead and roll me a wood carver's tools? Because the the spine of this thing would be mostly made out of wood and then treated with leather. So roll that. Sure. 
Okay, you could cool. make you could make one over the course of the evening. Sweet. Are you looking to make it extravagant or just functional? Um, he asked me to. What what, what were your exact words? Make it uh, grand. I am looking to make it grand. You'd whatever spend, my understanding. You'd, you'd have to spend some is. money acquiring materials to make this thing uh, properly grand. Uh, I'd say if you want to make it. Just going off the word grand, if you want to make it grand, let's say you'd probably have to give up about 10 gold. Sure, to I'll acquire. do that. Cool, to acquire fine materials and such. Go ahead. All right. 10. I'm going to just delete the scroll of blur off of my sheet. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry he asked you to do that. <laughs> there we go. Make it grand. Make it grand. <laughs> you construct a scabbard that is one that would be worn on the back uh, and would have like a strap going around the front, as it is a great sword. It is a bit much to carry on your side. Yeah. Alrighty. Cool, cool. Uh, and with that, uh, Lexi and Fenris, did you have anything you wanted to go and do? Or Lexi, you, you're with Mary. You already done I your thing. With me, yeah. Fenris. Mm -hmm. I got potions. Nope. All right, in that case, Avi, you have the floor. Does Sunder want to go anywhere? Sunder doesn't want Good anything. Question. Sunder wants you to go back to Grey Rock. That's what Sunder <laughs> wants. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I'm with Sunder. I'm also, just here. can everybody tick off a... Um, let's see, you're in town. So, assuming that you guys are, uh, you know, eating in a, an average amount, could you guys tick off... What is it? Booba Doom? Collectively, like uh, five silver for the day. Oh, no, no, not five silver. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's for instays. Uh, yeah, five silver. It's the same. <laughs> yep. Okay. That just covers your food and stuff for the day. Cool. Then, Avi, you have the floor. I'd say that by around this time, it's coming up on around nine o'clock. Cool. <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing. We're all. Spelling food differently. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would just kind of tap Fenris on the shoulder. Can I steal you for a moment? Uh, sure. I feel like you're already alone. Yeah. Uh, Don't worry no. about it. I might as well be. I mean, look over here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go somewhere uh, where Quintus isn't flex radiating? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to bring her into the kitchen, if I could, if we have a kitchen area. We better have a kitchen. <laughs> yes, you have a kitchen. This is the one estate that doesn't have a kitchen. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It has an armory, but no kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> this place Wild. This place was meant to host soldiers. It would have a fairly large functional kitchen. Yeah. I, ooh. Complete with, like, gumbo pot. For stewing. Yes! Oh, yes! Avi like, is like, can we talk about the kitchen? And it's the first time Venra sees the kitchen and she's like, ah! <laughs> no, I'm listening, Aviana. Is that a walk? Right? <laughs> well, queezing. Kind of, oh my god. What's up? Kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Hmm? Food. Um. <clears throat> so, I. I went to talk to Rory, and I feel like I really screwed up. Um, and uh, I was wondering what the, you know, dying thing. Uh, I was wondering, I'm not much of a cook, but I was wondering if you would help me make him something to bring over. Yes, sure. I Did I say that too quickly? <clears throat> yes, I can help you. Uh, why do you feel like you're letting him down? Did something happen? No, I just... I don't know how to do this. I, um... He told me not to do anything stupid, and that's immediately the first... That's the first thing I did when we were down there, and... I, I want to make up to him for worrying him. If... You're going to be making it up to him quite a bit if that's something that you're worried about, Aviana. Huh. Yes. As adventurers, we're constantly throwing ourselves into peril. Which I would say is the same as, you know, he's a guard. If anything happens in Summergrass, he's in peril too. It's true. I'll help you, but, uh... Yeah. Hey guys, I hate to interrupt. Could you give me... Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to not be here while you're doing stuff. Could you give me, like, two seconds real fast? 
Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Break. Nah. We. <laughs> Break. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to interrupt ah! you while you're doing that, but can you make it like fit like right here between between the the, the, the shoulder like right there? Like, the right, like right between Adjusting, the bones. Yes. Like so I so that I can whenever I do this, uh, it doesn't get in the way. <laughs> ah, yes, I see. Let me let me loosen the straps a little bit here. Damn him and his newfound muscles. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I can carry Cruz on Brooklyn Nine Nine. It's like I just yeah. have muscle. <laughs> muscle. Also, also, look. Also, okay, okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to find something in my I Spy book of an office. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, that sort of thing doesn't feel like the thing that you need to apologize for. It's mostly to apologize for worrying him so much. I kind of dropped that on him, and then I dropped saying, um, well, you know, right before we left, and... Eh. Oh! Ah, oh, I... Mm. Mm. Ah, I do remember that. Yeah. Long story short, I don't know what I'm doing, and I could really use your help. I can help you a great bit. I never know what I'm doing. <laughs> But, I mean, life and death is sort of part of the gig. Yeah, I know that. I fear that you'll start turning gray if you worry too much about putting yourself in danger. <laughs> uh, but I'll help but... you, sure. Thanks. Is there Just anything I can... Hmm? Is there anything I can do for you, for the diamond and... I'll pay you back for it. Ha! By the way. No! So, <laughs> Stay a alive! Huge waste of a resource. No! What? Aviana, that was to save your life. I would give up to a bagillion diamonds if I had them. I don't think that's Just a to number. have you back. Hmm? I <laughs> said, so, I don't think that's a number, but. I, I've said it now. <laughs> but still, your life is. Worth far m more than a diamond. I had to have this talk with Miriam too. <sighs> Just stay alive, that's all I can ask of you. And if you don't, I will be there to revive you once more. What we do is dangerous. Uh, I think I would shave a hundred years off my life if I worried for Tantia that much. And what she's going off and doing. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, if you could help me make him something so I could stop by when he's sure. done work, I guess. Uh, what does he like? I don't know him very well. He hasn't really made enough for to get to know us. <laughs> uh, yeah. He seems like a steak and potatoes kind of guy. I think steak and potatoes would be good. We Asparagus? Yeah. Make it fancy? We can do that. I do like asparagus. They're like tiny trees. <laughs> I'll, we haven't done many meals together, so... Sure. I could whip something like that up. Would you mind teaching me? I would love to. You can be my, uh, the sous chef. I picked that- yeah. I was reading about it. Chefs often have a helper. It's called a sous chef. Sure. Sous chef Ka Kolesh. Not as catchy as Captain Kolesh, but... I like Captain Kolesh a lot more. Aye aye, Captain! <laughs> 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 I think you'd be good at telling everyone what to do. I like to think so, too. Shall we? Yeah! R oh, right now! Well, it's coming up pretty late. I don't know what time he gets off. Okay, yeah, let's get cooking! Sure. And since you do that. love him, I will insist on putting love in the food. <clears throat> he says he puts the filling of love in the food. <laughs> <I was thinking. laughs> no! no! I trust Fenris not to. <laughs> she thinks that's like fucking D&D &D Molly. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, Fen would uh, guide Aviana along in the journey of cooking. Yep. I take it that would I need to roll uh, chef's utensils? Mm-hmm. Yeah, do I get chef's advantage? Chef's utensils, and that's for cooking. Uh, as no, you do not get advantage. You're you're effectively teaching Aviana something. So Avi, I need I you. Like... I need you to roll intelligence. A check. Okay. I'm going to add favor into this. This is the most important thing ever. It's true. Oh boy. I'm like so nervous. I just want to make this boy good food. No. Oh, look at it go. Oh, oh my god! No! <laughs> oh, I okay, you know, you know Aviana, maybe, maybe you're better at learning things while watching. So, so here's the thing about this that is their retention. That is not the immediate effects of what is being made. You, there's no immediate context to go with that in that one. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, why don't you go ahead and roll me the cook's utensils roll? Uh, well, I'll use a favor as well. Smart. <laughs> Goddamn. This girl don't know how to cook, so I should ask a Fenris. Hmm. Hayden, did you know that? Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. It still oh, comes out pretty well. No. It still comes oh, yeah, out pretty okay. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Avi seems to have some trouble learning, so as you're explaining things, you do find yourself having to retread uh, explored ground and reteach things, and it, it causes the final product to suffer a little bit, but such is the pains of teaching somebody how to cook who's not mm -hmm. super familiar. Um, <laughs> as you do so, uh, you end up with a whatever it is you're trying to make, you end up with. Go ahead and. Um, Burn five silver, by the way, assuming that you're having more than just a regular yeah. comfortable meal. Um, yeah, I will. Don't you touch your money, oh. Fenris. And Avi, Wait, you believe yeah. that you you think you got it down. You've seen Fenris make this. You get it. You got oh, it. No. Just don't come for my gig, and I won't have to hurt you. <laughs> 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 Shit. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the cook now. <laughs> oh, Shit. <laughs> Thanks. I would say that's... It looks good. I think he'll love it. Hope so. It's I'm the gonna... thought that counts. Ugh. I'll put this in a basket for you and you can go take it to him. Thanks. Oh, that's what's happening and here. And if he asks, mm, right. I had nothing to do with this. Wink. Shit. Sure. Wink, wonk. Wink, wink. I was under the misguided assumption that you were being shown how to make something to replicate it in the future. Um, good, that one's not going to affect you as badly as uh, maybe it could have. No, oh. we're making dinner. No, I was not going to go make dinner at his house. <laughs> we're making... Uh, I see. <laughs> under yeah. supervision only. Because I'm going to be frank with you. If you had gone uh -huh. and tried to make him food... I was definitely gonna oh, have them roll a charisma save against being poisoned. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Charisma <laughs> <laughs> save against being poisoned. Oh, Sorry, yeah. constitution save against being poisoned. My bad, oh. mate. Like, hey, Slip of the tongue. Take this antitoxin before you eat any of my meals. <laughs> oh, God damn! Oh, no. <laughs> I do this because I love you. Poor boy. Gurn <laughs> Lagan. All right, keep it in. Yes. Um, um, I guess I'll message him and ask him. Ooh, take a bottle of wine too. They won't miss it. It's partly yours I, anyway. I paid for most of it, so yeah. I a was bottle of wine. <laughs> you know, a red to go with the meat. I. How do I know? Oh. Hmm. Red. I've been yeah. reading my books. Good one, Selbron. <laughs> for a Thank very you. light punch in the shoulder. It's very light. <laughs> You're getting soft, Very Kalesh. Light. You die. Shut up. <laughs> I'd uh, you're getting, are you getting wine? Yeah, I'll grab. I'll grab from our wine cellar. One um, of our bottles. That, to my recollection, that was like standard normal wine. Do you want that, or do you want like fine wine? Ooh. I thought it was fine wine. Was it? Fine I'll wine? buy fine yeah, wine. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. We bought like all fine wine because. Ah, we're in that case, bitches. go ahead. Cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that in parcels? Uh, it, you wouldn't be able to. It would be the thing that I posted yeah. earlier, unless you. Oh didn't. yeah, it's thirty-nine bottles of fine wine. No, yeah. <laughs> On the wall, thirty-nine bottles of wine. 
<laughs> I'll just I'm just gonna mark one down in there. You don't need to move your inventory. I'll just mark it. Pass it around the wall. Turn in bottles of wine. Mark one down. Pass it around. <laughs> Before Aviana leaves, yeah. Fenris will like hold her by the arm and be like, Aviana, mm. Godspeed. She'll bow her head. <laughs> what? I'll, I'll be home today. Well, did Food is a very important part of a relationship, if you ask me. Which god? Shit. To Quinn, thank you very much, Vogan! <laughs> I'm not there. Uh, <laughs> Vogan in my head. <laughs> <laughs> we all have a Vogan in the back of our heads. It's true. <laughs> Specifically to Quinn, Godspeed. I think that mm. food is an important part of a relationship. And I mean, a way to someone's heart is through their stomach. Unless they're stabbing them, so... You know that one. <laughs> if you need anything, I'll be here. Thank you. I'll double thumbs up. Lexi. Someone's touching my wine. <gasps> Wait one sec. What? <laughs> oh no. Well, we have to hide home and stop them. Okay, guys, guys, guys. One sec. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's happening again. I'm gonna restart my oh, focus no. right. <laughs> All right. Guys, we're a little annoying. Guys, <laughs> uh, guys, oh, wow. we're a lot annoying. <laughs> that didn't seem to fix it. Oh no. It might just be the playback. No BS. Please catch up with yourself. Don't know why you're doing this today, but come on. Very weird. Very weird. You're not on, like, Wi-Fi, right? No, shouldn't be. Hmm. Oh, even if it was, that wouldn't explain why my focus right is having processing issues. Oh, yeah. Sounds like you need a new focus right. Well, it's fairly new, actually. Well. And it's a claret. Sounds like someone you know can't what I use focus right anymore. Heck. Come on, Discord. Just want to make sure the stream's still going before we dive into. There it is. OBS, what's up with you, man? Why you like this? All right, again, all right, it seems to be good now. Okay. Hmm. Well. So with that concluded, well. you have food. You retrieve wine. Yes. Mariam panics because his leisure. wine has been stolen. Hmm. <laughs> Can you tell who's touching your wine? No. Okay, we have to rush home. We have to stop. But it must be a villain. <laughs> uh, we speed uh, home. Okay, you do it. I, yeah. You guys, can, you're good. You go. You go home. <laughs> who's touching my wine? <laughs> huh? Me, my wine too. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, okay. It was just Ariana. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's it. Storm out and go to Rory's house. I don't know if he's off work, so I'll send him a message. Uh, this late at night? Yeah, he would be. Okay. Oh, could I have bumped into Avi on her way out? Yes. Probably. Cool. Oh, hey, Avi. What? <laughs> <That's Shit>. <laughs> <laughs> her face is bright red and she's like rushing out. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to catch you in a rush. I'll talk sorry. to you later. Food's uh, gonna get cold. What? Oh, uh, I, I want to talk to you about something, but have a good night. Okay. Hmm. Bye. So rush off. Yep. Oh, no, they're both <laughs> so awkward. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Fuck. They're both <laughs> bottoms. Oh, <laughs> and then we roll twenty. Bottoms. <laughs> it's cute that you think that. <laughs> All right. Okay, you to head to Rory's place, and I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how you're deep into this. You wanna. You wanna dive. But um, yeah, you you head to Rory's place, and you. 
Are, are you looking to have a specific conversation, or is this something that's happening in the background? Because I'm, I'm unclear um, about how like much focus you want on this. Uh, just very quick conversation, but if other people want to do stuff first, please do. I don't think anyone else has anything to do. I, yeah, I have eight hours. I gotta do some other stuff. <laughs> I have one <laughs> thing to do, but I can wait. No, do it. I wanna, I wanna hang out with Fenris. Okay. I'm just casually hanging out with Fenris. Yeah, sure. is okay. leisure. In case you, uh... <laughs> Hell yeah, we're <laughs> leisure. <laughs> I let um um the Avi girl. Yeah. Okay. I'm unloading a fuck ton of stuff from my bag of holding. Uh, into like the armory and stuff like that. Okay, we can uh, throw anything. Uh, I can move stuff afterwards. We can micromanage mm. that maybe outside stream. Sure. All right, you I'll head. Just leave it in my inventory. You head over to Roy's place. You get his attention. You uh, set up for the food. It's really on you. Like, what are you doing? What's your approach here? Yep. Uh, just knock on the door. Very awkward. <laughs> no, Roy. Hey. Hey, see you back. Actually, you would have been back in town for a while. You would have seen him. We already talked about that. So rewind yes. that. Hi. Hi. Um, I brought dinner. Huh. That's unexpected. Uh, Fenris helped me make it. I don't know really what... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm sorry for worrying you, and I wanted to make it up to you, so I thought I'd bring over dinner and wine, and I'm really bad at this. Oh. I thought we'd already talked about this. I know, and I'm, I'm sorry for dropping such a bombshell on you right before I left, and telling you, you know. Everything you do is a bombshell. <sighs> There's literally nothing that you do that does not catch me off guard and give me a very small heart attack. She is a bombshell. Shut Dang. up. Go away. Go, <laughs> go home. All right. No. You're on private property. Go home. <laughs> I just... I'm trying to do this right. Oh, uh, I'm not really sure what doing this right looks like. Um, I mean, I think we, you are, I just, uh, come in. All right, let's eat. We can talk about this while we eat. Okay, yeah. yeah. You come in, he's at this point not even wearing his guard stuff. He looks like he's uh, just in his more casual clothing as you come in. Uh, he directs you towards the um, the main dining area of the home. It's a pretty... It's a pretty good home. You've been here before. Rory's house is <laughs> definitely that of a noble, but it's not decorated lavishly. Uh, he and Valder don't seem to care much for anything that isn't a symbol of status regarding their job. Uh, in your many times here, you've gotten the impression that Valder and Rory don't really live in their home. They just sleep there. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, he... Gets some candles, because it's getting darker, sets them up to eat. Uh, I mean... You, um... It's very difficult worrying about you, but I've done so since I was very young. You've, I've honestly been more worried about you whenever Stratus, for example, has captured you and put you in jail and have had to get you out. I'm more concerned about that than I am about worrying about you being killed by something because I've seen what you do to things that try to kill you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not happy about it, but you're still here and you didn't seem to lose anything. So... Yeah. I'm adjusting. Yeah, that's fair. I just... I do love you, Roar. I do. And I'm sorry that I dropped it on you so suddenly. But... Yeah, that's... I'm sorry for saying it if it was too soon. But it's how I feel. Several days beforehand, I had been turned into a crystal statue and broken. Um... When something like that happens, 
you kind of lose your sense of what is too fast. <laughs> I'm not really... I didn't really think about it, to be honest with you. I mean, it seemed like we lived a, a year in five days. <laughs> kind of. No, I'm not... We didn't do anything wrong. Okay. <sighs> How's the food? <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, very good. You said Fenris made this. She... Mostly Fenris. I tried. <laughs> hmm. Well. It's good for Shadow Kai's cooking. It's very good. <laughs> She may be a Fenris oh. over sometime. That would be nice. Hmm. It, uh... Zohiro? Go ahead. Did you get back the gemstone that you went for? We didn't really yeah. catch up when if you got back the first time. You didn't, we didn't really talk about what happened as much as we talked about, you know, the dying thing. Yeah. Again. Sorry about that. That was me being stupid, and I will do better, but... Yeah, we got it back. Hopefully, get it back in my fan and keep Miriam from touching it, but, uh, it's good. I don't fully understand its importance, but I'm glad you got it. You know, the Eidolons and all that? Yes, I understand that it is of great <laughs> cosmic relevance. Um, but much like everything that happened with the city and the giant dome and being turned into a statue, I, uh... I know the steps of what happened, <laughs> but I'm not really keen on the, the bigger picture of what it was, so the gemstone is, it's related, it's like the soul of Vestius or something to that effect, and I understand that. In essence. And that's all I really it, need to know. <laughs> it's how we were able to reverse things that we are here. Mm. So, essentially, but, um, yeah, we got it back, and mostly unscathed. That's good. And the people people who took it and burned down the High Standards home won't be coming back for us again. Also good? Can I ask you a potentially stupid question? You can? I have a history of giving <laughs> stupid answers, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> what do you do for fun? You work all the time, and you and I haven't done anything fun. Well, we've done fun stuff, but um, anything fun, hobby-wise, in years. And I'd like to do something that would make you happy. I have never once in my life had fun, I think. <laughs> oh not even with, wow, not even with me. Rude. Uh, no, I, those, yes. But I mean, in the context <laughs> I think you're asking, um, I've no, uh, it's, um, hmm. I have absolutely no idea. What's something you'd, you've always wanted to do or try? Um... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Kick him under the table. Ah, uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, spending time together is not... I'm very mild, alright? You understood what you were getting into here. I know. I'm not... No, I know. I'm not the most exciting person. Um, <laughs> goodness. Would you be up for a hike? Yeah. Maybe to our clearing we used to go to? Say that again, sorry? Um, maybe where you helped me learn to fly? <laughs> Sure. That I'm getting nice. your ass. <laughs> Good. I'm getting your ass out of this fucking city, Roar. That might be nice, actually. Um, sure, if you want to. 
I do apologize that I'm... You're surrounded by a lot of very exciting people, and I'm afraid that I'm... All of maybe three things at any given time. I'm not particularly exciting. I'll take his hand. I love that about you. I never have to worry about ulterior motives or if you're saying what you mean. You're relaxing to be around Roar. And I love that. Just between you and me, I don't find myself very relaxing to be around. And I'm around myself quite a bit. But I'm glad that you think so. Well, yeah, certainly. When do you want to go? I know that you all are going to be going after Diane Kenslager fairly, fairly soon. I know that you've all returned from your independent missions. I'm not sure when we're going, but honestly, Quinn is being even more of a handful than usual, so <laughs> when do you get off work tomorrow? Even more of a handful? He picked up some sword, and it's fucking with him somehow. I don't get this shit, but he's even more full of himself and obnoxious. I didn't think I could dislike him more. What? But somehow... Oh. We should get out of the city. It's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, hmm. then? Yeah, absolutely. You guys you spend mm -hmm. the rest of the evening together. Yep. Probably stay over if he'd be cool with that. He would be cool with that. Cool. Just as long as his parents don't come home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Not the thing. Oh, out the window you go, Aviana. No, my they're... parents can't let... <laughs> parents can't know I had a girl over with the doors closed. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question, Logan. Yep. Would I know what happened to his parents? Old age. Like, well, you know, okay, medieval cool. old age. Just make so, you know, sure. 40s. The ripe old age of 42. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I assumed, but I just wanted to make sure that I'm like, is this something I have to ask? <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, cool. That's me. Alrighty. Now, Quinn, you said there's something you guys wanted to do? Yeah, I was waiting until until uh, people got back from from shopping and stuff. Okay. Uh, and uh, if if everybody is back from shopping and stuff, uh, I wanted to tear my eyes away from my own reflection for a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I've not been glued there, but you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. there. I might as well, mm -hmm. and, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. uh, as everybody gets back and as everybody is is kind of sitting down, I'd be like, oh, oh uh, <laughs> by the way. Vogan. What up? Uh, you mind if, um... Uh, mind if we go set some things up in the armory? Sure. I wanted to talk to you about some things. Sure. Let's go. I was yeah, the don't... person he wanted to talk to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so good, because we're <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to have the whole group back together. Yeah. Okay. Notice that I've gotten much more handsome today. I'm kidding. <laughs> Basically, nothing has changed. We're all just talking to the people who were on the other group in the same <laughs> groups. I never said I wanted to talk to someone in another group. The other, the other group did fine. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. Fenris and Lexi are leisuring. Yeah. We're leisuring. <laughs> uh, no, I'd like, right. I'd like to grab Vogan and, and take him to the armory and start setting up some stuff, like putting up my, my old chain mail and stuff in there. Oh, yeah. I'm unloading a fuck ton of stuff from my bag of holding in, uh, into the into the armory. So, uh, I've, so I've been trying to go over the things that I wanted to talk to you about and try to see how I can change them with my new, my new, new, new lease on life. Oh, no! Um, <laughs> but, uh, yep. Are you talking about moving a lot of, like, the uh, the trophies and whatnot? Is that the idea? Trophies, uh, some of my weapons, like uh, hand crossbow, the daggers, the hired armor, the okay. scale mail. Well, you guys are role-playing. Like I'll, I'll get on that in the background. Yeah. Cool. 
basically like a lot of the things that I'm not currently using, like wielding at least. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, well, uh, I don't know exactly how to how to start this, but uh, I guess before I felt worried about how you would take this, but now I'm. Vogan, do you mm. mind if I talk to you rather seriously for a moment? Sure. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I wanted to talk to you about my actions recently. Okay. And in particular, I wanted to thank you for what you did for me. What did I do for you? Which thing did I do for you, I should say? <laughs> You've done a lot for me, Bogan. All the time that I've been here in Summergrass, my thoughts on myself have been challenged. Uh, mm. People here have shown me that there's no merit to being born in glory and that glory only comes from one's deeds alone. But having done those deeds does not automatically earn the respect of those who challenge you. Some mm -hmm. people never want to listen to reason, no matter how wrong they are. Myself That's true. included among them. Yeah. The only thing that should matter are your own deeds, and while I do believe that I have achieved some fantastic things, the only thing I had done for myself before coming here, the only thing that I wasn't born into, even, and even then you can say that I was, was my training as a Knight of the Red Lions. Mm. And before, whenever looks, it just kind of brings out Jigoku Saiga. <laughs> this one had I... mentioned what he did. I believe that I might have hung on to that final bit of my old self rather tightly. And I want to say that it won't happen again. I put Jigoku Saiga on a on like a weapon rack as I'm oh. walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I want to say that I won't do that again. I truly, I do. But I do know that <clears throat> as a man of my ability, I do seek validation through honor and deeds and I'm trying to catch up to an ideal that honestly is against everything that I've learned. Mm hmm. I don't know what it means to be a valor built quite yet. I don't know what it means to be in charge of anything, and I have to learn very quickly. But Vogan, out of everyone I've met since coming here, you have challenged the very foundation of myself. I thought myself strong, invincible, that Everything would be all right if I would devote myself to being a shield between people. But after our argument in the Underdark, I felt that my approach was only that of confrontation. These few days alone with Winchester, riding no alone way. and wondering whether he would survive, I thought of you. You showed me in this city that even at your worst element, you flourished, rising to the occasion like the morning sun. While I do not doubt my own merits, I can see that at worst I am not a shield, but an obstruction. Hmm. When were you in Even the after... Underdark? <laughs> that was a while ago. Oh. Even after I complicated your trial, you checked on me before reprimanding me. Oh. Yeah. You're not going to take me to the Underdark, are you? Maybe. Oh, no. No immediate plans. <laughs> oh, things get I mean, lost. They just down went there. there, so I don't. I don't know if they. I don't know if they want to go back immediately. No, things get lost down there. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there either. It's filthy drought down there. Ugh. Hey! Holy fuck! <laughs> Those are elves you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're like evil elves. Whenever you don't know what to do, you listen to those around you. In the end. Seeing my chances to get Winchester home, even though everything had gone the way it did, and knowing that you and Sunder were in the same danger, you didn't think twice about le letting me leave. 
You make better decisions than me in the heat of the moment, and Vogan... I think that's finally why it came to what I said earlier today. Vogan, I insist that you take my place as the head of the highest standard. There is no one else. Uh, she's very taken aback. <laughs> Do it. Prove to him you're a better leader. Do it. Gwen, Shame uh, him. Hold on one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up Jigoku Saga. Uh, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna no. put him outside the door. I'm gonna hey. close it. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> if you think this is going wow. to stop me from talking, you're dead wrong. <laughs> Quinn, um, that's. I'm going to have to do something for Argo soon. I don't know what it is, but whenever he had said that he was going to help Winchester, I promised him anything within my power. Someone who leads should not say that to someone. Someone who affects someone other than themselves should not say that. No matter what, no matter what is with them. I am not yet fit to be a leader. Clintus. Hmm? Roll me a charisma save. Hooray! Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you Listen. want one of my inspirations, boy? <laughs> Listen. Oh, shit. How bad can it be? How bad uh, 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 can, it, can be? it be? <laughs> it's <you>. pretty fucking <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> now roll me a deception check. <laughs> Oh, everything has. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. My passive insight is way higher than a one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. Vogan. Uh, yeah, what up? Though, at first, it seemed to come from a heartfelt place. Quintus, you can feel him almost grimacing as he speaks, even if he to himself doesn't realize it. You pick up that this is largely performance. And Quintus, though you mean it earnestly, you find that as these words escape your mouth and you hear yourself speaking, you find yourself not believing what you're saying. And as you continue to try to reinforce the idea that Vogan should be in charge and you made an error, it occurs to you that, no, you hadn't. That such mistakes should be expected of a leader. It is part of the experience. <laughs> there is no fault in making mistakes. In fact, having acquired that experience and now having that perspective, you're better for it. Though to be honest, maybe this proves my own virtues as a leader anyway. <laughs> uh -huh. Roll me insight, <laughs> Logan. Yeah. Insight. Things you hate to do as a DM is still higher than a one. Still higher than a one. Yes. Your <laughs> passive knowledge of Quintus, as hard-headed as Quintus can sometimes be, you can tell that this is unusual for him. <laughs> that this that, that when he sets his mind to something like this, he's usually pretty resolute. Even if what he set his mind to is identifying his own problems, you can tell that this this digression, this this turn. This talking him out of this, um, it's unusual for him. Oh, why mm -hmm. shouldn't I be the leader? <laughs> well, um, as the current leader, you have the decision. I'll leave the decision up to you whether you want to pass that responsibility onto me. But I'd say give it a day to think about it. Maybe longer. He you looks to over to you. Confident. <laughs> Confidence! Ah, <laughs> oh, now that I think about it... Logan... 
Maybe you're not old enough for this kind of responsibility. No, mm -hmm. maybe... Maybe this is something that... Only I can do. I mean, if Argo asked me to do something... Uh, too out of my way, I could just tell him no. <laughs> What's he going to do? <laughs> I imagine there's a lot he could do, but... Whatever. Let's, um... Let's just finish what we're doing and get some rest, huh? It's been a long couple days for us. Hmm. Vogan, I guess hmm. the biggest thing I want to say from all of this is thank you. Thank you for putting your trust in me. And just know that you placed your trust in the right person. Yeah. I hate this so much, Vogan. I'm gonna throw your sword into Mount Doom. <laughs> oh, it is. I thought it was bad before, but God, uh, this is real bad. Help! Oof. Help! Uh, help! No, I'm not, play, I'm not gonna. Bad. I'm not I gonna. I tried engage. so hard. <laughs> I tried oh. so hard to twist my words into being confident, but like that yeah. last bit, just I can't say it without, without. <laughs> uh. Why should anyone oh, else? You did lead? really well. I think you exactly. are the strongest and the wisest, and the most beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's wow. Technically, I'm the I'm, I'm the strongest and the wisest in the party. <laughs> no, no, Vogan. No, no. Though you are allowed your mistake. You'll find that to not be true. <laughs> you'll find that I am the. Not, you'll find that not only am I the smartest, but uh, I'm also the wisest, the strongest, the fastest, and with, the most with beautiful. Vogan's All of those You're... are incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> with Vogan refusing to engage. Um, yeah. I, I will I'll actually. Get, I will say. I will get. say. Technically. 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 Mm -hmm. You take that belt away. Quinn is the strongest of the party. But that it's aside. True. Yeah. Um, oh shit. It's actually. <laughs> Not to give him more things. <laughs> I will note, in case any of you guys haven't thought of it, if you get, did get the Hammer of Thunderbolts to Quinn, it would have the most substantial effect with him. Not that it's the best place for it, but it is worth noting that adding the four onto a, his 21 would be like, crazy. But gonna, that's not me, that's that's not me telling you what to do, mind. just a note on that topic. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going yeah. to pick up Jigoku Saiga from outside, and I'm going to put... Uh, because I already have the uh, mace, I'm going to throw... I'm going to put the the Warhammer that Fenris uh, lent me in sub armory as well for if she needs to take it at some point. Oh. Mm. Aye. Because why would I need anything else but this amazing sword? <laughs> <laughs> uh, repeat that, you're putting which thing in the armory? I'm putting the Warhammer in the armory, uh, the one that I got from Fenris because right. uh, I was borrowing it from her. Will do. I'll throw that in there. Uh, Warhammer, Warhammer, War where is that in your equipment? It's in the party sheet. I put it in the party sheet. Okay, I'll throw it in there afterwards. Um, okay, so Flux spends the night making... All my weapons in Flux spends the night making the scabbard. And, uh, gives that <laughs> to dude. Quintus. Is there anything else anyone would like to do? Keep in mind, reminder, when we do these, I'm not asking you to exhaust every possible roleplay scenario that you could ever, that you need. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys have quite a while ahead of you. Um, is there... Anything else you guys would like to do before you collectively turn in for the night? I cast um, bacon on jerky. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. yes. Yes. Never mind. You need to let me watch you do that. You need to let me watch. Uh, it's going to take me eight hours. I'll yeah. watch. What time is it? Oh, really? It's going to take me eight hours casting the spell at a gem, and then I walk up and go, bam! <laughs> uh, bam! Uh, so then, effectively, the night would pass. Um, with you oh. doing that, because it would take you the eight hours. Oh, yes? Oh, I was just gonna say, I want to... I'm essentially, like, emptying my bag of holding. Oh, you're just throwing all of it in there? Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm, like, getting a backpack, and putting the stuff I need in there, like, and then, uh, uh so just the, having my bag of holding. So the crowbar, bedroll, hunting trap, two nets, rope, and tinderbox, you want those back in your inventory? Yeah. Uh, and also, I'm putting the vicious great axe in the armory as well. Okay. Click. Yeah. I, I was going to talk to Fergus about something, but I think I will wait until Aviana comes back. Yeah, I've thrown everything time. in the bag of holding into your inventory. 
Uh, I'm just going to really quickly. Vicious Great Axe. Okay, your bag of holding is now empty. Uh, vicious Great Axe going into the armory in a second. Here it goes. Well, goodbye, Lekazod Axe. <gasps> I was never going to use it. So. <laughs> yeah. And it is out of here. The Lekazod The Lekazod All right. Uh, Mariam, you spend the evening preparing the agate with Jerky kind of hanging out, looking at you as you put you keep your hands out, enchanting this lightly glowing uh, agate uh, into the night and into the next morning. For the purposes of this, uh, we will assume the night passes, unless anybody has anything distinctly urgent. Mm -mm. Come. There's, there's one thing that hasn't been mentioned that I am shocked about. But I digress. <laughs> um... We come into the next morning around 8 a.m., we'll say. You all wake up. You guys go about your days. Uh, Avi, what would you guys like to do on this day? I already know that Avi is going to go with Rory to the place where they learn to fly, and they're going to spend the day together hiking and doing that. Um, Mariam, are you doing the awakening spell basically immediately, like right out the gate? Yeah, I would. Uh, I would spend the night casting that and then pass out. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Roll me a constitution check. Hmm. I just notice he's Lord Jerky. <laughs> yeah. A good boy. All right. You oh, do so. Oh, you. Oh, that was twenty for a second. You cast oh. it as you do. You uh, recall. Um, the moment when you cast it and the, the effect it has on Jerky, but you find that as you fall asleep from uh, suffering from exa uh, not not mechanical but narrative exhaustion, you fall asleep and you will awaken in a few hours. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some Jerky modifications here. Hello again. <laughs> yeah. Over the course of the rest, I would have attuned to the to the Lux Gunk. Okay. Unattune. The, the Ring of Ash. Unattune from the other item and just like click the buttons for the Lux Stone. Make sure it's equipped and attuned. Uh, as you do so, uh, just to, I think I know the answer, but just for clarity, which language would you like it to learn? Would you like it to be common? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Teach him infernal. You could. I'm not assuming anything. Yes. Yeah. No, you definitely common. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, charisma. You're back at zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Strength is at fucking plus tens for saves. Done. Oh my god. So the rest of you, um, I, I assuming the scabbard has now been made. I am going to, uh, I'm going to turn off the effect that causes the aura. So just roll me a uh, when I tell you to roll me a test charisma check. Uh, do it now. Uh, I I just lost my my luck stone increase. Uh, da da da. For some reason, it went back down to a negative one. Heck. Uh, um. Uh, uh, what? Did... Yeah, it's not. Um. Weird. <laughs> I will roll it. Hiya. What's your luck? No, what is it normally? It's a plus one normally. It's so fine. I got it. Oh, there we go. It, it 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 factors in, I guess, maybe some. Yeah, I guess it, I think it does. Gives you a plus one, so you would go down yeah. from a one. You would go down to a negative one, and then yeah, I I it don't. It goes up to a positive one. It's or it goes up to a to a zero at that point. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. It just it, before on the saves it had like it had it showing that it was a zero. Now it says it's a negative one, even it's, though it doesn't. It's probably because there's down. multiple effects that are messing with it so it's probably only showing like one or two of them one yeah. but it's not yeah, giving it's you the fine. disadvantage I, I rolled it correctly yeah that's a three <laughs> all right as soon as my stuff catches up just... cool that is done yeah uh as that happens so you now have that the aura will be suppressed as long as that's not out so you will not have disadvantage on saves and stuff unless you're using the weapon help <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will say, I'm if anyone, if anybody wants to reselect their spells, you can. I would say, uh, yeah. as you guys, uh, would, Tantia would have returned that night, because mm -hmm. she is now staying there, so Fenris, you would have, heckin', it's a fun way to say, but you would have access to Tantia over the night. <laughs> <if you wanted. laughs> 
Because I know you guys had yeah. an inkling of wanting yeah. to talk to her. And what with the gauntlets and all. Uh, that bit... <laughs> she might be like, uh, I think Vogan wants to talk to you, but maybe not. No. He might be interested in purchasing some. Tantia, I want to talk to you. <laughs> they just both, like, they're just both undressed in their bed. Just like. First of all, real oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, Falcon! <laughs> <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> uh, 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 that'll teach him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will wait, I guess. Hey, I, I gotta recover from that for a second. Shit, it was so yeah. <laughs> uh, Tiger walks into the open doorway that Vogue just left as he ran away. So ladies to walks. deal with the heavier <laughs> things yeah. to deal with the heavier things first. Um uh. So Fenris, have yes. you have you done what I believe you're probably going to do? Oh, change my attunement slot? Uh, what? Your Confusion. spells? Oh, yeah, Greater Restoration, yeah. Okay, are you doing something with attunement hey. stuff? I was gonna switch from the gloves to the ring. Oh, yeah, go ahead, do that. Uh, yay. Yeah, I you know, will. You know how to do that, just unclick the check mark and unequip one, and then... Yup. Make sure there's still this you was carrying it, though? I did it. Okay. Yep. Alright. Um, yep, yep, yep. Now, if you, whenever a spell targets you, that only targets mm -hmm. you, you'll... Have advantage on the save, and if you roll a twenty on those, then heckin' fun stuff will happen. Yay! How fun! Now are we now to note? I'm just gonna go into your inventory because I have a, an, an inkling here. I have a suspicion. Mm. You see? A suspicion, you say? Suspicion. Where, are Where is that ring? You are only Don't. okay. So when I said click the attunement box and then make sure it's equipped, you did the first thing. You did not do the second thing. Ah. <laughs> uh. I've now done the second thing for you. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, what I was I'm what I was saying. So tiny on my screen. What I was saying to make sure that you're still carrying is the gloves, just to make sure their weight is still ah. factored in. Yes, I see, I see, I see. It's the little bag thing All for right. that. I now understand with, that. With that, you do so. What would you like to what what do you guys want to tackle first of the, the active things? Um I'll just just to let you know where I am. I assume you guys will eventually be leaving the city to head towards uh, the area of the cauldron. I believe Flux has some insight on that. That should probably be brought up at some point, but that's on you guys. Mm -hmm. yes. All I can do in the meantime is ask what you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis, so that's kind of where I am. Um, so, what do you guys want to do? I, I would see. like to talk to Quintus. <laughs> All right. Quintus. I'll talk to Tantia while she does that. Oh, what right. is it? Nice. We'll do the Tantia <laughs> Vogan stuff in a sec. We'll deal with this first. Yeah. Okay. Hey, um... Did you not rise with the sun? I did not. <gasps> I, I, slept, I slept in. Oh my, my god, we need what to is this? What, so what, is what is this? Who are What is happening? today? I've, I've gone too I far. You were too for me. I slept in today. I felt, uh, I felt that I deserved it. <laughs> uh, Fenner, I feel like uh, Quintus is still sleeping when Fenris opens his door, and she'll like lean against it like a like a dad does. Like, hey, hey, buddy, hey, Quinn, you up? <laughs> What's... Oh, hey, Fenris. Hey, hey, you. <laughs> what are you How doing are you? there? What is I... that? The sun? Turn it down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are How are you feeling today? Have you? Are you still recovering from your, your journey? I'm feeling wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Annie <laughs> Finn will kind of push herself oh into his room and sit down on the bed. Yeah, oh my. Just... Huh? I said, oh my. Is this inappropriate? Hmm? Just stand. What do, I owe the, what do I owe the pleasure of your company, Fenris? Well... Quintus Valorbuild. I want to see you at the best you can be. You don't even have to mind me. You sleep in. I just want to look at your sword for a minute. Don't you worry about a darn thing. You and cast start... it on the hand, not the sword. <laughs> uh, if you plan on doing, sword? if you plan on doing anything like you like you did yesterday, you might want to bring a little bit stronger magic than you possessed yesterday, Fenris. Ha! <laughs> I, I did. I'm wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you, Quintus. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. 
<laughs> well, well, if you're that confident, what can I do to stop you? I mean, Hold how on. much do you know about magic? That's the question, Quintus. All right. I know Michelle. everything about magic. Everything there possibly could be. Ah, just because a god smiles your way naturally, you know everything. How could I forget you? All right. I look at the sword. <laughs> I'm going to cast Greater Restoration on this beach. Okay, you do so. So that is one of your three uses of it. Uh, Quinn. So, yep. as you use it, you find... So, so, so to, to back up slightly, Fenris, as you use it, you put your hands out and you try to use the magic of Greater Restoration to try to sever the curse that has come with this. You're using more powerful magic. Burn the spell slot. Um, as yes. you do, you do find it starts affecting it. You notice the sword in the corner of the room starts almost vibrating lightly as you do this in the scabbard. You notice it starts moving as if reacting and agitated by what you're doing. However, you do find you have to force the magic onto Quinn more so. It doesn't take naturally. Quinn, I'm about to make you make a charisma saving throw. Is there anything... <laughs> oh, no! Is there Let's any... Go. Yeah, these two curses together are maybe the worst thing. Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. This is it why is... I needed that luck stone, by the way. Yeah. Is there, Cody? Any, is there anything I should account for, or should I just... Run? I don't have anything Cody, else, do you want one of my inspiration? I have to get... I Does can't tell you what I have to get. <laughs> you want a favor? You, I'd give you a favor. You guys do whatever you want. I'll be fine. <laughs> you can't transfer you. favor. You can't transfer favor. Yeah. God damn it. Take that inspiration. You can bro. transfer inspiration. Yeah, you inspiration, can't transfer yeah. favor. Take an inspiration, you bitch. I've knocked it off. Take one of my take birthday advantage, inspiration. Quinn. Quick, take my saving face. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that doesn't work like that. If anyone uh, would have it at this be, point, it this should come with so that bad. sword. <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys the DC I have to hit. Don't worry oh, about no, it. Oh, no, it's fucking high. Just roll I know. Uh, All right. Are you I wish I'd come with you. Hit advantage. Are you ready? Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you use it. There's a flash of greenish energy as the spell is bounced back. And not only does it bounce back, as it does, Quinn reels back. Yep. He t and Quintus takes 4d10 psychic damage. Oh my god. Oh, oh my Quinn god. Quinn takes 28 damage. Oh, Fenris! <sighs> I know that you're not very used to casting magic on this level, but come on now. You can do a bit better than that. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> you might want to wait <laughs> to cast that again. No, do no. it, do it, do it. I only have one fifth level spell slot, so I can't even. Oh, you can't do it again. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Oh, well, that sure woke me up. Good. At least something did. <laughs> I'm sorry. For what? That I couldn't help you. Wow. Don't worry, Femris. I barely felt it. The blood coming out of his ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just kill him. See if you can see him. if you can do better next time. <gasps> I will Yo, quit this ass. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad I'm not there. Fuck. <laughs> Eventually, this happening. You guys break <laughs> off from this a failed attempt. It is an upsetting DC. <laughs> I, I guess I'll like make. 18, I guess I'll right? make my. I guess I'll make my way downstairs with my super awesome sword. <laughs> I imagine it's like an eighteen, somewhere uh, around there. Yeah. <laughs> if that mixed with a thing that specifically brings down his charisma yeah. is mean. This is a situation. This is a. This is real. Maybe you should dig I'm like. Fine. Break away Logan, from the being in the armory, yeah, trying to like adjust things, moving things around to try to suit your needs as you like replace where the gray render tooth, like where it should be sitting in the armory. Eventually, mm -hmm. you hear the door get kicked open, and you just hear a very sudden, "Hey, Logan, I need to talk to you." Who oh, I think I to you. Yeah, is it Tantia? It's Tantia. <laughs> Kinda... Okay, cool. I'm not sure about what, but you seem pretty <laughs> urgent, so so am I. What's up? Hey. Um, uh, Fenris is telling me you had, like, these, uh, uh, gauntlets that give you, like, the power of, like, an ogre or something, right? Mm-hmm. Fenris gave me them as a present. <laughs> <laughs> They're not getting them, bitch! 
No way. Uh, oh, she didn't mention that. <laughs> I was hoping to buy them off of you. I totally did, though. Ooh. I have selective hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care when Fenris told me about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I was hoping to... Uh, like, trade them or, or you know, um, buy them off of you. Or you want me to do you a favor? Like, I mean, I don't really have anything in particular in mind. Hmm. Well, why do you need them? Hmm. <laughs> don't cool. you already have that belt? I thought that was better than these. It is, but they work in tandem with another item that we have. Those items together with that, with this cool thing that they found apparently is really a strong effect. Okay. Well, if it's for the good of the highest standard, I guess I could be uh, convinced. Did Fenris already know you were going to ask me? I believe she did. Okay, in that case, if it's on the table, I'm going to assume that they won't mind. But I'm not just going to give them to you. But I don't know what I want from you. So money? convince me. Do you want money? You want money? <laughs> <laughs> A gift Dude. from Fenris is worth more than you could possibly pay. Wow. You're right. Yo. Um, <laughs> probably right. Uh, hmm. What do I, I could trade you one of my cool items. What do you got? What about this gray render tooth? <laughs> I don't just want a piece of a monster, Vogan. But it's so important. It's want so one of cool, those? I'll go break one off one for myself. Good luck. It won't be that um, hard doing it. After all, with these gauntlets, I can, <laughs> I can break pretty much anything. You just fuck up and you're like, you want my cool belt? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Told you. No, Let's make another track. <laughs> oh, oh no tape back, Zeus. No. <laughs> I have Fenris's old armor. <laughs> oh, you do! <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. you, want, you want another piece of Fenris? This one covered her whole body. Oh, <laughs> not <laughs> her armor. Yeah, the plus mm -hmm. one scale bell she gave me a while back. <laughs> I'm on you twenty four hours. Never. Nope. Focus right. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Come on, focus right. It's doing it for me. I'm gonna give it a sec to fix itself on its own. If that doesn't work. Am I a robot right now? No. No, no, no. How weird. I wonder Very if I'm robot. I wonder if I'm robot. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh. Well, there he goes. He probably just unplugged it. No. Actually, it just fixed oh, no. itself. I always oh. seem to go robot right before it oh, fixes yeah. itself. Oh, weird. Maybe it's like your headphone cable? Or like no, the it's, it's definitely the focus, oh. right? Um. But well, no, like the headphone jack in the focus, right? If, if you're plugging it in through there. Mm. This used to happen with another one as well. It's like a weird thing where just when it starts like processing too much, it starts to do this. Mm. Um, okay. Oh. Update your drivers recently. I'm probably gonna have to update my drivers. Mm. Oh, stop it! It's kind of doing it again. Come on, you're wasting our time here. We need to know if Tanti is gonna accept Fenders's armor. We need to know, it's very important. If this doesn't fix itself within the next <clears throat> 10 seconds or so, I'm going to restart the focus right again. Even though she seems to prefer Fenris without it. Okay. <laughs> Damn! I think it fixed itself. Okay. Nice. If you want to offer me something, you gotta offer me something practical. The armor that I got from the tournament's way better than that. Hmm. Well, um... He like dig it, digs into his bag. How about this, uh, this oil? 
Uh, pull out like the oil of slipperiness. <laughs> oh, you don't know why, but that upsets me. <laughs> Might be able to have some fun with this. Yeah, but once I use it, won't it be gone? Sure, but you could have, you know, a good time with it. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Um, I got this potion that you make your like super big. You're not gonna give it to you for a potion. Hmm. I don't have anything else. Uh. Come look at my armory. <laughs> <laughs> what about any of this stuff in this armory here? I mean, it's all cool, but it's all stuff I could get from somewhere else if I wanted to. Um, I could owe you a favor. There's <laughs> too much of that going around in the highest standard right now. Apparently. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not I really have sure. money. I'm not really sure what all you have. I'm not sure what all I have. Um. That you know, I don't really have anything that you can't just get. Oh, let's see. You got that cool scabbard you always use, but I don't use anything that can go inside of it, so that wouldn't be very good for me. Oh, uh, I'll pull out the fang of the red cobra. <laughs> I don't. I'm pretty sure you can't get this anywhere. What's that do? This is a um. Well, we ripped it out of the the mouth of a, a weird knoll guy, but it apparently has like. Uh, the power to, like, poison somebody, potentially. Uh, what else can it do? Um, yeah, you can, like, you know, makes you pretty good at biting people. Um, you'd have to rip out a tooth in order to use it, but, hey, something you can't get anywhere else. Hmm. You got anything? Hmm. Ooh, you got anything? Uh... Good? <laughs> like, right? Uh, Goddamn. Stab right up to Vogan's Emporium of Magic Items, apparently, as I oh. pull out the Gem of Seeing, which I Whoa. forgot to sell. <laughs> <That's what I laughs> <forgot. Wow. laughs> what about this? Yeah. What's that do? Yeah, you, you keep can, holding uh, things up, and then, I mean, it's a monocle. Well... It's a, isn't it like a stick with a gem on it or something? Yeah. <laughs> monocle, yes. Yeah. So monocle on uh, a stick. Oh. Oh, okay. It's this. Oh, oh it's <laughs> okay. Okay, I didn't know what it exactly looked like. I yeah, was all right. doing something different. Same. Um, well, it comes with like three charges and you can use one of those charges to, you know, for 10 minutes you can like see anything. Like it gives you, um, what would a Bogan call this? Uh, true sight. Which uh, is sight? <laughs> you can have the, the the sight of like a dragon. Roll persuasion. Fuck, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I roll beat up Aviana? I've no. got expertise in that. <laughs> <laughs> you can not roll persuasion. <laughs> Uh, that's a seven. I mean, that's not something that I feel like I'd get a whole lot of use out of. I don't know, man. You, it sounds like pretty plenty. I'm more know, into useful. watching things explode. I'm more into hitting things really hard. Yeah, yeah, you are. Um. Uh. uh <laughs> by the way. Oh no. Mm. Oh, cool. Make you oh, an offer. He's like the winding. Mm -hmm. I know there's certain things you won't go from. Like, I know that that sword that you were using, I saw you using it a couple of times. I don't suppose you'd be willing to part with that. The one that does the same thing that my gloves do? Uh, I'm not normally about swords, but that was really cool. It is pretty cool. That, or... Mm -hmm. You've always been really attached, I've noticed, to that skull drake hide that you're wearing. Why is I, that? Uh, well, I killed I killed it myself, and then uh, the go uh, a god blessed it. 
Why don't you give me that? <gasps> because I need it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hmm. Well, it is. It's been with me for forever. Um. Can I get back to you on that? I guess so. If you're not, if you don't need to hand it over, unless you can think of something else I might be able to get some use out of. I might be able to get something, but uh, I can't think of anything else right now. Um, I've got this horn of blasting. <laughs> oh, What's that do? trying his horn. Oh, you like blow into it and there's like a big like explosion. Like that just comes out of it. It just makes a big old noise, and everyone, you know, in the cone has to, uh, has to, you know, resist it, or else they'll take some damage and be deafened. Roll persuasion. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. Okay. Uh, persuasion. Ooh. Where is it? Where is my persuasion? There it is. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> He oh, should have led know, with that's that. That's just an 18. Let's I should have. That then. <laughs> oh, perfect. Sure. Oh, that sounds, that sounds like way my style. It sure does. I'm sh I'm surprised I didn't see it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> she takes them off. She's going she's going to take that horn of blasting from you and she'll give you the hell yes. Oh, oh, hell yeah. All right. Uh, you want to put it in like the party sheet? I'm just transferring them between sheets. Boom. Okay, cool. Just like on the bracers, just like, love you very much. Fenris silver on this. Oh. Well, I can wear this now. Like scratching it off. Like, oh. like um. <laughs> Thank Why you. is there a kiss mark and why wouldn't it rub off? <laughs> it's like scented. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Awful. Uh, thank you so much. Sure. I really appreciate it. If they can work together, then it's better in your hands. But at least I can say I got this out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun with that. I haven't really gotten to use that a lot, so I'm curious how, uh, how you'll use it. We'll see. I'll <laughs> test it out next time I'm out doing something. Perfect. All right. Thanks a lot. Sure. She mm. sees herself out. You now have all three of the necessary items for the hammer. I do. I have them. Woo! I can use it. I oh, can damn. fight. fight. <laughs> now the uh, the gaunt like the belt doesn't stack with the uh, no. with the hammer, right? No, it's twenty one so it unless just, another effect you know. increases it higher. Yeah. So I would have uh, <laughs> I would have twenty strength. If I unattuned to that and then reattuned to the, uh, uh, fucking the thing, the hammer. You're going to unattune from the belt and attune to the hammer? Yeah. All right. Just might as well. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. I'm going to throw an effect companion for the hammer into your inventory. Nice. Uh, as you do so. Built. As you are now just one okay. big weapon boy. I am. I'm a big old weapon boy. Where is the hammer? There it is. Oh, Just it doesn't when we have thought a... you were had enough weapons. Yeah. It doesn't have a, an attunement like thing I can check. So. I will oh yeah, that. I just you're right because it it's it, not normally a. It's only a, it, that that effect is only attunement. That yeah. effect. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Requires so. attunement. As soon as I fill it in, it should create one for it on there. There oh. it is. Bam. Cool. Thank you. I'm just gonna I will quickly check to make sure that it is factoring it in. So you don't have to attune the other things; you just have to have them on you. Correct. Yep. That's fucking cool, isn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> yep. Hammer of Thunderbolts oh. now has a section for you. You're Hell so yeah! I'm uh, Weapon Boy. <laughs> dear God. Uh. Hell yes! I'll take it. 
I'm gonna check right. the thing because oh, I'm pretty sure I have a better. Uh, it doesn't rate. say that my strength is twenty. Oh yes, I hadn't added a thing to it. So, um, mm -hmm. hammer of thunderbolts, add effect. <clears throat> Str four. I'm gonna make that a hidden effect. Str four, close it, and then I'm just gonna go into your inventory and I'm gonna be like, unequip. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. Where are you? Or hammer of thunderbolts. Unequip. There you go. <laughs> I'm the weapon boy. I'm the one who kills. You got it. <laughs> Damn. Effectively, <laughs> effectively no loss to your strength overall. Oh, I don't think it gave it to you yet. It didn't. Uh, oh, there. I just had to click something on the thing. It effectively ah. no loss to your stat because a twenty-one and a twenty are basically the same thing. And yep. you now have it. Oh, 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 oh yeah. So gross. I'm tired of you. <laughs> I cast banishment on Vogan. No. Hell yeah! Finally, <laughs> I've had enough of this. I hammer of thunderbolts my way out. <laughs> Balls. Cool. And then after that, I want to go hang out with Mary Mist, and that's it. Okay, and that's your day. Does anybody else have stuff to do today? Until uh, Aviana gets back. Yeah. Then I was hard to kind of hey, I'm also waiting for Aviana to Kind of long rest everybody. Uh, that will get rid of the damage Leisurin. Quinn took, but that's fine. Leisurin. Hey, Quinn, Leisurin looking good. Been working out? Cool, your dad's alive. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> was that an actual <laughs> thing there? Like, what's going on there? No. Quick <laughs> <Freaking> the day. <laughs> I'm just going to come down, uh, uh, down after everything that happened with Fenris and just chill out <laughs> for the day. Like, you know, there's nothing for me to do. Like there's no, there's, no, there's no problems out there. Yeah, there's, oh, there's no he's problems not, out he's there. Not I can't invited. face. Oh, he's not invited. All right, shit. You're not allowed to leisure with us, apparently. Damn. <laughs> when did I have to ask permission? Oh, that's, that's not very <laughs> honorable of you, <laughs> Quinn. That's kind of mean. Hmm? I don't mean. think it's very mean. What do you think? What do you mean it's mean? Well, Isn't it mean to exclude me? Well, not purposefully excluding you, but like to ask well, to join your friends to play. She's I'm just, just saying you occasionally make it difficult to leisure. Is that such a problem? <laughs> She's the <laughs> end. Are you, still, are you still upset because oh, you failed? Relaxation with... ruined. Are you still upset because your magic failed earlier? You oh. know, I wish I was upset about that instead of you being an apple. apple. He's an apple. You're just. <laughs> This is just an observation, but since you've picked up that sword, you've been an absolute ass. That's merely all I'm saying. You have been oh, a lot I'm... meaner than you normally are, Quinn. Normally oh, you're I'm sorry. I would say you're not reaching the highest standard whatsoever. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm sorry that you feel that way, Fenris. <gasps> wow. <laughs> you hear a noise behind you, and you hear just a, a, a voice from something passing by behind you, Quinn. One you don't recognize, but seems very familiar with you, just walking by being like, yes, you do seem more unpleasant than usual. <laughs> Fuck. Hmm? I look uh... over. You walk over, you just see Jerky walking by. Jerky! <gasps> <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jerky, since when could you talk? Okay, so both of you heard them talk as well. Okay. Mm. Jerky, when did you learn how to talk? Mm. Did this happen when you guys were away? Jerky lays down on the ground. <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jerky, do you still not like me very much? I'm looking at him. Nothing. You want food? Huh? Do you, do you want food? Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? It slow blinks. Can I roll animal handling to pet Jerky? You can try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It never works! <laughs> Don't worry, Lexi. Oh, he me. doesn't like Fenris very much either. It's because yeah. I have no modifier for animal handling. <laughs> I, mean, I do, I just roll like shit. I do oh. both! As you reach out towards to pet it, one of Jerky's paws just comes up and just presses against your hand and just pushes it back towards oh. you. <laughs> Lexi, you have to be more confident, watch! I'm gonna try. <laughs> Shh, I swear to- if this works, I'm gonna be pissed! <laughs> Come on, bite him, Jerky. Do it when I want to. Roll me animal handling. Do him a bite. As you, <laughs> as you reach towards <laughs> it, there is a loud, audible growl from Jerky. Hmm? 
Oh yeah, that really worked out well. So you continue to plot and like move a little bit closer. It just goes from a growl to suddenly be like, mm, no Come means on, no. Jeremy. Go That's away. Right. <laughs> All right then. Come, we should leave him alone. Mm. Mm. I'm <sighs> sorry if we upset you, Jerky. Goes back to leisuring with Fenris, but a little bit more sad. <laughs> Miriam. Ah, where are you? What are you doing? Um, I would have slept for a lot longer than everyone else, then I'd just be yeah, chilling. I figured as much. Kill you. I'm not sure exactly why it is that I woke today with the ability to speak. But Miriam did something to me earlier. Oh. And suddenly I can understand you all clearly. Oh, this was Kitty's doing, of course. Mm hmm. I should have realized. Yeah. Maybe if you were paying attention to something else, you might have. <laughs> Man, well, Jerky, I mean, no one... Jerky's a bitch, hell yeah! Well, I, mean, I there's love nobody else. Sassy right. Kitty! Well, I mean, there's nobody else here in Catchy, this place that could have possibly will. been able to do something oh. like that. Alright. <laughs> wow. I'm just killing time until Miriam wakes up. He's exhausted. No. Well, you're welcome to stay in here. I'm gonna say this once. He, like, stands. And I'm never gonna say it again. Hmm? Thank you guys for saving me from the gnolls. Oh, of course, you're Jerky. Very welcome. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm this glad is I didn't try to eat you all. Mm. I'm too. glad too. I'm <laughs> glad about that as well. That would have been not so good. However, I know that I could have left and all, but you could maybe do to stop putting me beside so many terrifying things constantly. <laughs> <laughs> We're <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> You're part of the high standard. You're, you're, you're very brave. Yeah. If you ever mm -hmm. want to stay behind, you, you're, you're perfectly capable of doing it. I, it. You don't have to go anywhere you don't feel you need to. I've stayed behind before, and when I did, mm -hmm. the house was burned down. It did burn down, yes. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, yeah, it was really bad. By the time before that, some drow came, and they carved a mark in acid into the door. Mm -hmm. That was also mm -hmm. very yeah. bad. But those drow aren't around anymore, so, uh, that's one yeah. problem with the solution. Indeed. I need, I, I need to know what's going on here. I, I'm gonna go grab Kitty. No, he's asleep. Oh, he's Crazy. resting. Wait, wait he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yep! <laughs> oh. oh, no. I need Sunder and Jerky oh. to have a heated debate. Well, Miriam, you are awoken by Quintus. As Quintus is going and doing that Fenris will sigh and look at Lexi. I miss Quinn. And go back to whatever she's doing. He has been really weird. I don't like it. We need to fix him. If that fixing involves giving him a knock to the head, maybe I will. How is he being weird? <laughs> Very. Yeah. Did you hear how he spoke to me just now? He this was morning. I've he was never understood total... anything that any of you have really ever said oh, at any well, point. Normally... But you were here just now. Normally he's not a dick. Yeah. Sorry, pardon my uh -huh. language, but... <laughs> Normally oh. he's very nice, but he Sorry was being so rude to Ferris just now. And you should have heard him this morning, Lexi. I tried to greater restoration him, and he oh. had a total air that, you know, I wasn't able to help him because my magic isn't strong enough. Oh, Fenris, I'm sure you did everything that you could. Sometimes magic's just funny and it doesn't work. That's not your I fault. I just thought he was different. Why does the horse have armor, but the tiger does not? <laughs> We're working on that, Jerky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you... <laughs> is Jerky preferred? Hmm? Did you have a hmm. name beforehand? Oh. Are you sure this is a conversation you want to have? Maybe that's oh. a... That... Mm, you don't like me that... You talk to Miriam about that. Well, that's fair. Are you comfortable was, with us calling you Jerky, or would I you prefer something else? I was named Jerky as a joke by a bunch of gnolls that wanted to eat me. It, and then you guys kept calling me it. 
And I'm just kind of used to it now. I don't really have another name. But, uh... I've never been able to appreciate the irony of that before. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> That's I mean, cruelty for you. You could change the meaning of it. Like, when... take back the name. You know? Like, instead of, they were going to make jerky out of you, like, any of the enemies that you have, you'll make jerky out of them, and that's why your name's Jerky. You know? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, good. But if you would prefer a different name, then just let us know. Hmm. When a child becomes aware of their own name that their parents are giving them, it's not something that they think about. I've only I mean, just become weird. aware of really what I am. My perception of myself has changed considerably in a very short period of time. Oh, well, are you okay? Can I was jerky down? before I was whatever I am now. But what I am You're now so... came from jerky. Oh, wow. This is very profound. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it's not my right to reject the name. It's your right to do whatever you want. I like mm. Lord Jerky. I like Lord Jerky too. Call me Lord Jerky. All right. Okay. And get me armor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And food. We will do our best. Get me food. Lord oh. Jerky. Well, we always have food for you, Jerky. <laughs> yes, I get, cook food. Get Lord Jerky. Oh, yeah, but I want the food you're having. Yes, <laughs> okay. I can easily arrange that. Can you sit at the table with us when we eat? Can you? Would you like a chair? Can you build? A really tall tiger bench. I think you could <laughs> talk to Flux about making a tall tiger bench. Mm-hmm. As for the food, Hello, I was summoned. Stay left. Flux, I request <laughs> a very tall tiger bench. Uh, is it? Are the rest of you hearing the tiger yes. talk? Yes. He we're can past talk. This. Jerky, can, Jerky can talk now. We think Miriam did something. Quintus is yes. him to find out right now. I told you, Miriam did something. Well, Flux wasn't here. He was just summoned. Mm. I talk now. I hear there is something that needs to be made. I, you will address oh, okay. me as Lord Jerky, and I want a tiger bench. <laughs> yes, Master Lord Jerky. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bow and then go off to make a tiger bench. That's a goddamn yes! king of the jungle right there. <laughs> goddamn. Hey, Taquin, are you there? Um, I think I'm losing it. Oh I, can't, I can't help but notice that Quintus decided to sit at one end of the long table. You can have the other end. Good. <laughs> Diddy, pretty kitty is speaking the nitty gritty singing Diddy. You oh, wow, nice. To kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want. <sighs> oh, shit. Yeah, um, what? Jerky's talking! Yeah, I know. It's great! You're welcome. <laughs> well, come on, you have to come see it! Okay. <sighs> That's right. <laughs> Just get that sleepy out of your eyes. Oh my god. You got this! I drag myself out of bed and follow Quintus. Alrighty. You end up in the main room, where you see at this point, um... You see... Mm, It wouldn't be able to get up on the table. Tiger, tigers are heavy. You enter the room and you see that with a plate of whatever it is the others are also eating has been placed on the floor in front of Jerky, who is picking at it with one of his claws like an animal out of a Disney movie with, like, way too much dexterity for how his paws should be able to work. <laughs> is it not enough salt? Miriam, you're awake. Miriam! You have given it's me not... the gift of intelligence. <laughs> also a curse. I uh, just brought out what was already there. Not only this, but it was you who one day had found me in a cage and decided to save me. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Why, why did you do this, mm. though? Why have you given me this blessing? I wanted to. Oh. Oh. oh my God. 
It's like, it's gonna make the best Excellent damn seat. Bench. <laughs> <laughs> just, just wow. Well, you want shit. nothing back from me. That is a throne, not a bench. Uh -huh. <laughs> you will get me armor, yes? Yeah, we can make that happen. Furthermore, next time we encounter that massive black knight, I want you to know that I am likely to flee. Uh, so am I. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Massive black knight. Going on. We met one of uh, Fierna's legionnaires who really doesn't like flux. Why is that? I come Aww. back in at that moment with the bench. Oh, yes, that is a thing that we will have to deal with, isn't it? Of in a month. Yeah, he, he said in a month's no, time did he's going to show up Did you up already too. not talk about it? I'm not oh, sure about geez. the context. I just remember a big knight. Yes, he was. <laughs> he's very scary. Um, he knows we have still queries as well. He knew them all by name. Mm-hmm. So, oh. in a month, Indeed. that will be all of our problems. <laughs> so in a month's time, we just have to defeat some lesser knight. That shouldn't be that hard. How long is a month? Yeah. Uh, well, it days. depends which month that is. Roughly. I know what the word means, but I'm kind of hazy on the specifics. Take or leave it 30 days. Alright. Not on that. Is a day when the sun goes down and it comes back up? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Yes. yes. Sun will rise 30 times. I was confident about that one. Mm-hmm. I also, uh, I had a run-in with the Crystal Queen and the Fainian. Oh? What? What? And you were able to get out <laughs> no, of it! No, nice there, kitty! Bitch. Uh, yeah, she, she just was bent to my will instantly. Um, <laughs> you, no, course. you're lying. Uh, you're lying about I'm something. Just, Why I'm did she so, show up? I'm so irresistible, Lexi. She, I, uh, I it? wanted to speak with the Fainian, and she found okay. me. <laughs> is Miriam wearing his necklace right now? Yes. Yeah, he okay. is. Okay. Okay, but you're still wearing your necklace, so, like, what happened? I took I... it off. Why? I wanted to make it easier for him to find me. And I had really hoped she wasn't looking. She was. Fenris is doing what? the fucking math in her head. Just what? squinting. What happened? How did she not kill you? She's really scary. Marion, why? He said he'd kill her if she killed me. So they were both just like, okay, that's fine. Then they uh, it was off? really scary. It was kind of a back and forth of who had the right to uh, me. Uh, and <laughs> They were fighting over you? She said she'll be back, so I don't know. She'll find me again soon. Yeah, so there is something here. she does fear. Interesting. Fox, do, well, I, just, do I just hop up on this? Or just jump up on you? Oh, yes, yeah. I'd like flip down a little, like, like some small steps for him to... Comfortably walk yes. up onto his throne. Good, good. He's yeah. got a baby chair like serving station. Jerky plate. gets up on his tiger shelf extension to the table and Beautiful. sits down on the end of it. Lord <laughs> Jerky, I noticed you were picking at your food. Is it not to your liking? No, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Lord Jerky. <laughs> Is the is the shelf the proper height for you, uh, Master Lord Jerky? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. It's... This is what the highest standard comes to. Oh, this yes. is wonderful. Could it be elevated so it is uh, just ever so slightly, just very slightly above the table? Just oh yes, one like second. I like, like start turning a crank and it's just... no, good, good. Oh, good. There we go. I can also adjust the angle if it was if it's more comfortable. No, this well. is fine. Flat is good. Right. Excellent, excellent. If I fits, I sits. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good. <laughs> oh yeah, lie. Quinn, your dad's alive. Yeah. Hmm. But well, what? Yeah, he's back. <laughs> Kitty, I know you just got up from the bed, but what? What day is it? It's been about a week now. You should probably be back in action. A, a week. Hmm. What do you mean, Kitty? Didn't want to tell you before you left, because if you died, 
and I got your hopes up, I'd feel really bad there, and then I'd also have to go back and talk to him and be like, hey, brought you back, but your son's dead. Um, I was I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Wait, so... Uh. Logan, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's, yeah, that is it's okay. It's okay. Here, I'll just reach out and close his jaw. Uh, that, that takes some time to process. Uh, and I know you... I, I kind of didn't want to tell you, but it seemed like the thing to do since there was a talking cat and I saw the Crystal Queen and Legion. Uh... You know, right. since we were saying crazy stuff, I got caught up in the moment. Uh, I was going to wait until we got back to the land away, but I, I think we're going to do about five or six more things that might kill us in the meantime, so I figured you ought to know. Kitty, I'm... You're not pulling my leg, are you? No. No, believe me. I would not lie about that. I lie about a lot of things. I won't lie about that. Is there any... I can't... Is there any way I can... Speak to him? With your mouth, presumably. <laughs> That's when we get back. Yet. We're a ways away from the land away, but whenever we get back... Um, I don't know if there's any sending zones over there. It's not like we would have the partner. <laughs> if you want, I can pass messages along. Right, I... I don't... I don't know what to say. I... I just don't. I... Huh. He's gonna, like, sit down. <laughs> hmm. Lady Pi, did you see he brought Quinn's dad back? I briefly had the power to manipulate the universe. <laughs> How did you do that? I played a game of chance with Vestius. You were the there. The thing that you had done before, whenever you saved everyone, you used that same power? I got a little excited. Oh. I'll say you did. Listen, don't out me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Wait, what is he talking about? I don't know the one. I'm... <laughs> Jackie, what do you know? I'm gonna... I'm gonna I go. I will not betray the confidence of Mario. I'm going to go out. Go for a walk. Hmm. You okay? Yeah, I... need to think. Okay. I'm gonna stand up and... Go to the door. <laughs> I don't know how to play this like confidently, but he's like, ah, <laughs> he is out of it and he leaves. <laughs> A wave of tension just leaves Fenris. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do either. Oh. Oh, Madam, do you think he's gonna be okay? Of course. I. It's got to be hard. I know what it feels like to lose a dad. And, uh, it's hard. I imagine it would be hard to believe to have them back. I figured out a way to make it confident. Oh, shit. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> back to that He's nine AC. Spider -Man. <laughs> He's got a Spider-Man 3 walk through the town. <laughs> nope, I'm just not going to put on my armor or get my shield. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Come on. I mean, it's a really difficult thing to hear, and he's also been really weird lately. So I don't know if like his reaction is gonna be like his actual reaction. Indeed, like, you know, it is hard to tell how much of his reactions are his own at the moment. Mm -hmm. Do any of us have spells that allow us to increase a person's ability to resist things? Uh, I should. I should have um a few spells. It's something that might be able to enhance his abilities. He might be able to resist the effects of that sword better next time you try and break his attunement to it. 
I can do a thing that I'm having a hard time describing in role play terms. But <laughs> That's I fair. Flash of genius. Flash of genius. <laughs> you, can, you can describe flash of genius as giving swift and precise instructions on how to overcome a task. Gotcha. Good idea, Flux. You are prone to flashes of genius. Oh. And whenever you're using it yourself, it's you finding the most concise and effectual way to deal with whatever you're dealing with. Just combobulate. Don't just just call it a brain blast. <laughs> yeah, oh, brain blast. blast him. I hate that. <laughs> well, that's uh, just what it is now. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love that. So, you're welcome. You guys, you guys do that. Uh, is anyone else? Does anyone else have anything in particular to to play? Or, I think that's it for the day. Maren was gonna stay in bed until yep. just now. <laughs> I'll come oh. home. Attack! Oh, <laughs> person. How dare you? <laughs> no, uh, go ahead. I'll come back later in the night. I'm going to be out night. all day. Gotcha. I'll no, come back later. late. Thank you. All right, Lexi, go ahead. Oh, heck, 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 heck. Okay. Are Fenris and Miriam still here? I'd be around. I'd be grabbable. I'd be yeah. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna see Aviana come home, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring her over to wherever Fenris and Miriam are. Okay. Lady Captain Clash, Lord Jerky. <laughs> I Jerky. Is it Captain or Captain? Yes. Bird. Oh. Don't you start with like me, that. cat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you start also, with why cat? is Wait. the cat? <laughs> Why is the cat talking, Miriam? As I scritch Jerky's cheek. <laughs> Just know it was Miriam. <laughs> it seems that you and I can finally speak. Toe to toe. As Hi, equals. cat. <laughs> the line between a hunter and their prey has been blurred. <laughs> huh. <laughs> She's just you staring can't, blankly can't at this fucking Jerky. cat. You can't say that, Jerky. Jerky, that's messed up. Aviana's not just a bird. Right. Lord, is a Hanyu with they wings. are the ultimate bird. No, you can't be saying that. That is a, that is a little offensive. Jerky. The grandest you... hunt. <laughs> <laughs> the most dangerous game. <laughs> Wow. Oh crap. You saw what I did. Uh, I can't. And... Oh! <laughs> you know it's funny when Logan corpses. <laughs> I love jerky so much. So much. Okay. So okay. Good. Okay. All right. Got it. <clears throat> no more pets for, with the nails. If you keep calling me that. Are you sure? You want to come with its wiping distance? I can't! I can't talk to you again! Oh, I will go up with my hands, like, on either side of his cheeks and just start giving, like, scritches with the nails and just getting right in there. Mm -hmm. sure James you sure you want to come with this? Uh-huh. <laughs> the hunter becomes the prey. I'll rub his ears and his I can whole see face that I have been a, I have been appeased if only for a time. <laughs> for sure. Oh no, she might have to pet you more. <sighs> yeah, I keep talking smack cat and no more pets. Roll me animal handling. Uh-huh. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I have one favor left, I'm putting it into this. Yeah! Oh shit! <laughs> I'm doing What's it! it like? What's it like having favor? <laughs> I, it's because I, I guess some of y'all questions. I'm just waiting for the game to catch up and then I'll roll. Because I hit my favorite. Oh, oh yeah, it is freezing. I wasn't even doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's the game's like no no no, cat. <laughs> All right, there it is. This is not gonna go well. Let's see, y'all. Oh, oh, my oh, 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 take my favor back. Hell yeah, bitch. Very well. 
There you go. There we go. <laughs> oh right, do we get do we get things on nineteens, right? Yeah, yeah favor. favor on nineteen. Should, yeah. should I have got a favor back whenever I nat nineteen to the uh mm -hmm. yeah. the roll for Diego oh, yeah. back? Yeah. yeah. It's been so long. I don't help. <laughs> That's gonna help. <laughs> Look, I need as much as yep. I can. Yeah, yep, that's fair. Yep. I don't want to be a dick anymore. Aww, <laughs> me too, man. Yeah. But I do really want to keep the sword. <laughs> well, Cody, Cody, no. Cody, no. Cody. So what's up, Lexi? So, um, I think that happened while we were gone. And instead of me like talking to each one of you individually, like it's been going on in the past, I wanted to just gather all of you here and just be like, "Hi, so I kissed Quintus." <laughs> what? How'd that go? Oh, how did it go? Um, it was nice. Um, it was really weird because I like I talked to Vogan about stuff, and he said that like communication is very important in relationships. So I talked mm -hmm. to Quinn just about how I was feeling, and I wanted to see what would happen if I kissed him, and it was nice. But that's oh, like nice, nice, it. or like nice? Yeah, the way you're saying it. It was nice. I, I mean, I've never kissed anyone before, so I, I, I don't know. Did you feel like butterfly -y at all? I don't... <laughs> Alright, I have a solution. You kiss everyone here and see if you feel different. No. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna do that. Would you do it again? Maybe. Do you I find so. yourself like wanting to do it again? Like it's all you can mm. think about or? Well, not right now. He's kind of being a butthole. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's a right dick. Mm hmm. Oh, oh you, you have no, you haven't even earlier. been around. You, the sword's making I know you think so that horrible. regularly, but it's so much worse, Avian. It really is. You've seen horrible things to Fenris. <sighs> I mean, like what? Oh no! <laughs> Shit. Avia, yeah, I can fight my own battles. I'm not saying I'm gonna fight your battles for you. I just would like to know. He just. When I tried to help him with the sword this morning, with the stronger magic, first he taunted me about it being, Oh, you hope you brought something stronger this time. <sighs> and then when it didn't work, well, what could I expect? <laughs> Quintus Valerbilt. I know it's not him, but. I never it said does... Valerbilt. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Spends... You're not here, bitch. <laughs> I know it's not him, but it just... Can't hurt your feelings. Well, he was getting so much better about it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> cool. Do we have any other ways to fix him? Kill him? No. Sorry. Well, that's not gonna fix him. I'm just gonna get rid of him. Sorry, the sword you guys brought me and told me to touch did bad yeah. things to me. I <laughs> said nothing, bitch. <laughs> I think uh, between me and Flux, if Flux can enhance his abilities to resist the pulls of the sword, and if I can attempt to uh, either sever the connection or cleanse the sword, okay, we should be good. That's good. <sighs> Uh, Marion, what about that thing that you can do where you can, like, mess with the universe and stuff? Wouldn't that help him? I can't do that anymore. Why not? I, uh, I used my last one on his dad. What about his dad? Mm -hmm. Marion brought back Quinn's dad. Oh. Wow. It's amazing. Guess not. Uh -huh. No, it's amazing. He's he's out right now because he just found out about it. He's having a walk. Mm. How are you with Quintus being more Quintus, Miriam? Um, it's obvious the sword's doing something to him. Quintus is. Uh, he can be brash, but this he's is never cool. Not on purpose. No, uh, no. Uh, me and him have made fun of people in bars for acting like that. He's, he's really not himself. 
I feel bad. I'm the one who gave him that sword. Yeah, it's not no, your fault. Was gonna do what that was. Eh, I couldn't have known, but it's still my fault. Luckily, we have the tools at our fingertips to aid him and get him through the process of fixing the sword. How soon would we be able to try to fix him again? Tomorrow? I really only get one opportunity. Mm. At the level that I was able to, which wasn't enough the first time, so... It means we have to have everyone who can support support. Mm. Mm. And he'll have to mm. want to change. I think mm. there's a part of him that... enjoys whatever's happening to him. Oh, that's the corruption, I think. In any case, we should rest on it. He's not going to be back for any time soon. I think he's going to go for a long walk. Hey guys, I'm back! I'm kidding. No, I <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> and I'm out. We were talking about cake. <laughs> Just... oh, <yeah>. Mouse. <laughs> that was another big mouse! You wouldn't even believe it! All right, I... For the purposes of uh, of game, and that we don't want to have another yeah. sorry Stewie session, um, not that I'm saying we end now. Yeah. Um, oh. Do you guys have anything else critical you want to do on this day, or do you want to go to the next one? I, I like just want to inform my boys. You want to talk to Avi? Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come find me, bitch. Mm -hmm. I find Avi. I go. Ah. Uh, I knock on your door. Um, <gasps> Wogan stole Avi away from all of us if randomly. We can, real quick, I know this is a strange time to do this. If we can, could we take a really quick break? I want to go refill my water. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna do the same. Bye -bye. All right, real fast what break, like five minutes, and then we'll be back. All right, quick, okay. everyone, kiss Lexi. No. I refuse. No. <laughs> Ew, she's icky. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not like it's out of respect as a friend. Don't you see sticky? I can't I feel kiss like, another girl. I feel I've like Tanya wanting... would not care, but at the same time, it's also I've been Lexi. wanting to Be say you. those things to Vogan for so long, and now uh. it's being destroyed. <laughs> Yo! Uh. <laughs> Ooh, you, you, t uh. Cody. Cody, I hope you know I love you. I love Quintus. <laughs> Listen, we can't help You're playing but him very well right now. We can't yeah. help but I'm apparently a better like spellcaster. Painfully than you. well. <gasps> you half caster bitch! What'd he say? I'll make you, you eat those words. How about Emic? Well, see, I'm the strongest, so obviously I'm a better spellcaster than her. <laughs> wow. Also, oh, don't think I didn't God. hear all those Lexi smooches as I was leaving, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted you to hear. Oh, good. Get out of here with all of that! And the oh, oh my, my goodness, God, you're like... sitting on my bed! Oh, yo, yeah, hell yeah! And we got, to the, and we got yeah. to the end of the Vogan talk. It's just like, yes. Why shouldn't I lead them? <laughs> <laughs> so upsetting. <laughs> so <Right. evilly. laughs> Like so dude, that was so upsetting. When you were all like, I mean, what's our goal gonna do if I don't fucking give him anything? Is the least <laughs> honorable thing Quintus oh, yeah. has ever said. <laughs> right? Like, Holy shit! I'm not ready. Listen, I'm, listen. I'm putting I'm this greater. on paper now. I'm not ready for Elijah. Thought I listen, was. Listen, listen. I'm I'm far greater than my honor. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sure, my honor would be great, but I'm better. <laughs> oh my god. I but was I'm like, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just Wakes up worry. early and just like, uh, maybe I don't have to rise with the sun. Let's. Uh... <laughs> the sun <laughs> can hey wait for me. <laughs> the sun can wait. Hello there, friend Quintus. My, what a wonderful. <laughs> hey, is that All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Get on your sword. All right, guys. Uh, Let's, uh,. Is everybody back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Alright, yeah. let's, mm -hmm. let's dive back into it. Alright. <clears throat> what? Uh, can I come in? Yeah, one sec. I will unlock the door and open it. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Um, can I talk to you? 
about a thing. Sure. I'll let him in. Mm-hmm. Um... I, um... I'm sorry. What? I've clearly upset you. And I want to apologize for all the jokes at your expense. Huh. Thanks, I guess. Um, I, hmm, I don't want us to be enemies. We're on the same side. Well, you're making it plenty hard to like you, Vogan. I know. As a sort of a peace offering, um, he's gonna hand you the bag of holding. The fuck is this? It's, um, it's the bag of holding I've been, I've had. Why? I want you to have it. For your vast amount of gold and platinum. Thanks. Is there a reason someone like you felt the need to make those kind of jokes? You of all people should understand. I know. It's some old habits. I'm kicking. And I've learned a lot over the test I had. And like I said, I don't I don't want us to be enemies anymore. I I'm sorry. Just kind of look at you, just trying to process that. Uh, I don't want us to be enemies either. Uh, I, I won't make those jokes anymore. Thanks. The cat making them is enough for me now. What? Jerky insists Jer on calling me bird. He's like make a sound that sounds like a like a like he's saying bird or something. The cat can speak, Vogan. <laughs> sure. Um <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty funny. Uh <laughs> Um I don't but. joke. <laughs> Not about that. Okay. Uh. <sighs> Thanks for acknowledging it. Mm. Um. He'll, like, lift his arm out for, like, a handshake. Can we start over? I guess so. I will put out a closed fist for like a fist bump instead. <laughs> He'll bump it. It's a little more my style. <laughs> cool. Guess I can get rid of this beat up Aviana skill I have. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like you could beat be it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Sorry if, uh, if I bothered you over the night. Um, no. just wanted to get that off my chest. No, you're good. I was awake. Cool. Need, need anything else? No, no. Um, that's, uh, that's the main thing. Uh, well, 
Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um. Go talk to the cat. Okay. I dare you. <laughs> Whatever you say. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. I walk out. And close the like door. Like a couple minutes later, it's like, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> talking shit, cat. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> that is my friend you're calling a bird, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cutie. Yeah. Aww, so All right. Are you guys doing anything else? I'll head to bed. All right. And we're gonna move ahead to the next morning. That's cool with you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! One sec while we can have... catch up with itself. I, I wanted to up. get you your own bag of holding, but they didn't have one. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Oh, <again. laughs> I'm gonna go take my money out of the banks. I don't trust the banks. Thanks, I man. know you don't. That's <laughs> why I bag? gave you that bag. <laughs> oh, wow. Moving forward to the next morning, everybody can awaken where, whenever they so choose to. Yay. Uh, I think I'll sleep in. Yeah, Fenner. I hate this. Well, while he's I hate doing this. that. Uh, Fenris will gather the necessary people to aid her in this can we, next Can we take just one second? My focus right has done the thing a couple of times. I'd like to just restart it again. Oh, oh no. Okay. Stop. Oh. Man. This is bad. Time to bad attempt an exorcism on right? Princess. Oh my god! <laughs> No, right, we're back. Oh, not getting I my... can't wait till I nat one. Yeah. <laughs> we might be able to, like, if it doesn't work something. again, we might be able to, like, take him to, like, a, a temple and, like, have another cleric look at him. We have Argo potentially no. to find him. We do have Argo, too. No, right. I need I to don't. do this. For <laughs> <laughs> the sake of your now. pride. Yes. 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 Yep. We're good. We're back in. You guys can proceed okay. with doing whatever you want to do. Uh... <laughs> While Quintus is sleeping in, Fenris would wake up, uh, Flux, Miriam. Uh, I think those are the only people that could aid. She'd probably get Vogan in case Quintus needed to be restrained. Yeah. Just cause. <laughs> you know. Hey, remember that time Quintus gave you a bath? Channel that rage. <laughs> Did you guys prepare a spell that might enhance his ability to defend against this? Uh, yes, I have enhance ability on hand. Perfect. Does that help I with have... saves or just abilities? Oh shit, it's only checks. Oh, it's only checks. All right. Crap. Uh, okay, our, that's not gonna help. Our regular um, stuff. That's it. Uh, All, right. All right. Play a I mean, inspiring tune. Oh, uh, I'll be to there. be honest. So he has to be of... able to hear you. Um, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna wake so him up. Quintus Don't has worry. to be. Quintus has to be for these bonuses to work. Has to be compliant in receiving them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he will. Uh. <laughs> So paint the scene. What what is the exact situation going on here? Morning, buddy. <laughs> I uh, hey, good morning, friend. We're just gonna, we're just gonna yeah. do some stuff to you. When How they, are you doing? When they come in, they'll see a bunch of bags. What kind of bags? <laughs> the hell? Bunch of mm. a bunch of like like big like like uh, like thick bags oh, full shit. of things. Okay. <laughs> I uh. When it started packing up. <laughs> As uh, as the door opens, I'm gonna start playing some music, and as soon as I see Quinn, I'm gonna cast Charm Person. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to yes. cast it while playing the sit turn, which will give him disadvantage. All right, roll, yeah. roll a charisma oh, wow. save with disadvantage, my boy. It's a wisdom. Wisdom save. Okay, roll right. me a wisdom save with disadvantage. Sorry, my bad. Let's Good morning go. to you. Good morning to you. Oh, <laughs> you fail. Yeah, you don't fail. <laughs> hey, buddy! What's hey, the worst rolls again. of all time? <laughs> Hello! Uh, good hi. morning! Good morning, everyone! Hey! Do you mind if we come in? <laughs> of course, come on in. Actually, hey, we want to speak with all of you anyway. Okay, sure. What's up? What's up, Quinn? Oh, uh, I need all of you to put this whole uh, saving everything on hold. Mmm, interesting. She's gonna start heading towards the sword. May cast we ask you why? Cast it on him. 
Ah, I head towards Quintus. Sorry. Of course, uh, I'm going to be heading back to see my father. You can all stay here. I can make it there on my own. It'll probably be faster that way as well. I can make my way back and we can go and save everything afterwards. As soon as I'm done with my business, of course. <laughs> sure, yeah, buddy. Just one thing, uh, yeah. you know, buddy, just as a friend, if you could sit down, we're gonna try and get a... Uh, some of this magic effect off you from eating Jiko Kusag and all that other stuff. Of course. Mm. A cleansing, yes. I see, I see no reason to, because you've charmed me, and I was going to listen to you anyway, because you're you. <laughs> I know, it's me, but you know, I have to make sure. <laughs> Good to be safe. All right, I'm going to sit down on the bed and try this again. All right, uh, I will give him a bardic inspiration. You're going to do fine, pal. <laughs> Oh my god. Brain blast! Brain blast! I will use my favor. <laughs> Alright, go Come ahead. Come on, fight it, it, Quintus. <laughs> Please, Lord, Lord, Master Quintus, fight it! Perfect. I have currently a plus nine, I and think. And a plus nine, and a, So, we assume you're going to use the Bardic Inspiration, yeah? Yeah. Go ahead and just roll it and stick it in your modifier window. I don't so know what high. it would be a D8. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. It's catching up with itself, so don't worry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think be it was good. either a one or a seven. <laughs> I hope it's the seven. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh my god. That's pretty good. Okay. Speak it into existence. Oh. So currently, I believe I have a plus 17. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, if, swear to God, if you don't make this bitch. Make that I save. Love that that one. Make that save bitch. You use that. Flux starts giving you detailed instructions on how to best focus and try to um, clear your mind of the influence of the effect as it happens. He starts warning you against the pain you might experience, what with the psychic pain you took last time. Uh, Miriam <laughs> starts playing a tune that you find familiar, playing a song that you may have heard earlier in your life. Uh, when he was first learning his craft that sends you back to a place where you can more clearly remember yourself and Fenris approaches you take his hand mm -hmm. in both of hers and be like come on buddy you can do this you we are filled you. with magical energy as you mm -hmm. are you once again feel the vision of uh, the many things that Duskal had accomplished as a paladin you once again see the images of the necessary evils they committed as a paladin in order to, in their mind, bring more good into the world. You see the moment that a blade is plunged into the chest of a celestial who had acted as a guide and friend to this paladin. As you do, I'm gonna roll it against you. Here we go. Come on, Gwen. No, that's a 20. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys see a vibration from the sword in the side of the room as it begins moving, as it uh, leaned up against the wall it's on. It cracks, or not cracks, but it starts like moving so much that you feel like it may lift off the ground. Jigo Kusaga leaned against another wall. You see the eye flicker on and look at it, and you just hear a, oh, it's a, uh, I'm starting to think that thing might be as possessed as I am. Someone wanna, <laughs> Take that out of the- And as it starts to move, it falls to the ground, clatters out of the scabbard as it pulls slightly out of it. You see the blackened blade, not even reflecting light. You see it just it seems to be made for a moment of pure darkness as, Quintus, you are affected by this magic, as the greater restoration <sighs> magic focuses on you, and you focus on Flux's instructions to try to best navigate this. As you do, the blade suddenly stops. The vibrating sound had reached such a volume that it seemed to be the only thing you all could hear of as Miriam tries to play his uh, song louder to overpower the sound of this thing vibrating on the ground. And as you do, it suddenly stops and everything goes quiet. And you see the blade on the side of the room begin to wash and become white again as the black <gasps> peels away. As you are detuned, the curse broken, and the madness that you had suffered no longer affecting you. Uh, yes! Uh, 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 Quinn! 
drink with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I Hooray! Don't, I punch I don't him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> As your indefinite oh, madness, I am the smartest, oh. wisest, strongest, fastest, and most beautiful person I know is no longer affecting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I never even said that you were good at casting magic, you I'm bitch. I'm the strongest. Tack that on. Wow. <laughs> I'm the strongest. <laughs> Fuck out of yeah. here. He's just the best, oh. man. He oh, was the best. God. I don't want to leave. Uh, I'm good. scared to death of what he's going to say. <laughs> thank goodness. Uh. I mean, yeah, thank goodness. Oh, if he somehow <laughs> got away, and that's a stretch. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If you came back home like that, I think your dad would kick your ass. Uh, probably. Oh, oh I'm, uh, I'm so sorry, guys. I, oh. Uh. I feel like you should apologize to Fenris in particular. You said some very mean things to her. Fenris, I... I'm very, very sorry. For everything I, I said. And, and Vogan... For everything that I said to you as well, I... Drop oh. concentration on Charmers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you charm! Oh, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, his attitude didn't change very much. Yeah, yeah I was... I was uh, yeah, I was, uh, well, you didn't need to charm oh. me, kitty. I would have answered. I mean, I hope I would have. I don't, I don't know, though. <laughs> hmm. uh, Feeling better? Yeah, I'm... Fenris, I... You know you're... You know you're the strongest person I've met. Like, you're my champion. Of course you can, you could have done this. You're the only one worthy of the gift that I, that was bestowed upon you. I'm, I'm so just sorry. You're okay. So <laughs> that one we can throw in a well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that and, seems like a good place for that. Yes. Or uh-huh. volcano. Mm-hmm. And Vogan, hmm. I meant everything I said, except the parts about me being greater. Yeah, I see. All, all, all of that, except except those things. I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I do think that the guild is better in your hands. Whoa, I'd have to agree. Goodness, whoa. Avi. Well, Avi, you're here. Hey. <laughs> I'll kick your ass. I feel like we're all here. Some of us yeah. are just in the back. <laughs> yeah. Fen, Fen's still like holding Quintus's hands in hers. Like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of quietly crying. You did such a good job. I know. I did a good well, job the first time, too. You did a fantastic <laughs> job. <laughs> Damn I wasn't. I wasn't strong enough. You. You did. You no, did you wonderfully. Weren't. I'm you're just glad you're so, okay. You're so strong. <laughs> Say any of that so again, to, and I will break your hand. I have so much to learn about holy things, and you're so much better, and you're great. <laughs> All right. Ease up on that, Quinn. I'm just glad you're able to see things the way you used to. Now. <laughs> You've got a lot of good work ahead of you. Most involving that glaive. It's true. I don't think I would have been. I would have been able to do anything with that sword, with that glaive, if I was still with that sword. I wonder. I still feel bad for it, though. I feel bad for the sword. It's impossible to be able to tell, but I can sense it, weapon to weapon. The sword appears to have been purified. If you were to attempt to use it now. In all likelihood, it would recognize you as its master. I mean, he lied before. He said that if we tried to claim, Quenny might die, so I don't know if we can believe him. Shut up! I mean, to be fair, whenever I they mean, he whenever you brought it damage. off of me, I, I got hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Good. Then you were really what? mad about it. I mean... <laughs> oh, I mean... I'm you so said sorry. it like... You see, you said it like looks like uh, different now, right? Like no, it went back to the state we originally found it in. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we should have someone of the church look at the sword to make sure that the purification worked. 
I don't believe it was purified at all. I think it reset to be able to... Aye, and what, what do you know about again. cursed weapons? Oh. A little I bit more a... than the average person. Can I insight the... Uh, Go ahead. The saga? No. I Get think... It. Get him. I think we can oh, get him a shit. chance. Shit. Damn. I mean, yeah, he's Jigoku lying. Saga. <laughs> Jigoku yeah. Saga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jigoku Saga will never be able to get better if we don't give him the chance to get better. I, I, I can believe him. He's lying. You son He's of a lying. bitch! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the You're first to say, I like this glaive. <laughs> the Avenger might be better in the hands of the church in any case. If they can't mm -hmm. find a way to purify it, they'll find use for it. But mm -hmm. otherwise, as it stands, that thing is dangerous. We could give him a dragon slayer as compensation. <laughs> what? We have a dragon slaying great sword. Mm -hmm. We fought Whoa. a dragon. Oh yeah! Oh. I'll pull out the horn oh, from that's my really backpack. Cool. Oh, you took a trophy? <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Oh, I'm right, I did. I'm an idiot. I should. I, I have the blood from that dragon. I was gonna give that to uh, Briar and see if he could make anything with it. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll do oh, that before cool. we head out for the cauldron. Mm. Well. <laughs> Indeed. Let's uh, secure that so secure that thing inside of its sheath and take it to the church, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good idea. And then if you don't mind, I think you could do with joining us for a little bit of leisuring. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I've been leisuring enough. <laughs> Look how time it is. I'm still in bed. <gasps> oh, <laughs> my oh, my God. God. oh, oh fucking thank you. Thank you, Quinn. <laughs> well, maybe you should rest. Heck. Maybe you should rest. Uh, I get that you now have a shiny new black eye. <laughs> true. Oh, yeah, that's a shiner. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, who punched me? That was me. Why'd you, punch. you, you punch me? I'm kidding. <laughs> you know why. Well, I've been healed since then. <laughs> no, I punched no. you right after like your, your curse broke. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Because <laughs> you were a little bit. You <laughs> I didn't deserve it. I was being, I was being manipulated. You were, being a, you were being a huge asshole. It's okay. You guys gave it to me. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're back now. That's all that matters, Quintus. <laughs> I'm just doing He's it. really you strong. You didn't mean at the time. <laughs> yeah, and you thought you were stronger. <laughs> well, that's uh, not afterwards. <laughs> Uh, Punch me while I'm still acting like plan that. To take, ah. uh, you guys plan to take the sword to the church? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yes. If, is, if, if... is there a particular way you plan to go about doing so? Uh, I would like to um, put it inside. I would like to basically sheathe the blade with the sheath like I'm not touching the sword. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah. probably, like, you know, since it would attune to me, I'd probably, like... Look to the others like, does anyone else want to carry it? Yeah. Give it to me. Someone yeah, not anyone it? else. Give it to me. I'll, I'll do it. Whoever works. May I, may I go with you? Mm. Let me write a note first. And Fenris will write, Very cursed sword. Do <laughs> not touch. Oh, danger. <laughs> We're uh, not like... leaving it there. We're, g we're giving we're it to it off. Off. Forget. Forget. I had to mark! I had to mark the dark chocolate because everyone kept eating it and getting upset that it wasn't sweet! Is, is this I'm your experience this. at the church? Because if this is true, I don't know if we should leave it with them. <laughs> can, I, I can, I lay on hands my, can I lay on hands my eye? Yep. <laughs> <Just pull. laughs> I don't want to walk to the church with a shiner. <laughs> I'm wow. merely making sure that if anyone does stumble upon the sword, because, like, people rob churches. Yeah. It's true. Okay, but it's also, like if you saw something forward. with our, our, our note written on it, this is, ooh, this is very cursed. Would you well, I'm believe also drawing it? I'm a depiction yeah. of it. Fenris will draw, like, her interpretation of an evil person holding the sword, and it looks super scary. <laughs> oh. Bad. In quotes, scary. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. No go. This is an issue scholars and dungeon delvers have all the time. Is Like, really, really evil. 
past civilizations will mark areas saying, ooh, very dangerous, but sometimes it's them defending treasure and things that you really would want, and sometimes they're very serious and it's actually cursed. Uh, so there's no way to trust it. As a person, I would just want to take that because that sounds like it's valuable. I'm protecting it against the average person, not Miriam fucking Lucius. There we go. I, I, yeah. I think I'm quite average in my lust for strange and rare things. If Burgundy the were doodle. still in town, we can, I'd sell we can it see if, We can see if they want to keep the note on it. The doodle of, like, the evil guy just looks like Vogan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, not at all. Very, very, it's very menacing, Fenris. Uh, don't take up an art. I've learned Did that it. my performative <laughs> skills aren't like. It's fine. We could also take it down to the vault and annoy that guy. <laughs> we could. You just throw it inside he... the. He <laughs> would out uh, a he bunch of our us secrets. last time. He did. He did do I that. I say church. I could go. Church he said is. there's nothing to learn about me. I could. But he said if we annoyed him again, that he would like. I don't. I'm not the leader. I trust. I, I trust the people over at the church. Do the not fun thing. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I am. All right. You guys do that. I'm gonna think. Uh... I think I'll drop this off at Briars, and then I'm gonna spend the day petting this cat. Mind if I come with? Sure. Cool. All right. We're gonna focus on the return yeah, of the sword. On. To the church. All right. Do you guys go there? Um, given the time, unless you guys have any particular way that you want to go about it, uh, upon returning it to them, they would be informed of its properties and its desire to latch onto a paladin. Um, and uh, as you return it to them, they, they promise they'll likely see it to a place like the Academy that is delivered there so it can be sealed away. Um, it is treated with great respect and caution when you give it to them. Uh, I, would, I would also like to say everything that I saw so that they know the story of the blade. Hmm. This is the whenever you whenever you give it to them, they also treat it with a great deal of respect, and that they bring out what looks to be a ceremonial shroud, and they place it around it, wrapping it up as if it were uh, a holy reliquary of some kind. Being a holy avenger, tainted as it was, it was still a highly religious and powerful symbol of the church. Uh, whenever Fenders they will scribble out her name at the bottom. All right. Whenever you take it. Uh, you take it from them, and uh, or they take it from you, and I'm going to award you guys a little tiny bit of experience. For oh, no, it's not it was a lot. a lot of experience. Ooh, a little boom. Uh, yes. Not a terrible. They saved Quinn from being a bad man. As soon as the game catches Hooray! up with itself. As you do that, um, <laughs> we'll handle the Briar stuff next time. As mm -hmm. I believe, with everything that's happened and the closing of the passing on of Duskull's Tainted Avenger, uh, I believe that is where we're going to close off today. I imagine, I imagine next time we'll likely get into the preparations for and the journey out towards the cauldron. Um, reminder yes. that there is a narrative clock ticking down as of this point. There you go. Apparently, six hundred and twenty-five experience. So much going me. on. Nice. Woo. He was very, he was very happy that they would t that they're taking care of it because again, he does very much really pity the blade. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they assure you they'll do what they can to purify it. And if they can't manage to purify it, then they're going to make sure that it doesn't latch on to anybody ever again. Yeah. Um, and that is where we're... I'm, sure, we I'm sure we'll never see the Holy... I'm kidding. <laughs> and nah. that is where we're going to leave off today's session with Yay. people being real. Oh, Quintus, why don't you choose a new item to attune to in place of that one? Oh, yes, of course. You <laughs> would have the whole day. You have one more Jeez. attunement slot. I'm going to remove Duskull's Tainted Avenger from your inventory. Goodbye, Duskull's Tainted Avenger. You were really cool. <laughs> it would have been yeah. really cool. <laughs> Except it made you a real fucking dick. It's true. Oh, yeah. the, only, the only attunement item in your inventory, there's the ring and the, the mace. mace and the ring. Uh, oh, man. I just got the the mace, and it's super cool. But, like, true. the ring is really good. Uh, I, I have mean, so many have... things that need my reaction. I'm going to go for the mace. I mean, I you have, have so Jigoku, many things in my You have Jigoku Saiga, so that could be I already your have weapon. Saiga. You're going to equip the mace? I I think I should, because like I, I have so many things that use my reaction, and 
so does the Ring of Ash and Scarring, I think, right? It uses my reaction, I think. I, I don't believe so. I thought it used your bonus action. Uh, it just, I believe it just activates. You attune to it, and whenever oh. you strike a creature with it, it is covered by the, the ash, and then at the start of the next turn, the ash explodes. Hell yeah. Uh, then yeah, I, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll go with the, the Ring of Ash and Scarring. All right. Um, yeah. And actually, just uh, as as like we're we're making our way back, uh, I would I would offer it to I would offer the mace to Fenris if she would like it. Mm, I'm, I'm, it is a plus two. It is a plus just... two mace that that spreads holy light. Uh, and uh, and uh, whenever you hit a fiend or undead, it does an extra two d six radiant damage. I have no and if it has human twenty five or less do this hit points, to me. then mm -hmm. they just die. I... <laughs> Oh, that's how it's gonna, I'll I'll take it, but I don't know when I'm gonna tune to it, if ever. One day. I don't I don't know if I mean unless unless Yugoku Saiga really fucking hate like will not like me ever, then like I don't think I'm ever gonna really need that. We can put it in the armory. Yeah. Or like if we know we're going after undead, I could like I could like hold on to it. Yeah, party, whatever you need. Yeah, to I'll do. I'll just. I guess I'll just hold on to it if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to use it, I'll just hold on to it in case we know we're going into like a graveyard or something, and I can like attune to it. Mm -hmm. I, I would can't like, stress how much I have no tune. Swap. As a final thing to end off on, um, I would like everybody in the party to roll me one d one hundred. Oh jeez! Oh, okay. Fifteen. We got so low. <laughs> oh my god, we all really did. Apart from Flux, jerky. damn. Not for Jerky. <laughs> okay, there's four <laughs> four members. Uh, Waiting for a Merriam one. Oh. I rolled. Uh, I rolled as Jerky five. five. Oh my god. Holy shit, Fenris. I'm in nice extremes, it. everybody. <laughs> Yo, right? Damn. Oh. Oh, you rolled again. Yeah, shit. You, we'll take the, the five of your first one. Yeah. Um, so Miriam. So two things happen. Miriam. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. The previous night, uh, just to go back slightly, uh, you would have had a dream, in which you would have become uh, relatively uh, things would have become relatively lucid for you, and during this dream, you would have detached from whatever you were dreaming of. Everything would have peeled away, and a sense of realism would have. Uh, created itself. You would have found yourself standing in the middle of sloping fields, uh, stretching out into the distance, as you find yourself in a massive, what appears to be valley, dead trees surrounding you on various sides. Uh, in the distance you see a creaking mill that turns slightly in the wind, but the the blades on it have been withered and decayed enough that it doesn't properly catch the wind. Le having it only let, let out this faint groan of a creak as it slowly turns. A familiar mist coats and surrounds this area. As you turn, you hear a voice that you take not to be a dream, but to be the voice of the Feignant reaching out to you. And though it is beckoning no response from you, you hear a very clear... I have found a means... To fulfill my end of our bargain. I have made the proper connections, Mariam. The one around you will have to serve as the centerpiece. I will inform you more later. But if you mean to head into the Skywall, I shall contact you any time is right. The second Constelliquary to match yours. I have found it. There's a faint greenish light as everything peels away. You would find yourself falling back into the dream you were having but with a perfect clarity regarding the message from the Feignant. Fenris. Oh no. <laughs> Jeez. You too would have a dream that, like that, you find you are pulled from the dream you're in, but instead of it being a gradual dispersal of the dream that you're having, um, fading away into a familiar landscape, yours, the dream you're having, 
you find yourself suddenly falling, as if the material of the dream you're having is no longer solid. You fall through it into a void. This moist, cold feeling, and the sound of insects begins to build up around you. You start to notice um, the constant buzzing of various uh, cicadas. Cicadas? Cicadas. 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 The sound of cicadas loudly buzzing around you, becoming almost unbearable to hear until you close your eyes whilst falling, and as soon as you open them again, you are standing. A wooden bridge under your feet that stretches out into mists in the distance on one side and on the other side into another sort of series of fields, but not like the ones that Marion would have encountered. You see in the distance fields of uh, what look to be crops that are aligned and set in an unfamiliar way, not like the farmlands you would recognize, but crops that have been uh, have waterways dug out between them, so water is flooding the spaces between the crops. In the distance, you see homes that you recognize to be the architecture and style of the cultures that are present on Kahulas. The sky above you is beautiful. Though there is mist in the distance, you see that the sky is a rich and deep black with stars that seem to shine and beckon others and beckon you to reach for them and a perpetually full red moon above you as you take this in and you see in the distance the image of a mansion what looks to be a large Kahulian mansion you find yourself drawn to it your eyes locked on it as this wet cold overtakes you the sound of insects builds up again and then cuts out suddenly as a voice behind you rings out, a very soft childish voice rings out behind you as you just hear Goodness, it's not often that visitors come here without an invitation I turn around You turn, and as you do you find yourself in a long room with a young man wearing what looked to be the robes of a Cahulian noble, sitting, cross-legged, arms together at the end of a table. This table being set much lower to the ground than you're used to, with rows of corpses up along the other side of the table, withered skeletal figures sitting, wearing fine robes as well. The walls made of uh, paper and wood. It looks to be the home of a noble with this regal looking figure who their skin and face appear to be made more of darkness as if your mind can't quite latch onto a form with another large figure standing behind them also appearing to just be a large shadow you once again hear the child speak but if you're going to invite yourself here I'll happily open the way for you when you come Seek me out. You will be wel welcomed with open arms to my banquet prefecture. With that, before you manage to speak, it reasserts itself again. Your dream takes over, and you find yourself awaking in the night in a cold sweat. And with those two dreams which would have happened the previous night. We'll just say you had bigger things on your mind that morning with Quintus. Mm -hmm. And a faint, tenuous, though you wouldn't know of it, a faint connection between the two events being present. We are going to end there for tonight. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Well, hey. Oh. I have some thoughts and theories. I need to lie I down. don't. Same. <laughs> I'm a little lost here. Yep, a little bit. It's fine. That's fun. <laughs> we'll be more surprised in game. E. 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 Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
Oh, and that's our first game back with everybody. Yeah! Oh, we, we finally did it. Wow. We did it. I'm proud of us. I don't know if this group dynamic's gonna work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Had it too good for too long. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't think this is I don't think this is something we can do for like years and years at a time. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not so sold on it. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Being friends with no all of you. Though I have no intention to guide what you guys are going to do. Flex. You'll have time to read over the information you got, uh, Izzy. And yeah. I imagine that will inform what you guys will attempt to do next time. So focus this week on what preparations you want to make before you leave. I mean, I guess, or if you're not going, if you're going to pull a fast one on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm afraid of long enough. We're going. We're getting the giant robot. <laughs> Jeez. I'll kill all of you. All right. Let's get in the robot. I say we split the party. <laughs> me too. Oh, stab you in the neck, Lord, Lord, Master Quintus. <laughs> we get the alchemy jug, and then we stop thinking about water. For forever. Heck yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I can make one for three hundred you know, gold. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm gonna note that. Let's do that on our shopping trip. I, yeah. I, I, I'm so glad that like we were able to figure out that Jingoku Saga was still lying. Because just like I think we should let him. I think we should believe him. There's no way that that he can he can change if we don't give him He's the lying. chance. He was lying. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. God damn it! I love it. You <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> I think you uh, two will get along swimmingly. Mm -hmm. Oof. Speaking of getting along swimmingly. Heckin' damn, Cody, friends. damn. Get our friends! Yeah, that sort was... of. Friendship. I mean, yeah. you don't know how Abby feels. That was a whole oh, game. Also... Well, heck. Also what, Brett? Mm -hmm. Damn. My cat mm -hmm. can speak! I love so... it! Yeah! And he's he hilarious. He's so <laughs> And I love him. I love this cat. Best You're thing sure ever. you want to come near me with him clawing this? <laughs> Boy, he looks at Harvey. So hard oh. not to break. You're approaching me. Oh. Yes. I'm sorry. I was. I'm sorry. I was being mean to you guys. <laughs> You're not, oh. You're not sorry. Everybody I knows that sorry. all things like that are all in character. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whenever, it whenever, fun, it like you, whenever it was like, whenever it was like, I'm like, okay, how can I play this? I'm just gonna play it like I'm the most confident person ever, and that's when you tell me my dad's freaking there, and I'm like, well, <laughs> oh, normally uh -oh. Quintus would be like, I don't want to go there. He's going to, he, because I killed him, and he's gonna be so disappointed with me, and I'm afraid. But then this Quintus is like, no, I'm heading right there. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Remember, jerky demands armor. That's true. Of course. Yeah. I he will saw you pay for it. He, he saw you give the horse armor. He wants armor. Wow. <laughs> if he Hell adds, that tiger he armor. shall receive. You can make tiger you armor. You have until I level up to get me another agate, and then I can do it to Winchester. Otherwise, yeah. I'm getting rid of that spell. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Buck up, bucko. That's fair. Same goes could for you... Myra. Look, I was going to say, could you do it camp. to Myra? As long she as her intelligence is low enough. I think Myra's too smart. I spent all my money uh, on, all my those, on all those anymore. diamonds I gave to Fenris. What's not on your sheet? Uh, I don't have Myra sheet. Um, oh, um, fuck. Uh, oh, wait. No, you have Myra's a beast. I think Myra, I believe, is a uh, something go. else. I don't think. Did you? Oh, you did. Put that somewhere. Oh, She's our no, our Blink Dog's fate? Yeah. yeah no, fate. Couldn't do it to a fake. work. Yeah. Also, her her intelligence is ten. Yep. <laughs> oh my god! They just can't Damn. speak. They can speak Blink Dog and Sil. They can understand stand Sylvan. So it, it understands so. you huh. in the way a dog understands a person right now. Like it, it hears yeah. the intention. Like you could do the, like, who's a stupid little idiot? Who's a little dumbass? Yeah. Yeah. And he'd be like, me. Me. I am. What does All that right. say with me with the eight intelligence? All me, right. me, that's me! But, uh, <laughs> Yo, damn. Jerky, getting that hot goss. Yeah! <laughs> like, oh my god! Oh, it's so the good. team I love. Dude, Explain to me this kissing you did. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Goddamn hammer oh. of gosh darn thunderbolts is working. 
Oh, I got I've been, it working! I've been slowly, I was talking to Aaron about it, I've been slowly putting the pieces in there, because I've always kind of wanted to throw that in there. I've been just like, belt. Wait a while. Gauntlets. Wait a while. <laughs> Hammer. I didn't know what you guys would do with the gauntlets when they showed up, and you gave them to Tantia, and I was just staying quiet about it, but I was like, that'll mm. be interesting. <laughs> hey man, I got oh. to trade her like an item I've never used And you guys could have missed it. If you decide to go around <laughs> the dragon's area and just take the extra day, then you wouldn't have found it. That would have been like, well, no harm, Sucks no to foul. Sell. Yep. <laughs> Landing Next for a minute, time. I thought you were screwed, because she was like, this was a gift from Fenris. So I she know. Ain't giving I was them like, up, oh, man. No! <laughs> I was enjoying every moment of that. I was, because uh, I did not want to be involved in any of that. So I was like, uh, here, have the hammer. Good luck. All right. Oof. Yeah. And with that, YouTube side, I don't want to make this too long for Stewie, because it's already going to be like another five and a half hour game-ish. Oh, we're sorry, um, Stewie. Okay, we're going to go YouTube, and then I'm going to immediately start rendering these videos together. I'm going to increase the buffer size on my focus right to see if that fixes this in future. Heck in, okay. you know, I'm gonna start thinking about how I can offload the actual stream to your laptop. to my laptop to the actual like OBS mm. part of it because that'd yeah. be nice. Until then, though, heck in, until next time, YouTube, we're back with everybody. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. <laughs>